All right. Can you hear me? Should be good. Dead pie fly. We have Zebit Will Slim Project Road. Coaching. Let's go. Oh my god. The test to speech. Mist Lizard Lock Luca Vasamasti. All right. Hopefully, I don't drop a bunch of frames. I was just dropping a bunch of frames, but I think it was because I was uploading to YouTube. But the uploads just finished. We should be in the clear. Hopefully. I'm sure that the um, the opening thing was a little laggy, but it's fine. Okay, sneaky turtle. Um, how do I do this again? Let's see. Uh, all right. Whoever wants to submit a replay. Oh, lizard. Press it press one in chat. Press one in chat. Go like that. And uh, yeah, I will give it like a minute, and then. It should randomly pick someone from whoever said one. What I mean by subscriber get three times luck, they just get basically three entries. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that's probably all the people that are here bright and early. So let's uh, let's roll the first one. And it looks like Lozard got the first one. All right. Does it come up in chat at all? Anyways. It, uh, it gave me Lozard. Yeah. So, you can post a replay in the general chat, or if you want to do live, we can do a live thing. Most people just post a replay, but either way. Yeah, it said it? Okay, okay. It didn't say on my screen. Yeah, I, I thought that's what... Oh, okay, never mind. It's just, I'm just blind. It's fine. It says it. <laughs> nice. All right. Can we do live against Locke? All right. Let's go. I'll set it up. Uh, nope. Not single player. <laughs> uh, no, not that one. We need to host. I'm actually, such a noob. Okay. Uh, Lozard. Oh wait. Where's Locke? And yeah, we'll hide the sieves. What server? What server is good? Got new keyboard. Oh, your US West. And he's fine. Okay, we'll just go on the default. That's gonna be US West. Okay, perfect. Um, I will go into the general chat in Discord, or no, coaching, yeah, coaching channel, if you want in. Oh, yeah, South Africa is gonna be, like, even my worst ping is, like, better than South Africa's best ping. <laughs> uh. Alright, you guys can find it, here, I'll throw that in chat just in case. Guess I should make the settings proper. Uh, am I working? Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, perfect here. Let me turn down my volume here. Just a little bit so you don't come, come through the microphone. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, uh, are you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just join the game. Waiting for you. Yeah. On my way. Perfect. Just making sure that the settings are right. Looks good to me. I'm assuming Arabia. Yeah, Arabia seems good. Perfect. All right, so we got like kind of 1,500. Who's this guy? We gotta, we gotta kick some people. Actually, oh man, I should actually tell him to join the stream. That's what I usually do. At free advertising. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> people actually do instead of being rude and kicking them, but. Eh, whatever. It happens. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think I think we both go team one or something. Yep. And then yeah, Seems same good. color. Yeah. Cool. That should work. Uh, what sieve do we want? 
Uh, I didn't think too far, to be honest. So oh. I'm... <laughs> well, I'm which chilled. sim do you want to work on? Uh, what am I bad with? I'm really bad with Khmer, actually. Khmer? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. I have some experience with Khmer anyways. So Alrighty. Good. Let's <laughs> go. So yeah, anyone in chat, basically, this is going to be a co-op 1v1. I'm not actually playing. So all I'm doing is just seeing the game from Lozard's point of view. This is going to be about a 1500 game. So yeah, I I'm not doing anything here other than just looking. We're viewing. And harshly judging. <laughs> Maybe, no, a <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's plenty to judge. There we go. Yeah, I turned down. Um, in chat, tell me if you can hear Lizard's voice through my mic. If you can, then I'll just turn it down a little bit more. You can. Just it's it's a little echoey. Okay. Okay. Here. It, it's fine though. Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can't hear him through the mic. No, no, no yeah, yeah. That's what I'm worried about is just the echo. Because you know how when um, text-to-speech comes up, it kind of echoes because I don't wear headphones. Um, so as long as he's not echoing, then we're good. All right. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be pretty standard to start. Are you going to do like a... Yeah. Wait, so we're up against Ethiopians, right? Yeah, so I'm thinking for these scouts. Yeah. Scouts should be Some decent. Quick scouts. Yeah. Don't really want to go arches against Ethiopians. So no, much. definitely not. Your wood, man. That's a beautiful wood line, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do not mind that one. Do I feel like I have a license to be more harsh just because it's a 1500? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to be uh, like. <laughs> the the, yeah, the we, little we details are what matters at this level, really. <laughs> That's what. Basically, you can gain 100 points just by fixing little things. And that that's what it is at this point. Like, the game knowledge is, is pretty much there. Obviously, there's always more to learn. But, yeah, I like the, the two wood and then boar lure. Uh, you should have actually sent, like, it at 50%, Vil. Because that boar was a bit Yeah, I realize. Far. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have even taken oh. a sheep there. But, eh, whatever. It's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was so okay, close. Uh, <laughs> it's so sketchy a, when you mess anything. up like that, and then your vill gets yeah. like to the other side of the TC. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice recovery, though. You didn't. Okay. It's because you didn't shoot it with the TC. <laughs> that yeah, well, that's why. Yeah. I think that was just because of a, a little lucky lag spike. So. Oh we'll yeah, this. yeah. Well, it'll happen. Yeah. yeah. On the other side of the world. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, CJ Howard. Is Locke streaming? I don't think so. I think he's going to be probably watching after, most likely. Trying to get in with the coaching. Uh, oh, yeah, unfortunately. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, oh, good, this, is a, this is pretty messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, second ball. Get my ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess you have that sheep that you can take, though. Yeah, we'll, so. we'll claim it as all planned. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I mean, you can yeah. take berries, too, with, like, two. This is, this is what I do. Like, yeah. if I'm late with the second boar, because you're not going to be able to get good efficiency around the sheep. I just, like, real quick send two to the berries or whatever. Nice. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. I would have put the mill on the other side, but... Oh, yeah, that's it's, a bad it's mill. fine. I just sort of threw it down. Yeah. But, yeah, there's all sorts of things need to improve on. That's a horrible mill. Well, well, it's just the multitasking at this point. It's, like, bringing in the yeah. boar, making sure you don't lose vills. Like, you're taking don't a sheep. A scout, yeah. you're, you're trying to scout as well, like... It's just those things. Like, optimally, yeah. you would have put two in that little hole and then put the middle uh, yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's kind of annoying to set up, but it, it's worth it. Anyways. Especially yeah, for scouts, scouting. it's like, you need good efficiency on the, the berries, but whatever. Yeah. It'll be fine. Was... Going to try go 19 pop, but actually, that's not going to happen with this build. So. Yeah, 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 it's going to be like 20 pop. That's definitely not push our luck. Um, mm. it, ooh, it's gonna be like, oh no. Well, 
You definitely need yeah, loom here. Lo loom because you don't have a house. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was that was. Yeah. Well, you want to get loom here anyways. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, you... I think the efficiency of the berries. Just a lot of things. You might actually need to go twenty-one. Well, you can't really because you don't have the house, so you still go twenty. But okay, just barely. Okay, we, we just made it. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. even close. Okay, probably like when when do you like to send more to wood? Probably now, right? Yeah. Also, yeah, we need sheep. So, uh, oh, that <laughs> oh. It, it's not a big deal. No, no. no oh no. no, that's a big deal though. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> what are we doing that's here? Nice. Oh man, oh man, it happens. Yeah, oh, yeah. First game of the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So your map okay. is very easy to wall. Yeah, your main goal is not actually that bad. Even though it's up against that wood line, like, he can't really range it with crossbone. Right. Assuming that... like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I would say, yeah, you want to get your barracks. You need to start your barracks, like, now. Because you're at 60%. Yeah, yeah. yeah, barracks needs to come up right now. So... We're going to skip the barracks, aren't we? Oh, oh yeah, with, sorry, with Khmer. Never mind, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I actually it. like I, I like the walls because you're Kimura. I was totally not thinking. <laughs> we need the house though. Yeah. Cool. Here okay, so he has a barracks uh, and oh, he's oh, going men at arms. Okay, oh, well, you found his sheep. That's funny. Uh, he'll find them too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so well, the fact that he's he's got less sheep that's kind of good. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> now he's. Um, so I'm worried about the man's arms hitting here. Yeah. Uh, they, there. Yeah, your walls are too late, so... Yeah. Basically, yeah, you can keep your scout around just to see where they come in. Because if they go in the top... Although, you can... Your deer are out, out in the top. So you can... Yeah, you'll see idea. if they get scared. Yeah, see, they just got scared. So you know his men yeah. at arms are up there. Yeah, because the deer are getting scared. So he's going to come in and probably attack your berries. Because remember, he did scout your berries with his scout, yeah. so he knows they're there. That's, oh, well, you see him here, though. Okay, now you know exactly where he is, though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, 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 remember you can garrison in houses, too. Yeah, I always forget that. Yeah, oh, man. Get the walls. I would have walled, yeah. like, a little bit differently, but it's fine. Okay. I, I, I would have, like, made it so that the sections connect, I guess you can say. Okay, yeah. Just... Then, then they aren't as clumped in there. But it's probably not as bad yeah. with Khmer. You can just garrison out of that house if they get stuck. Uh, you do have some idols at your wall. Yeah. And, oh, but you need to wall your berries, villager, most likely. Like, that woman on yeah. the outside is going to get picked off. Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Even with a pink... No, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. you got it. You got it. Yeah, just about. <laughs> that was pretty close. Oh, no. She's... Yeah. Oh, no, she did it. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the berry good. thing. Nice. All right. All right. Gonna... Oh. If I... Okay, my scouts are uh, late. Oh, what's the? Oh, okay. oh, okay. That's not good. Uh, what do I do now? Yeah, uh, you have to right? attack him because you can't. You can't deal with. Oh no! You need to run. Yeah. You, you can't nope. deal with men at arms with, um, scouts. The scouts. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, as Kamur probably want to be a little bit more intelligent with where you place your houses just so you can just quick garrison wow he has a yeah, spear yeah, sure. base too. Yeah, yeah you need to drop a range like in this situation yeah. attack with the scouts do what you can with the scouts get a range even a single archer will just uh help to clean this up um yeah a single archer does die to his scout if you haven't weakened him though so you do have to be careful there but yeah see now you're hitting him and he already has his walls up if you yeah. went a little bit faster, then you might have gotten in. And he has a, yeah. a bill on that side, too. So I should probably get a goal as well if I want... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your goal is pretty easy to take, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. Especially you could wall from that uh, second wood line where the main gold is down to your archery range. Just, yeah, just yeah. to funnel him to the TC. Um, your villa on the bottom wall isn't doing anything. Yeah, I, I think the scouts just need to hit Palisades now. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to be aware of... Because he has spears running around, too. That's <laughs> so, true. Yep. It's one of those things where if you don't have the APM to focus on that, just bring them home. Because you will want them to fight the men-at-arms eventually. Or at least sometimes you do. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I have a thousand on wood, which is not good. 
Yeah. Oh, nice, nice Ooh. wall, nice wall. Put friends on house. house again. It happens yeah. though. Yeah, definitely sloppy. And where is this? Swiss Breakfast Austria? AOE. Yeah, the snowman mod is the best though. It has to stay on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, eventually you're going to want to transition into knights. Yes. Or uh, uh, scorpions could be good too, though. But it's not really an attacking unit. But if you get... Like, if he's up first, you're going to have to go scorpions. Yeah. At this point, um... Oops. Ah. Uh, oh, oh. You can get it. You can get it. Oh, you didn't house wall. Oh, yeah. I missed, missed the... Ah. Uh, just jump them in the house, though. Oh, man. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, those ones you should delete and just go out the other side. So he only he only fit five. Although, nice micro. Sick micro, actually. Yeah. Actually, no, you're fine. You won't even lose another one. That was really good. Because you, you dealt with the men at arms. That's the way to do it, is actually... Like, with Khmer, you could you could actually bait out attacks. You fight near a house, and then just always garrison the weak ones. Yeah. That's probably the way yeah, to do it with well. this Civ. Because, like, all you yeah. want to do... You just want to chip away at the men at arms until you can just easily kill them. Um, and you can just do that with Vils. He's invested a lot into those house walls. Like, he has way more houses than he needs, which means he just has less wood for other things. And you have been yeah. expanding your food pretty well. Like, you have pretty good farms at this point. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking now adding some skirms for the inevitable arches. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you see a range? Okay, you see a range, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, though. Oh, there oh, they are. Cool. Okay, yeah. He yeah, has yeah. fletching, too, so he's investing in them. Yeah, I like the skirms. I would even get armor, because he has yeah. quite a few. Um, You're going to start floating gold, so I, I would say take some yeah. off gold and send them to wood. Like, like even even just, like, one on gold right now is fine. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, not even making really goldians. Oof. Yeah, the, the scouts... They're not super important at this point, but it would be good to have. Yeah, these, this wall's not going up. <laughs> yeah. Unless, actually, he might attack the Palisade, so... Oh, it will go up. He's yeah, going to go around the other side, though. I, I bet he's coming yeah. around the top side. Oh, no, he's going that way. Okay, well, you're... Well... Don't mind that. You're kind of walled. <laughs> but you'll be able to click up Castle Age soon, so that's kind of your priority here. I, I would probably cancel this last villain and get Town Watch. Trust me, it's going to be really yeah. useful. Yeah, yeah. Starkered with the sub. Thanks. But yeah, just don't lose any of these vills. That house isn't going up. Oh man, oh man, oh man. A little late, a little late. No reason to lose Got those vills. Anyways, yeah, you're yeah, up. I, I knew they were coming. Yeah, if you had Town Watch earlier, then it would have been even better. You would have been able to judge the distance a little bit better. I could have these walls. Um, yeah, yeah uh, the like, walls are fine. I, I would say not even necessary, though, because you can just place one yeah. tile and, and, and just, like, you can just retreat your bills, honestly, to the house. Yeah. Cool. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now um, I'm thinking about knights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you need to transfer more to gold now? So all of yeah. your straggler tree... Oh, man, you have, like, a girl with uh, just holding ten gold from forever ago. <laughs> yeah, and then those two straggler tree vills should go to gold. Yeah, yeah. that woodville. Just to get enough. I'm not sure yeah. how the timing's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scout with your your scout. Yeah. Do his job. But exactly. Arch is somewhere. Yeah. Uh and it kinda sucks that you haven't scouted the west side, because you don't know if that's actually walled to the edge. I know, probably not. It probably isn't. Yeah, exactly. There's a chance. It also wants another stable now. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, should these two stable come... Nights. It'll come up a little late, but it'll be fine. Or, you know, you could actually make a TC instead of a stable. Ooh, okay, too late for that now, I think. Yeah. Because... Um, yeah. Looks like he's not up yet, so... Although, I mean, if you build up knights, it's fine. Just there's a pretty good chance he's going to have pikemen, so... 
Yeah, you oh, want to yeah, build up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to build up your numbers here. So it, it's actually good that you're up just a little bit faster. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's actually up a little bit late. I would say. Oh, you probably went two range archers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he he definitely had two ranges. Yeah. So he has armor now, so you know he's committed. I mean, he's Ethiopian, so kind of obvious, yeah. but. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna have a ton of archers. Oh, you see him in the bottom. You see him. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, well, I thought I thought I built this house. Okay, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, okay. You need now probably we, like probably like eight knights minimum to take that. Like, don't yeah. fight this until you have like eight knights. Do I try and rush up a siege workshop? Yeah, I would do that in this situation. Although, although, you're gonna have enough knights soon. I, I think you want to get forging here for sure. Although his pikemen yeah. are kind of weak, but just don't lose vills. That's number one. Your berry vills are sitting. Okay. Don't lose vills. Yeah, just retreat those farm vills. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Uh. This is like the most important. Oh. How has he not killed right. anything yet? Oh my god, okay, she yeah. finally died. <laughs> Ooh, some big legs. Wait, yeah. Why are we lagging? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you need to and get TCs these... though. Because I think you can, like, you've already invested so much into knights, investing more into siege. You can't take this yet. You don't have eight. Well, you do have, you have eight, eight, but okay, okay. Yeah. Good. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, okay. Do I just not. It... <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would have tried to get, like, two of them behind. Okay, I get the Quran. Yeah, but at this point, it's kind of late. Your, your guys kind of just okay. aren't even engaging. Well, you need a siege shop now. Yeah. Um, Did you have skirms? It, it's really nice to yeah. have... Yeah, if you had those skirms in there. I don't think you needed to fight there, though. Like, what? He wasn't really attacking anything there. Like, you have to wait until he's actually putting pressure somewhere to attack. But anyways. Right. Just one of those things. Yeah, okay, now, now I'm going to be denied off the woods. That wasn't very clever. Yeah, but one scorp here. You have the extra range. You just have to camp near yeah. your TC. Yeah, those fills have to run. Yeah, Um. Yeah. when you're engaging crossbowmen with knights, it, it really mm. matters how you take the fight. And, like, you, you just kind of patrol them in. But you have to patrol in half and then sort of run around back with half. And then once you get behind, right. then he can't really... Um, retreat as easily. This Scorp should save you to some extent. Yeah, like, if he was up quite a bit faster, I would have recommended going Scorps earlier, but since since he was up slower, like, you, you had the numbers. You just needed to be a little bit more patient. A little bit more patient okay. and take the engage better. I would say get the yeah get those fills out of there. Don't chase though. Just you, you can't chase. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah you, you I would say be active with the knights. Like go to his base. He's pretty secure, but sometimes you can find damage. Where are your fills going? Good. They're going around the long way. You could have garrisoned into the house Wait. and hopped over. Uh, but I anyways. I'll just. <laughs> yes, go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you want to have the skirms actually. Because even unupgraded skirms, like the bonus damage that they do against the crossbowmen just behind when you're engaging crossbowmen with the knights, it's it's actually pretty good. Okay. But yeah, we're pretty far behind here. Yeah. Oh, pause. Uh, the That's goat adventure. How do you stop mats, knights, and scorpions? Uh, well, you're gonna need two different units most likely. You could you could go knights and Banganel, maybe. There's a, there's a lot of ways though. But we'll we'll see. Okay, let's get back to the game. <laughs> also, having a lot more crossbowmen earlier like this is a pretty good option. So right. my game is struggling. Let's go. Yeah, you need to get TCs. Like I, I kind of feel like yeah. he added TCs a lot. Yeah, I think so. It's definitely not all in pressure for him. Yeah. So. You have to get in somehow. Oh, yeah. I can hope. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Not, <laughs> not thinking. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's in your base again. Uh, oh, he can range that. Yeah. Just barely. Okay, oh, wow. Yeah, he, he has like, full upgrades. 
You need more yeah. scorps for sure. Like two more scorps. Oh, but you're in. This could be good. Yeah. And you need to throw up a TC now. Like 100%. Yeah, I'm throwing the side. Nice. Okay. okay. Oh man, but you're gonna lose your score. Uh, yeah, that's a great though. Yeah. Just keep your scorps like near your TC or near near vills that can repair as well. Oh man, but all, all those wood vills are gonna get ranged too. Yeah. He doesn't see it yet. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you're stuck at 69 gold. So yeah. close. I mean, this is pretty over. It's so pretty over, kind of... yeah, yeah. Well, he got we're, a we're lot of kills. Pretty... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm I'm learning the value of the, the replay set live. Also, this is freezing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shall oh. we call it not waste any more of your screen time? Sure, sure. We'll call it. We'll call it. Um, yeah, yeah. It's really hard to focus on like what I'm saying and also <laughs> uh, playing the game yeah. at the same time. Uh, here, yeah. I'm just going to go over the replay real quick. You can just join back in with cool. the stream if you want. Over. Because we can go over, like, the key points at, in which you lost. Yeah, I think there are a bunch of useful things you said along the way as well. About, like, engaging with the knights and... Yeah, yeah. Climbing up the walls and whatnot. So, yeah, I think we'll get some good, good examples of how to engage with the knights soon. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will have some good examples. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go over the replay. Just join in with the stream again. Cool. Yeah. Coming up. Yeah. Alrighty. GG, Locke. GG. Crossbowmen, man. They do a lot of damage. Uh, CJ Howard's subscribed as well. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to chat. Usually, like, if I'm talking with someone in Discord, then I won't be paying attention to chat, generally. New keyboard wasn't too bad. Yeah, exactly. I just want to get to a few of the key points where the game was really just kind of over. <laughs> Would Mango says, no, no, no. The reason that we were going Scorps is because the Khmer get the extra range, but you do have to pay attention to the Scorps. If you just have one Scorp randomly, it's not gonna do anything. Whereas one random Mango can do stuff, but you have to get a couple. Like, like, three Khmer Scorps just won't really be killed easily. But we never had three. Alrighty. Actually, you know what? While, while we go over this, why don't we do the next draw for the next, um... The next replay. I think I can just refresh, right? Oh, I have to set it up again, though. It's kind of annoying. All right. There we go. Okay. Uh, everyone can press one who wants to get in for the next replay. Press one now. And yeah, I'll roll it in a little while. Give people 30 seconds. One minute. Something like that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it, it's kind of hard to scout. Yeah, he was actually only one range. I guess he he had constant range or archer production though. Locke was up way too slow this game for one range. Off seal. Hey survivalists, I hope you're a nice guy. Just wanted to thank you for your great tech tree thingy. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I will be adding the new sieves. Like I added them, but I don't really know anything about them yet. Probably like over the next couple months, I'll add them a little bit better. Closer does not lock level. Ah, he's rated higher right now. Uh, yeah, I I develop apps for fun, kind of. I guess, I mean, I have development skills. I, I wouldn't really call me a dev. Other than that, I do that, I guess. 
Uh, okay, so... What lost this game were the unnecessary villager losses. Basically, like, we're playing from five vills behind, which is really bad. Um, Locke should have been able to click up at 37 vills instead of 39. Like, 39 is just too late. Unless he doesn't have wheelbarrow. Actually, I want to check that. Oh, he has wheelbarrow. Yeah, so he's, he's a little late. What are these farms from Locke? Like, what? This makes me sick. There's no mill. Is she actually gonna just bring it all the way back to the TC? Disgusting. <laughs> Why not build them here? You have a mill. <laughs> Thinks he's Khmer, yeah. What is this? Yeah, it's even with maximum, like even with handcart, that's gonna be inefficient. Spirit of the Law says like three tiles or something with handcart. Oh, man. Look at these Khmer farms. They don't even need to be like this. The Khmer farms could have been, like, back here. Well, actually, it is good to build them here, though. But, yeah, it was really the unnecessary villager losses at this wood line that really made the difference. Losing vills here, just slow reaction. Well, it was only one vill loss. But, like, look. You don't need to engage. Like, what is... What are these crossbowmen doing right now? They're not doing anything. What is he going to do? Come up here, deny one farm? Let him deny one farm. You engage when these two knights are way in the back. And then you, like, fall back a little bit and then go back in. So that's another free hit. These two guys need to get around the front, but you're just kind of patrolled in. And, like, your knights aren't really doing anything. Um, but imagine, like, every time he shoots, imagine you have your four skirms here. Then they get a shot, and then, you know, you end up uh, sniping the weak ones anyways. But just the engagement made it so that he still has 10 knight or ten crossbowmen left over, and it's just a, just a bad engagement. Um, I, I think you want to engage the crossbowmen at the last possible moment. So basically, retreat these. Well, you wanted to wall this in. Just wait. Like, he's just going to be running around in in the base and it doesn't really matter like if he kills a couple farms here and there it's whatever like imagine you imagine you built up like four or five more knights and then engaged you would just crush it and you would have like you would have like five ish knights left over um when i said you can engage with eight knights that's like with a perfect engagement that that's like if you actually engaged well um, but, you know, with a bad engagement, you definitely need more. What is gifting a sub? Uh, you can gift a sub to anyone in the chat. It's like, uh, just gives them a subscription. <laughs> if you want to be nice. If you want to support the stream, but then also give someone a sub. Anyways, I think that's basically all we need to see is those, those vill losses here. And then the bad engagement. And now he's just like 15 bills ahead. He, he's got TCs. Like he's got... He's on three TCs. We don't even have the third TC. Or the second TC. This is what crossbowman players do is... Like they build up the archer numbers. And then instantly on Castle Age, they just spend their banked up resources. And then... Or banked up resources on Bodkin Arrow and Crossbowman. And then sometimes they get early ballistics. And then sometimes they just add the two TCs right away. But yeah, if you don't get your TCs up quickly, then you just kind of lose. Like, if you're defending on one TC, you're in a bad spot. So anyways, let's go on to the next person who I didn't actually roll yet. Let's roll. This game is rigged. It's Vasamasti. <laughs> All right. Amazing. Yeah, it says that there were 19 people who said one there. So, yeah. This, that's, uh, that's pretty hacks. <laughs> All right. Moderator bias. Well, I did allow moderators, but it, it's more of sub bias. Because subs get three times luck for this. Even if you're not a sub, you can get in. It's just a much lower chance. Do we have a proper opponent? 
Do we? I don't know. Hey, Oka's here. Amazing. Long time no see. Um, yeah, we can set it up here. What's your elo now? Titanic to around 1600. All right. Well, who's who wants to be Vasamasti's opponent? There we go. Let's go. Seven seven. Making a contribution to Chiku's tuna fund. Oh yeah, he's right here. Is Squeaker here? Yeah, Squeaker would be good. <laughs> Or if any random wants to join who's around uh, 1600, feel free. It's a public lobby. Load the stats. It's not loading the stats. It's bugged. Whoever, whoever can get here first can play. Oh, that's not 1600. That says 17. Oh, wait, never mind. I was reading the rank. Wow, your rank and rating are so similar. Got ranked too high because of TG rating. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs> it can happen. I've gotten a lot of free elo from people descending the ladder from that. Mr. Sexy. Who's this? All right, nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's not even from the stream. He just randomly joined. He was like the right, he was like the right uh, elo. <laughs> what does that even mean? Imagine joining <laughs> and being like noobs wrecked. <laughs> oh yeah, he is here. <laughs> You're not gonna play. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just wanted to get some screen time. I wanted to be famous. We need an opponent. Who's going to join? <laughs> Trust me, being coached by me live doesn't increase your Eli elo by very much. Unless you're like a super, super new player. <laughs> uh yeah. Vasamasti, you can join general or er, you can join the coaching chat if you want to. Oh, Dead Pie Fly is here with the 833. <laughs> yes. Hello? Hey. All right. Perfect. Opponent. Oh, I'm gonna turn you up a little bit. You're quieter than Lozard was. There we go. Yeah, my microphone is a little bit further away now. Perfect. No one has the same elo and rank. Ah. Oh. I'm sure somebody has at some point. Uh, so what Civ do we want to play? Uh, I don't actually know. Let's see what what Civs even exist. <laughs> I'm gonna change my color so I can look at the list of Civs. Uh, oh wait. I mean, we could also just, we could also just play random. Yeah, could. I, mean, I think that's fine. Go random. Most of my ranked games are random anyway. Sure. Uh, random. Oh, here we um, go. Oh man. Okay, I think. All right, think we got we got our opponent. Yeah. All right, we got to. Uh... There we go. Alright. Let's go. Uh, do we have to choose... The, I think we have to choose the same team, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we, we, we actually don't, but we do need to have the same color. Yeah. Alright. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can save it. It's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Ready up. AR? Is that not Argentina? Mm. I think so. Something like that. Alright. Providing the right. That's a good sieve. Yeah, it is. It's not one that I would usually pick, though. Can definitely keep up with the Chinese economy. And we have... We have Siege Engineers as well, so we have Onagers with Siege Engineers, which is kind of essential against two canoes. Yeah, though, if it, ever it only really matters if, yeah, if the game goes that way. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Viking mid-game economy should just be better than Chinese. Like, yeah, I think the way here is to just, just go for... Okay, this map doesn't look... Wait, this right side looks really open. Yeah, there might be another wood line in the sort of south side of your map, though. Possibly. Because yeah. you do get three. Three semi-close. Yeah, there is. So it's not okay. too bad. Yeah, not... You're going to need another cow under your TC. Or I do that. Well, maybe. <laughs> okay, that was weird, I think. going to be close. Is there an official stream schedule? No, no stream schedule, Howard. I just stream whenever. I end up streaming most days, though. Okay. I just did this. Yeah. Basically, the early game is going to be fairly standard. It doesn't really matter. Like, bringing the boar this early just means you're going to have more food. It's like the Dark Age build, if you're not really going for something super, super quick, then it, it doesn't really matter too, too much. Like, it matters, but like, bringing in the boar early. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, like, you have seven on it, so you have pretty good saturation. <laughs> He's so greedy with the deer pushes as well. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I might as well be honest with you right now. Like, yeah. This is pretty close, and I already know where everything is. Yeah, yeah. Well, and once you get to a level where opponents will actually punish you for that, then, then it matters. Although, I guess you kind of are at that level, like, you could come yeah, in with a rush. I mean, like, yeah, the downside of this is that if you get rushed, it's kind of hard to deal with. I yeah, yeah exactly. It. Although, Chinese, uh, is he really going to rush? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> boar early is a good habit because of lamer boys. Yeah. Well, that boar was in the middle oh, of the map, oh, too. Okay, so. what was that about? <laughs> Uh-oh. I mean, he's going to be he's gonna be fine. Yeah. Just a little annoying. Still. You definitely want to finish off that first boar. Yeah, yeah. This, this was a little bit messy. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. Lock with the gifted sub. Awesome. Don't be. Don't mean to be harsh, but these 1,500 players are not super smooth with the Dark Age food. Yeah, I think it's first game of the day for a lot of them. Probably. And also, it, it's kind of hard to chat and do this. Yeah, I mean, this is this has been messy by my standards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I, like I have hit 1700 before, it's just like... <laughs> oh, you have the same orientation of berries, pretty much, as Lozard did. It's just kind of mirrored. I, I probably would have put the mill on the other side and put two in the hole. That's just, like, my hmm. style. I, yeah, I think it's just, but, it's but just it's quite a bit more efficient. Yeah, this is a lot easier for me to wall, though, especially if I'm not going to full wall my base. True, true, true. Yeah, especially if he if he does come in for some early aggression. It's just, like, he's Chinese. He probably won't. I don't know. I think it would have been worth yeah. the risk. Plus, if you have two in the mm. little hole, then, then it becomes easy to wall. Like, if you're concerned about walling, place it one tile away, and then you just place, like, a couple palisades on the ends. Whereas now, it's, like, it's actually kind of harder to wall. Although it is just like unless, four I, unless tiles I go now. like that though, actually, I, actually you can't see my cursor. <laughs> okay, where is this? Guy Anyways, right now. I'm trying to find the three resources, but I can't really. Okay, the Chinese three. usually go archers. They can go scouts as well. They they can go both, scouts or archers. I think it's even kind of easier to go scouts. Oh. I'm not, I took one hit. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
Sending. Yeah, that was. Two to gold. I mean, are, I you... Can afford it. are you gonna go men at arms, I guess? Yeah. Okay. I guess. Oh, yeah, and then you send the barracksville. I don't know. You're gonna take more gold, right? Oh, you're just gonna mining camp it. Okay. Yeah. That, that's a, actually a horrible orientation of gold for you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Your I'm mining sure camp's how. bad, but I mean, there's not really a good location. Yeah, I'm not sure how to make a good mining camp there. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you were full walled, it would have been perfect, because you'd just put two in the hole, but you would never do that when you're not walled. Yeah. So far, so good. The, the men at arms are a little late. Like, I prefer going for them a I little bit earlier. Have... I'm gonna have the. Okay, he has a barrack. What is he doing with this barrack? He's just walling up. Let's oh. get this. He has wood there. Maybe I can hit there. Okay, okay, so he's actually building his own man at arms. That's strange as Chinese. Yeah. Maybe. Especially it... in this matchup. I wonder if he saw your barracks. Although, like, he's just coming from the the top side with his scouts. So I think he's just seeing your barracks now, unless Actually, he already scouted that, it. The fact that I have a weak V1, my gold is kind of really bad. Oh yeah, ooh, yeah, uh, ooh, yeah. Because well, his scout is full HP too. So I would. It, I would definitely put one vill on the other side of that gold mine just for efficiency, and then just like two two tile both of them in. That's what I would do. Okay, he has that. I mean, I, I think I just kind of want to run around and wait for yeah. minute arms to begin. Uh, so what's the next step? Is it going to be an archer? Yeah, archery range, beautiful. This early feudal is uh, it's it's like you have to do things pretty quickly. There we go, there we go. Oh! Yeah. You're a little late. You, you you have to be like instant with that turnaround just to get a couple of hits in. And see, now it's even again. So it's like, ah. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a bad engagement for me. Again. No, no, it's okay though. You're Vikings. It's fine. You can. Uh, you... Okay. Yeah, that, that was unfortunate. They just kind of bat around each other weirdly there. Yeah. Uh, you might still win because. Uh, nah. Well, you got his men at arms. I, I think you needed to save your scout, okay, honestly. Oh, no. Happening. Bad yeah. rally. Yeah, I don't even know how that happens. I yeah. It just happens sometimes. But he just has a scout right now. Yeah. Well, you saw that he's building an archery range, so you're basically mirrored here. It really just comes down to who who's going to play better here. Ooh, 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 sketchy. He could take out. He should take out your archer instead of running around. Honestly, thinning out that archer number will allow him to snowball later. But he's not doing it. Bing. Oh. Damn it. Uh, kind of okay. It's just it's just a house from the archer. Men at arms is just a good opening for Vikings. Men at arms archers. It's just kind of standard. Like, you have the higher HP on the men at arms, so you can usually take a pretty good fight. And then they have, like, good upgrades on archers in the late game, especially. So you can basically just play archers the entire game. Hello, Dark I kind, of, I, I kind of feel like just camping right now because I don't have a blacksmith yet. Yeah, you don't have fletching. Honestly, don't move across the map until you have fletching. Because, yeah. like, you're not going to kill Vils, really, and then... If you if you find his army, he will just kill you, <laughs> and then he'll come counterattack. So, yeah, yeah. The fact that you don't have your scout right now means you can't really scout where you want to wall. That's why it's essential to get your scout out when you're when you're fighting with men at arms as well. Just like get him out at one HP and just scout. That's the idea. Yeah, kind of an unfortunate fight for me. Okay, but it happens. It happens. Yeah, honestly, the mining camp should have been one tile away. It's just like, yeah, they, it's they so just, bad they, once you get this many on it. it. Like, it's fine for two. It's actually great for two, but yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. That's what happens. You don't have fletching, and yeah, yeah. That, that that happens every time. <laughs> yeah. I swear, every time. <laughs> oh, man. You're going to have to run with your gold bills, I think. I don't think so. He doesn't have that many. 
True, true. But he does have a skirm. Maybe even two yeah, skirms. I'm not going to throw Yeah. They, they promise he has that heal and I can't run. Yeah, I don't know why he isn't attacking though. He should at least try and harass a little bit. I don't think we can get to, to Castle Age quite yet. Yeah, we're really not even close. Okay, he has way more skirm. Okay, he has yeah. fletching. He doesn't have armor though. Yeah, but I can't take the fight. No, no, no. Like yeah, that. he has like four skirms. That's way too many. Yeah, I'm just making, I'm just gonna make skirms for now. Yeah, which is just going to delay Castle Age even longer. But you do have free wheelbarrow, so you can kind of afford it. Uh, yeah, he only has three archers. Honestly, if you can snipe the archers, then you don't have to really worry as much about losing vills. Like, okay, you, you retreated your guys to uh, deer. That's really good. That's a really smart play, actually. You can actually win this fight now. Yeah, you, you actually win this fight. Nice. You want to put the pressure on him to force him to make more skirmishers. Because if you just let him go up, he will yeah, destroy Yeah, I am... Yeah, I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just drain this one range, but I think I'll just force my way up this hill. And then add archers. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, I like that you're microing towards him as well. In situations where you know you're gonna win, it's just just make it so that he can't retreat. Nice. <laughs> we looked at that walling village at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly like you finish the fight and then you check your economy. Oh, I think he just clicked up that lag bug. Yeah, that's not good. Ooh, you need to secure your base. You should be able to get walls up here. You you'll be able to click up soon. But yeah, see, this is what happens, is you, you made, like, five more skirms, and that's delaying your castle age time. Yeah, my... I'm also folding a... folding some wood right now. Yeah. Which is not helpful. So what's the plan for castle age? Is it gonna be crossbowman? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right, I'm pretty much taking into that. I can harass this wood one. So you need oh, to... open. Oh, well, you, you need to secure your gold, though. You really need to get these walls up and secure your gold. Okay, yeah, so you see he's on two range now, or at least he's trying to. Okay. Uh, you have, that one archer that you have is actually really nice. You need, to, you need to pick off that one archer and then kill that low HP man. All right, or retreat. Either way. Either way is good. It's fine. You won't get him now, but... You didn't lose your army, that's fine. Although the skirms don't really matter too much. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're floating a lot of gold. You really need to send a bunch to gold. Yeah, 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 you know. But that needed to happen, like, before you were microing your units there. So it's just gonna be a bit late. Yeah, gold mining, good. Uh, do we have all the eco techs? Yeah, we do. Wait, does that pause the game when I go to the tech tree? I don't think it should. No. It, no, it I, I didn't notice anything. No, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, see this? Imagine you using... Oh. Imagine using lag as a barometer for... Well, I know, it's so around. dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> like, they need to fix that, because that's just... That's just yeah, cheating. It actually gives you information that you should not have. E exactly. I mean, technically, you can see the score drop, so technically the information is always there, but it's not really. I don't know. <laughs> score drop. Score can drop from other things, too. And also, it's a lot more difficult to notice a score drop. The other thing is, this can be, like, score drop can, can be intentionally used to bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which I think, like, Winchester has done on occasion. <laughs> is there a new bug? Uh, this bug's been out for, like, five days? What is it three range here? I don't think so. Mm, yeah, I would say just two is fine. He He's gonna have similar numbers, actually, because remember, you thinned out his numbers, and then even when you attack there, you killed one extra... No, you killed, like, two archers there, so... I think your numbers are similar. You need to get two TCs now, though. That This has been a long feudal age. You have to throw down TCs right away. No matter what. One TC will never win from here. Yeah. There we go. Nice, nice. And we're floating a lot of food. Just that's how Vikings are. So... Yeah. We need to spend... 
honestly, like, you could even get armor. Like, plus two armor. Oh, no, he's got Elite Skirm. Oh, that's really bad. He, yeah, well, and the fact that he's able to range that. So, yeah, that's... That, yeah, that's horrible. I don't have any wood. That's, that's another issue. The question is, do you, do you want to delete that TC for a seed shop? That is an I option. Think I, I think I do, actually, because yeah. that's not going to go up, and I can't clean yeah. it. And, and you need siege for these skirms. You can still stick on crossbowmen, but you just need to have mangonels as well. And then it's fine. Why TCs after a long feudal? Uh, because you build up so much resources that you're not going to be able to really effectively spend them on military in time, and... Yeah, it's just going to be much more effective use of your resources to spend on um, TCs to expand your economy. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can easily just get that hundred stone again and then add it later. Murphy, okay, he's over there. The fact that I he mean, invested into elite skirms means that he probably didn't get his three TCs right away, or at least like it's just another big investment for him. That might not I'm pay off if you have mango. Well, uh, I think we have all the upgrades. We uh, have... I kind of just want to run out. Yeah. Being oh, yeah, you need bow saw still. I guess you didn't need it earlier just because you needed your wood for this. I mean, yeah, like yeah. I was short on wood, so I just skipped it. Yeah, exactly. Of course, we don't need heavy plow yet. Just You don't need to add any farms for a little while. But you do need to get that second TC now. Or the other TC. You could get it in your back wood line. But I, I guess on the gold's probably better. Although you do have a seed shot. Why, why am I constantly housed? Yeah. Well, that's what I like to ask myself sometimes too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, just get a bunch of houses. Man, we're floating a lot still. The Viking is hard. You need to add more mangonels though. Yeah, I'm... Actually, he's throwing. He's gonna throw this. Yeah. He has armor. Oh, nice Doesn't micro. Matter. Nice micro. Oh! Get him. Doesn't matter if he has armor there. Finish him up. There we go. Yeah. There, there's very frequently a central hill on Arabia that is really good to take. It's pretty common. And before Chukunu killed all. Well, we've got Mangonels, and also... I if mean, he... Chukunu doesn't kill this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chukunu doesn't kill this. Chukunu is not really <laughs> Yeah, I'm responding to the chat sometimes, then it's like, yeah. I, I mean, that's... yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah, Still 800 food. Time. Like, how do we spend as Vikings? It's crazy. We need to get a... Okay, yeah, university's coming. Nice. I like Thumb Ring here. That's a good use. We need to put pressure. Like, we need to continue with pressure. And, and the great thing about being on three TCs is even if your pressure doesn't do much, at least you're in a similar situation economically as your opponent. Whereas if you commit to like two TC or one TC aggression, you have to do damage. Um, you can target that palisade to get in. Yeah, yeah, I love the heavy plow timing because yeah, you are going to have to replace some of these farms now. Oh, that, that, that's tough. Oh, knights. Oh, but they, oh, no. they don't have oh, upgrades. No. They don't have upgrades. Yeah, you can kill just, them. If I lose this, if I lose the mangonels, then I'd have nothing for the skirm. Yeah. So. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, better micro yeah, is required. You, there's no reason to lose that second mangonel there. Yeah, there was... Because he didn't see it. Because knights have low line of sight. You just needed to not send it in. <laughs> but... It's okay, though. You're still in an okay spot. He didn't really kill too much early. And your eco is decent. Oh yeah, you need to fix that wood line in the top because you don't have a wood line. You don't oh. have a lumber camp. Probably camp the center hill. I would say. Yeah, just bring the mangonel. Even if he comes right now, you can probably fight on the hill, especially with the mangonel in behind. So yeah, just. I, I would say those three skirms need to be like mobile outposts, and you need to have them just like you need one in the right side, and then one in the center of the map, and then one, like, on the left side. That's the best use for them right now. Hey, baby fan. So now we're floating a lot of gold. Um, it's probably best to just yeah. go up to Imp pretty soon. So you need to get more farms, of course. Ooh, houses. And I get this house again. Yeah, you're going to be able to get a castle soon. I would say if you can get a castle on that central hill, go for it. I, I would send Vils now. 
Just just to that center hill. And then click up. Oh. Okay. We're just relying on the mangano. Wait. Ooh. Did you never click ballistics? Ooh, dang. Oh, what are you I doing? Oh, why? 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 Why tank with the mangano? Okay, well now you can't get a castle. You need to tank mean, with I, the crossbow. I mean, also, I, I was trying to fix the wheels that were in the uh, middle. Ah, uh, so, uh, okay. okay. Was, like it was, it was just one of those moments where. Yeah. Where I can't <laughs> okay, well it's fine. You can get the castle at home. Yeah. I would okay. get it now though. Then priority is clicking up. Like yeah, don't even queue vills. Just click up, get arbalist, and hope that you can hit a good timing. Cute vills once you click up, obviously, but yeah, more farms now. Crossbow two tank. Well, you need to tank the uh, the knights in that situation with the crossbowman, so he doesn't kill the mangonel, and then the mangonel kills the. Yeah, I tried to get the mangonel forward to just get a good attack round onto the. Yeah, you did get a good the... attack round, but yeah. you could have kept it alive. Like, he just got he just got really blocked by everything else. Yeah. All right, let's go up. Let's make more farms now, and probably just stick on Arb, right? That's that's really the best option here. Arb and Onager. Like, that's all you really need against everything, right? Yeah, I feel like I can just... Honestly, like, if he, he, if he isn't up, then I can just... I can just have uh, Arbalist and fine. Yep. Yeah. Do we do we have Ballistics yet? We do. We have okay. had Ballistics for some time. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't even have to go to the tech tree because I'm in-game. I can just click everything <laughs> to see the upgrades. <laughs> yes. Um, probably get a monastery now. Like, you have a relic in your base, and you're gonna want... Like, actually, your units are kind of weak, too. You have a few. It's it's definitely just worth it. Like, at this point, it's not even really a big expense. And it's just one of those things. Okay, so you... Oh, what? what? He's getting a TC there. That's funny. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's gonna get trapped down. Honestly, um... I would... I would love to just, like... See you sell 500 stone. Ooh. Buy buy like 200 stone or sorry, but sell wood, buy 200 stone and just get a castle like near your monastery there, that you can just treb that TC from. Yeah, he's up before me. Yep. Uh, remember to keep keep your crossbowman running though. You need to take control of golds, and you haven't scouted any I mean, side like, golds he, yet. He's up. I'm not. Like, I don't think I can go out at the moment. Yeah, you can't go out at the moment. No. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This castle need to come up a little bit faster. You need to actually rush it up. Like, you need to send more vills. Just send all your farmers. You're still gonna be fine, though. Mm, he doesn't get in here. Yeah, he, he won't He won't get in. Yeah, keep adding vills. If, just... like, if he has a castle close to front, that might be really bad. You need oh, to sell, sell a bunch of food and just get double trebs coming. And then Bracer. Oh, yeah. He, oh, you could take out that Treb real quick. Ah, a little slow, but you might be able to. Oh, no, you're just patrolling. Ah, you gotta get in close. Clicking it like that is not gonna work. But yeah, you need uh, uh, Arb upgrades now. Wait, why? Oh, I thought I killed that. And we need to repair the castle as well. Oh man, the unit control is not there. Your your crossbow yeah, is so like, far behind. This, this is very spaghetti right now. Yeah. Like I you, thought I queued Arbalest yeah. and it's Yeah, you're you're still fine though. Let's just focus. Uh we have another treb that needs to be trebbing his uh gold there. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, we need it. Okay, why okay, it just feels like every unit is in the wrong place. <laughs> and I can't fix it. He He's gonna kill the castle. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't yeah. Do right now. Like he has to. We he has to re there. I can't. Yep. Can't against him, really. You definitely want to trap down his seed shop though. Like you have a, a trap there. It's on the. Oh. oh that's... But yeah, the fact that you don't know where any golds are is gonna start to hurt. Like you, you actually need to. Maybe even switch to skirms or something. Like you need some kind of trash because you have all this resource. I, I would say Honestly, sell. I, I I'll just, I'll go, I'm gonna go Viking right now. Right now. What? Because he's he's like full skirm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I see a bunch of cavaliers. Oh, actually, that's that. Those cavaliers do nothing. Go out. Go out. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. bring the mangonel as well. Oh, capped rams though. Honestly, you need onager. Like you can sell all that wood to get onager. Onager are just like you don't have gold though, but still. Okay, this this gate is actually killing. These walls are killing me right now. Yeah. All right, it is. Okay, and I. Oh no. Okay, like I have not been able to use control groups this game. This is the big problem. Yeah. Like, yeah. I thought I had I thought I had the Arbois control group and they were not, so that happened. Now he's and getting in on Cavalier. <laughs> I mean, you still have a big ball of arbs. Anything is possible. <laughs> Actually, I just I think I need to go back here. You might as well queue up more vills. You have so much food. Yeah, light cav could be okay. Actually, they're not good, but you need like five more stables, though. I, oh. need, I just need to. Keep Where are your up arbs going? Oh. Uh. Yeah, honestly, like, your play is good, The your biggest issue is unit control, like, that's... I mean, yeah, like, the, like it's a big issue, this game is not, like, honestly, this is unusually bad for me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm usually way better, but this has just been spaghetti. <laughs> I feel like usually when I just have, when I, like, Titanic, or, like, when I lose a lot of rages, because I'm having really bad unit control most of my games. Mm. So it's so like it just this kind of thing all the time. Okay, ah, that didn't die. <laughs> you have to split so your army now. Uh, I think I don't know what you can do here though. Yeah, like it's just like this is too much spaghetti to deal with right now, and uh, like I can't deal with everything. Else. You, you needed like three onagers here, honestly. Like... Oh, and now this. Oh, okay, like what is even happening? I thought I sent those arbors there, and now they're not there, and. And the cavalier is still doing villages, and oh, it happened again. Like, yeah, and then we're fighting skirms with arbs, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you Wait, had made what? one monk to pick up the relic, it would have really okay. helped. This is over. Yeah, let's call it. Like, GG. like that happened again. Like, I, I, I sent like I have these six, five arbors that were supposed to go after the cavalier. I select the others, I put them on the control group one, which should detach the other ones, and I move them back into the front. And then the ones that I sent after the cavalier are, are going back to the front as well. Like, I just don't know what's happening. Yeah, game. yeah. We, we probably had a bit of lag, too, because I think I just used the default server again, which is uh, US West, so... But still. <laughs> still, still. Um, what needed to happen this game is you really needed to scout for the neutral golds. Like, you could have snuck that one on the right side probably easily. Maybe even the one on the left side, because he didn't take it. Like, I'm assuming the opponent didn't even know about it. And yeah, that, that would have really helped. Go. Like, you, you really just ran out of gold. And you didn't... You The only gold unit you had was Arb. Like, you really just needed Onagers. Um, you could have sold your wood to get it at one point. And just three Onagers just stops this push. Because the Cavaliers still die. Like, you had, like, what, 40-plus Arbalists? That still kills Cavalier. So, anyways, I think just throwing so many units and not getting a castle in the center really hurt because it allowed him to just push you really fast. Like, if he gets up to imp faster than you, it's okay if you have a central hill in the middle of the map. Then you can you can just repair until you get up if he decides to attack it. But now he's, like, attacking your front and he's up faster. So, that's really Yeah, tough. like, this just felt like I knew what to do, mm -hmm. but I just couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't execute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe you need to go and do like some custom scenarios, just just like unit control, custom scenarios, just yeah. r macro rebind, um, control groups, stuff like that. It, it's kind of boring, but I mean, it might be worth it to just do a little yeah. bit. I don't know, I don't know. Well played throughout the mid game, anyways. It was a pretty close game until yeah, the end. I just like yeah, it was just like few few fights were really bad because my control groups weren't set up properly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But, and uh, then because I was like I was also at the like it also pushed me back to the bottom of a hill and it's really hard to play from that position. Yeah, yeah. Well, exactly. That's why I like to take that central hill just before imp. Even if you're up a little slower, like you just you just repair it, and it can be okay. <laughs> but it, it's so important. Yeah. But yeah, he was just economically a bit ahead the entire time. I think. 
He, he, yeah, see, you stopped Vils at like 103. Whereas he went up to 130, which is kind of more standard. So you, you kind of stopped Vils once you clicked up. Or at least you stopped at like 100, which was not enough. Although he was yeah, pressing you. I'm just losing Vils there as well, so. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to move on to the next one here. Thanks for joining. Okay. So, why don't we do the next draw? Let me refresh the page here. See, this is the way to do it. It's just do the draw. Set that up. There we go. All right, you guys know what to do. Press 1 if you want in for the next one. Playing on stream is like a negative 100 elo handicap. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It, it's kind of tough. <laughs> Bubbly Mango with the 2. Dead by Fly with the 14. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recorded games are, I would say, standard. I mean, our first two have been live, but recorded games are great as well. Give him a few more seconds. Get some orange juice in me. Alrighty. I'm gonna hit the roll button. Lots of people here now, so Rex might be quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm rolling it. Tonga White Boy is the winner. See, it's not rigged. We got, we got someone who's not always here. <laughs> we got a new person actually following since today. Amazing. Look at that. That's as not rigged as it can get. Um. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It says that you're new. <laughs> well, there we go. Luck of the draw. Um. So. To submit a replay, you have to join my Discord, and there's like a text channel, coaching text channel, where you can submit it there. And yeah, I will pick it up. I see you just joined it, so that's cool. It only... Uh, uh, wait, I think it... Yeah, yeah. I don't even think it has to be a follower to select it's just like mods regulars subscribers and users it selects from everyone so yeah quick piano break yeah that is a great idea while we're waiting for a wreck give you guys some piano time hopefully you can hear it should be good. I haven't adjusted anything. What do we play? All right. Well, we gotta we gotta play some AOE music. It's the coaching stream.
replay. Wait, where is it? Ah, uh, wait. Oh, uh, you can submit it in the coaching channel, text channel. It's uh, it's uh, hash coaching. Click that, and then there's a plus thing where you can attach a file. <laughs> Sandals with socks. Hey, we have a command for that. <laughs> it's called comfy. Actually, you know the reason I wear sandals here is it puts my legs a little bit higher up so that I'm not like leaning forward. That's why. I think it's uh, I think it's sandals. I think it's like that. <laughs> Where do I work? I'm a Twitch streamer now. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got the replay now. Just throw that into my save game folder. And then we go back in it. Mass, Siege, Onager, and Pike. Yeah, well, that's that's a little tough once you get to that point, but good micro and cavalry tends to work, or good micro and infantry can be okay, but you kind of need something. Need something in the back, like Arbalist, Arbalist, Onager. Like, you basically need to out-micro that. There's nothing that you can just like send in, and it's going to be good. Pretty much. Okay. Let's go. In the teal, we have Tonga White Boy with the Mongols. And in the red, we have the Mad 22 with Franks. Chinese versus Celt on Fortress. Ah, uh, well, Fortress is a weird map. I, I can't really say anything about that map. I've played a few games. It hasn't been a good experience. <laughs> so, uh, what's the ELO, by the way? It is 1300. Okay, nice. So we got mid-level. Actually, here, let's not speed it up. Let's watch. Get that music on just a little bit. I'm going to turn up my speakers a little bit now so that I can actually hear the sounds. So the great thing about Mongols, well, they've got a lot of good things about them. They have the extra line of sight on their scout. Um, I think your scout should have gone this way instead of down here. Because you already scouted a bunch down here with the sheep. Now, you haven't scouted... Yeah, it's been kind of unfortunate that you haven't found your other sheep yet. But you would have had more scouting if you had gone this way and around. Oh, you're lucky, though. They were there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I would have maybe considered getting this wood line just because if you have the wood line in the back, it's going to be harder for him to uh, attack. Like, if you get it here, imagine he builds a tower here. It just ranges everything. Whereas if it's back here, it's a little bit easier to defend away from the opponent. ring nothing <laughs> well, I mean anyone could submit anything <laughs> that is true cat oh no oh that's so unfortunate I hate when that happens okay I do like that you pushed as Mongols it's almost always worth it to push if you can these deer are very easy to push and just the food comes in so quick. Back of the base might be closer to the opponent. Nah, this side is definitely not closer. Middle of the map is always going to be closer. Even if his opponent's like over here, this is still going to be... Like, his opponent's going to be like down here. Right? Yeah, he's like down here. He, he Like, your opponent can't spawn here or anything. It, it has to be like in this area down here. Uh, so, when you're taking all of these food sources, I would say you wanted to finish off the deer first and then take the boar, just because you had it, like, half done already. This is, like, there's just always going to be a lot of rot. Like, now, the way that you're doing it, all of the animals are going to finish at the same time, which means there's, like, always three animals decaying at a time. Whereas if you finish them one by one, you have three for a little while, and then you go on to two, and then one. It's just going to be more efficient, 
like total food wise but you did push the deer so you have extra food to work with so it's, it's probably okay wow that was close all right all right so far so decent He likes to take more exposed wood first, so if he gets pushed off, he has more back wood. Yeah, I guess I guess there is that, but I don't know, though. In some situations, it's like, I, I guess if your plan is to go to lumber camps, which is fairly standard. I don't know. I, I just like to take the back one first. I find it works. But I guess there can be an argument for taking the forward one first as well. What elo is this? This is like 1300. Yeah, shift Q is kind of weird sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you don't get the whole decay thing. Yeah, uh, so boars actually decay faster than deer. So that's another variable that you have to consider. But the idea, like, having less animals decay at once is just better. So if you have a sheep that's like half done... Sometimes it's better to just finish off the sheep and then go on to your hunt if you bring in two at the same time, but it's, you kind of have to make that decision while you're playing. And it's not even a huge issue, it's just one of those little things that it's kind of worth it to do properly, I guess. Makes sense to have a lot on one board. Yeah, exactly. Um, so Tonga here, he had like five on that boar, whereas he should have had at least seven, seven, eight, even up to ten. You can fit 10 around a boar easily. Looks like a ghost face on the minimap. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't see exactly when you got the barracks. But if you build it, if you're at 60% feudal age and you build the barracks with one villager, the barracks will come up at 100%. Oh, we're, all, we're slightly off on wood. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Nice. Pretty solid 19 pop scouts here, actually. Yeah, deer and sheep decay at the same rate. It's just boars that decay faster. So we see a barracks from the opponent. I mean, he's Franks, so he, he's likely going scouts. But you definitely want to do another run by just to see. Basically, right when the opponent clicks up, that's when they're going. Or sorry, not when they click up. When they reach the next age, that's when they add the production facility. Just like when you reach the next age, you want to get your stable up right away. He also wants to do that. So if his barracks is here, that means he's probably going to be building the production facility right here. So you actually don't know 100% that he's going scouts. Like you, you actually should scout this which you'll see now even adding in a spear uh the spears maybe a little early anyways let's see peer out of the fog okay he built it here fine same thing so the thing is is that you're 19 pop scouts you're actually gonna have more numbers than him but the fact that you added a spear, well, actually, the fact that you're queuing four vills means you can't add more scouts. You need to fix that. You need to be queuing more scouts. So far, so good, though. I like that you're walling. It's really sketchy to play scouts when you don't have a wall, because scouts just die to everything. Well, the higher score is from scouting. <laughs> I bet the opponent has, like, no scouting. <laughs> what is this scouting from this man? Okay, that's something that the mad needs to work on, is scouting. 100%. Anyways, let's get back. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, the game is... Wait, does the mad have wheelbarrow? Okay, I wanna... He must have wheelbarrow. This is... Madness. What? Why is he, like... Why is he... Wait, did he have horse call? Or, sorry. Town watch? Okay, he's just behind in bills. So that means... Our friend Tonga the white boy, he his macro is actually better than his opponents in this game. Oh, he stole a sheep too. Nice. Personally, never go less than 21 pop. Uh, 
uh, at higher levels, you kind of have to, though. If you go 21 pop scouts, it's just too late. Your opponent already has better units. Ooh. That happens. But you need to be full wall. This is what happens. If you go forward... Like, if, if you go forward with your scouts against, and he's also going scouts, and you're not walled, he's just going to get in. And basically, you will lose Vils. <laughs> so, I know I've heard from probably Hera, probably other pros when I've been watching their streams, but don't attack with your scouts until you're full walled, if it's scouts versus scouts. Because you're probably going to go up against walls, and if, if he can just get in, like, he's just going to have all the initiative. Now he's taken off, or he's taken out a couple vills. Now, I mean, now it's even, just because your macro is better than his. But, yeah, this will happen, like, all the time. Because the thing is, is, if you're attacking with scouts, you're going to have less than him. Because he is reinforcing from home, so he's just going to have more. And then also, he knows your scouts are here. So if he has spears in position, he knows that you're not going to get damage. He, he's actually safe to just send his scouts to your base. So, basically, that's, that's why you have to be wall when you're attacking with scouts. Uh, you know what you need to do? Is you need to trap him in here now. Like, you, you actually need to finish these walls before he just runs out. And he's probably going to run out. You thought of it. Actually, okay, okay. Wait, why is he fighting? Oh, dang. He killed two. Oh, man. Uh, now you're going to lose Vils. Oh, no. He's just going to run out. Because it's, it's still open. Yikes. Your opponent is using his army a lot more effectively. Ooh, you overmade spears, too. He's going to get one more. I don't know. Actually, that was worth it. Because he only lost one scout for that. Is he going to go for him? Nope. Oh, these farms are no good. Oh, don't... Just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you need to cancel this one. You need to cancel this one. Oh. I, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't try and attack that one. That would have been completely worth it for him to take a swing at that. See, this is what happens. Scouts get in your base and you're just running around with spears... You can never catch. And he's just going to keep picking off bills. This stemmed from that one mistake of him getting in. Uh, I don't know what she's doing. She's idle. But... Oh, there we go. There we go. Good. You split your spears. You know what you need to do? Oh. Oh, he's clicked up the castle. Yeah. When, when you're chasing scouts, it's better to have, like, one here... One here, one here, one here. Just, like, spread them out so that every time he has to, he runs somewhere, he has to, like, micro against spears. Eventually, he's going to slip up. 21 pop is too late for scouts. Yeah, at a higher level. At lower levels, it's going to be fine, but at this level and above, pretty much, you, you have to go 19 or 20. Like, 21, you might as well just do something else. Uh, anyways, the opponent is up. And we're close. We need to click up here. So actually, game's not over. We're four vills up because we're up slower. So we had more time with the TC. Do we have no wheelbarrow here? Does the Mad have wheelbarrow? He must have wheelbarrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Mad's eco is actually going to be so good. Wheelbarrow on the way up to Castle Age is just mm, so good. Oh, you were missing a building. Oh, I hate that. I always do that when opening scouts. And then, like, you don't need the blacksmith or anything, so you just forget the secondary building. Yikes. It happens. So now we're super, super behind in tech anyways. Basically, you have to survive until um, you can actually get knights out or whatever you're going to do. Looks like you're going to go knights. Because you have all these farms. Some of these farms are really not very well placed, though. You d you definitely wanted to put that one tile closer. This one needed to be here. Um, it's worth it to... Uh, like, even this one needed to be here. Maybe there were berries blocking, but... It's worth it to pay attention to that. Especially before you have wheelbarrow. It, like, you don't care about this later on when you have wheelbarrow and handcart, but... Well, especially handcart. But at this stage, it actually really does make a difference. Um... You did kind of overmake spears, which is one of the reasons you were up so slow. 
Like, you really only needed about three spears for the five scouts that we're in. Uh, let me grab... Got some food here. Grab a bite to eat. stone gate. I mean, it's better than a palisade gate, but you know what would be even better? Palisade gate with, like, houses behind it. Because <laughs> now you can't get two TZs. The reason the stone gate is chosen over the palisade gate is because it's stronger, and palisade gates are really weak, but you can kind of fortify them by just placing buildings behind them. Just like investing into anything with stone before you get your first two tcs is kind of bad a lot of the time what time is it here it is 12 30 in the afternoon uh not rice with egg it's egg with bread and bacon <laughs> okay okay this needs to be you need to send like these two here he's not even a, oh he is attacking it yeah you need to send these like right now in house wall he should be attacking this palisade, though. Oh, he's actually losing H. Oh, it's doing one net. Whoa, that wolf is chunking. I really like that you are going three stable camels here. That's really good. You need to add your TCs now. Basically, these camels aren't going to kill your opponent. They're, they might kill his army, but you'll never kill his economy with camels. So, them being a counter unit, you have to just... Just take out these with them, and then expand your economy behind it. Or you could go for, like, an all-in push with them, with forward siege and everything. But you can't just build camels and defend on one TC. That's just... Basically, it, it, like, you're, you're just not going to get anywhere with that. So you, you either have to go aggressive or go economy here. Whereas just spamming a bunch of camels aren't really going to... Okay, you are going forward siege. That's good. That's one of the good things that you knew. Um, oh, nice. Wait, do you have husbandry? Probably not. Oh, you do. Sick. Yeah, so you actually catch these. You need to You need to command them. Just just hit the back one. No, no, no. no. Don't try and get in front of them. Ah, oh, no. You could have easily gotten like three kills there. Well, too easily. But now he's gotten away. Camels move faster than knights, and if you rush out husbandry, your opponent probably doesn't have it. And, yeah, you can take a good fight. Oh, nice, he's not paying attention. Wait, he went for attack over armor. Okay, I guess. It, actually, attack's probably better against camels anyways. And then getting through walls, obviously. Okay, nice, you took out his army. Fort Siege is great. And you're getting a TC, that's good. But... You can't get another TC, because this is not live. It is a replay, because you spent on the stone gate. I don't know. I, I kind of dislike the stone gate. Unless you're already on stone for something. <laughs> Very pro stone gate. <laughs> Next to wood palisades. I mean, it ruins the aesthetic. See, this is what happens with camels, is you can kill knights, but you can't kill anything else. Like, they have one use, is to kill knights. If he switches to monks, if he switches to pikes, well, what are your camels gonna do? Okay, we need to get that siege started. Oh, man. A house instead of a siege. Ah. I like that you, you added in some knights. But... You really need to be invested. Oh, no. Did you just reseed farms? Oh, wait. Do we have auto... Re oh, I can't even check. But if you have auto reseed on now, it's actually killing you. Then we go for a mining camp instead of siege. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we're way too slow adding in the siege. Like, you you had the right idea to go for this. But you're, like, one production p cycle behind. Or even two. Like, imagine if you had two mangonels now. Or even three. This mining camp should have been deleted and placed one tile forward as well. It's 
There's just no reason to get it two tiles away. Obviously, it's a misclick, but you do have to fix these mistakes. No point in getting feudal one pop quicker. No, 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 no. Uh, 57, definitely, if you can, you can rush out four scouts on 19 pop. You just send more to berries than standard. Nice. I like that you went for the vill there first instead of going straight for the, the TC. You could have even gotten one more. See, there's the pikes. Uh, and uh, the knights are your best option. Okay, you need to move this guy up. Uh, what are you doing? These need to come here. Oh, no. Engaging. This is exactly the engagement he wanted was killing small groups with pikes. That's like what pikes are used for. Going for the vills is okay, but you needed to protect your siege. I think that would have been better. I, I did like that you had a group come in from the back though. But now he has pikes, like what are you gonna do? Okay, scorps are fine. Three mangonels with good attack rounds also works pretty well. You don't even have to actually get, nail the attack rounds. Like if you have camels to tank, you can kind of just throw rocks at everything and your camels will sort of tank. Hello, Fotini. And everyone else. Should Teal go crossbow, or uh, cavalry archers or crossbow? Uh, in this situation, probably actually cav archers would be decent. Just because they're going to synergize better with the cavalry. Hey, bands. <laughs> awesome. Um, so he already has Husbandry and Bloodlines, so he already has some of the techs that will make Cab Archers good. So, it's not a bad idea. It's the only thing is that he has to actually micro them. So, he, he's chosen for Scorpions to counter the Pikes. Oh, and you see the castle? There's no way you push any more from this. At this point, you need to just switch. The fact that you only have two TCs now is going to really hurt, because your opponent's... Well, your opponent should be on three TCs. His fill count doesn't really say that he is, but... Okay, okay, yeah. You can't push this anymore. Just run. So everything... Everything needs to go, like, here. And maybe maybe attack here. Actually, this Palisade Gate's probably fairly... A, a good place to attack. But he has a bunch of pikes. Like, what upgrades does he have? Well, he has only plus one, but still. I love the addition of the Step Lancers. This is actually good. Like, honestly, if you can keep the Step Lancers in behind, you will get a little bit more DPS than just going full Camels and Knights. Like, I actually really like just having a couple in there. You just don't want them in the front. Like, you actually have to make sure that they go in last. Nice. Actually, yeah. Like, they will shoot... See, look, they hit from the back. So, the, it's like having two more units hitting them. Even though they do, like, half damage. Well, not even half. They're, like, quite a bit better than the camels, actually. <laughs> actually, yeah, they're they're pretty close to knight. They just do one less. Oh! And you can kill the monk through! Sick! Man, the Step Lancers are genius here. You need to get a castle, like, on this hill. Okay. Garrison... Okay, I like that you went up to three TCs. This is good. Um, you need to... I don't agree with adding knights here. You need to get up to imp. Because you, you got to think, okay, well, my opponent's probably up to imp. Hey, skill yourself. Thanks. Too many vills queued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a castle here is going to be great. The thing is, is that Franks, they get cheap castles, so... Your opponent is going to be able to put a castle on every hill. You want to at least take a hill. This is a big hill, though. But still, getting it, like, back here means he can't really hit it from that hill. Okay, that hill's fine. This hill's better because it secures the gold, though. But this, this hill's a little more defensive, I guess. Because if he wants to attack from here, it's like there's you have vision and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um... Tonga's been really good at keeping Vils queued, but he sometimes has too many Vils queued in each um, TC. But that's actually, like, it's a lot better than not having Vils. Like, look at this. Red's macro is just... That's something that the Mad needs to work on, his macro. 
Because he's just constantly behind. Oh no, the halves though. Yeah. yeah it's, let's just take the fight. Just, I don't know. All right, or run from it. Either way, either way. Like you have the TZ here. You have Step Lancers. You would kill them. Honestly, thinning out his numbers would be okay. I think against eight halves, you could have been okay. Oh, but you only have plus one. Yeah, you need plus two. When you're fighting halves or pikes with cavalry, you want to prioritize the attack upgrades. Because basically, you, you shred through them so they don't do as much damage. What are these walls? <laughs> we are a wall in half the map. Understandable. So what's the plan? Mangadai? We don't have upgrades, though. Do we? Okay, we got Bodkin, actually. Oh, no, we're fine. Uh, how about Ballistics? I know you just got the University. So no Ballistics. That needs to come up right away. But the thing is, is... Um, you don't have a lot of wood. Because you're going to want Trebs, too, because he's bound to have Trebs. Um, what needs to happen? This always gets skewed behind Imperial Age for some reason. Handcart does. You have to manually like put it in one of your other TCs. Just I don't know why. Just handcart just goes behind Imp all the time. So that's just a bunch of resources that could be ballistics. Like that 200 wood that's sitting around could have been ballistics. What are some hints to know that your opponent's imping? If they don't have a big army and they're just like. Booming behind walls and stuff. Like, all that the opponent did was... He opened knights, but then he just went pikes. And, basically, like, if you invest a bunch into army like this, and then your opponent doesn't have an army like this, then he's probably in. Like, you can kind of just tell. I don't know. It's... It's kind of hard to say. <laughs> the score drops as well, but that's not really... You're not really paying too much attention to that at this stage in the game. I know I don't. Oh, no. Don't lose these. No, 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 no. No, no, build up numbers. You're doing... I know Mang and I are good against Siege, but not when you have four of them. <laughs> okay. Well, this castle's gonna fall. Actually, you know what you need to do? Yeah! You've baited them down here. Now go straight for the Trebs. Let's go! Let's go! Get the Trebs! Oh no! What have you done? You can... You'll get these Trebs, actually. You... Yeah, you're gonna save the castle. Nice. Oh, that's huge. Okay, so we're floating quite a bit of food here. Yeah. Eco is super, super ahead. So you just need to spam units. Like, you just need to spend. Really? Like, fortify this position. Get, get like, another Treb. Maybe even... Like, honestly, walling against the Halps is actually so good here. Do we still not have Ballistics? Oh, we really need that. Um, ballistics is gonna really help the castle as well and honestly bracer needed to come in like right on him Yeah, you'll never get any raiding done. You just need to fix your eco fix Fix this area This treb needs to attack that you, like, you need a wall here against the helps because you don't have any like real units against helps The survivalists get a snack. I've got a snack right here. It's getting a little bit cold though. Mangadai are only good in mass. If you have two Mangadai, they're not very good. I'm eating bacon and eggs and toast. Whoa! If this hits, oh my god. That that is a hax. That is a hax trebuchet right there. 100% accuracy. Aren't those things supposed to have like 15%? Okay. This is not going to be a good fight. Put the halves in there. Although he's not attacking these two. Oh, I like I like what you did there. Sniping that. Really good. But yeah, he took a good fight. But the reason why you're still in this game is because your economy is way ahead. So, even if you're taking bad trades, you just have more. What needs to happen? Yeah. 
Just, you have so much food, and you just can't seem to spend. Just, Mongols, Hussars will just kill everything. Well, maybe not a bunch of halbs, but they'll kill everything that you need them to kill. And that's what you have. Yeah, yeah there's some gold. There we go. I would love to see... Honestly, just take the farmers. Just take all these farmers. Bring them up here. Uh, again with the sloppy mining camp placement. That's going to be super inefficient. You definitely needed one tile away on that one. Archery range for Parthian. Oh, we've got an archery range. Uh, oh, wait. Is Parthian not... Oh, yeah. Parthian's not in. So that actually gives you plus two attack versus pikemen, which really, really helps. And then also some de defense, but yeah. It pains me to move the farmers. Yeah, 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 me too. Me too. But when you're floating this much food and no wood, you kind of uh, kind of have to. Ooh, okay, I don't like attacking with one treb. Wait till you have like three. If you attack with one treb, he's just going to build up an army and then kill it. Whereas if you attack with three, he's going to build up an army. And he's going to be too late. Wow. Nice walls, though. These walls are actually so good. I think your scouting's probably still way better. Eh. Your opponent's starting to scout now. Ooh, the sneak paladins. They're not going to sneak around anywhere. Actually, they are going to get in. You're gonna get in here, probably. Maybe? Actually, no, it's not even open. Ideal Mang- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mangadai and Hussar. That composition will kill anything. Even the Frank Paladins. Like, I guess you could go Heavy Camel. If he's got Frank Paladins. But you don't really have the gold for it. The Mangadai will still eventually kill the Paladins. You do need Elite, though. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, uh, yeah, see, this is why you don't go with one trep, because then you kind of, like, overcommit. If you had three, you could have killed the castle and just got out of there. But now he's just gonna, like, you're, you basically accomplished nothing. All you did was throw a bunch of Mangadai and throw your treb. So that's pretty much what always happens when you just send one treb to kill uh, a castle. You have to wait, like, I think three is the magic number. You can wait till four. Two is still a little too little. Franks, Paladins, extra HP doesn't help against Camels. Really? Do they still take the same number of hits to kill? Well, it'll help when you have Mangadai doing passive damage in behind as well, though. Oh no, oh no, you misclicked. Oh, take out the Trab at least. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, no way, no way. Okay, use the Mangadai to kill the Trebs. Oh man, oh man, what a throw. What a throw. Got it, got it, but it costs you everything. 20. 20 trebs basically one-shots castles. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting 20 trebs, though. Mongol, ca Mongol cavalry line is weak. What? What do you mean? They don't have the final armor. But, like, they have extra HP on Hussars. And then, they have everything else. It's not weak. Like, the, camel the camels specifically aren't great and i guess obviously you wouldn't build cavalier with them if you don't have to <laughs> anyways uh okay so he, your opponent finally added bills you know what really needed to happen is you needed to take relics at some point wait have you been no you have a monastery so you thought of it at one point Yeah, this... Well, this is looking sketchy. Nice. With raids? You can come back from anything with raids. Good raids? Like, we need to get Hussar happening. Like, look at these queues. We need to get Hussar happening. There's no reason not to have Hussar at this point. Oh, yeah. Oh, somebody keeps inviting me to games. Sorry. I don't know how to turn off notifications. Is there a setting in my Steam? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay. Here, I'm going to speed it up. 
Because I think we've learned all that we can from this. Basically, at this point, it doesn't matter if we're on super speed. The raids are what bring us back in this game. It's a lot of horns. Still no elite Mangadai, but it's not like it can be afforded. I don't like the addition of heavy camels here. So, more camels aren't really going to help a ton. It's just gonna, you're just basically throwing your gold into heavy camels that still just die to everything. Like, it's better to put that gold into more Mangadai. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, you can't go halves as Mongols. So, you kind of have to go camels in some ways, but you can still kill paladins if you get a good ball of Mangadai going. Like, Mangadai will kill anything. Go and Steam Friends, click my name, check Do Not Disturb. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, oh yeah. There we go. That works. Alright. No more confusing bleeps. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah, honestly, Red has only 75 bills. I, I think Red is dead, actually. If he doesn't get his bill count back up, he's gonna lose the game. Heavy plow at 102. Beautiful. Pikes in front. Uh, you you would rather just have hussars in front, even against halbs. Like the hussars are fine. They die, but you don't like pikes are kind of pretty bad. <laughs> pikes are really not not what you want. It just comes down to microing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. pick these off. Come on, come on, pick these off. I would love to see some pickoffs here. Like that's what the hussars are for, is to get off, get these little pickoffs, on, like yeah, yeah, lead them away and then pick them off. The raids are so good though. There's a lot going on right now. That's why we're not focusing here, but we need to focus here. Losing this castle is gonna be big. It's gonna open up the front. Oh, we got monks with relics. Oh no, this is dead. You need to click. Basically, units, they don't prioritize killing trebs, they prioritize everything around it. So, until everything is dead around it, they will never go after the trebs, unless you click the trebs. Unless they get stuck, I think. Um, but yeah, relics needed to come in. Like, this guy's still here. There's no way you even remember about him. He's just forever there. There's this relic. You could have had like 3,000 gold if you'd gotten them earlier. I mean, we're actually floating a lot. I guess because of the extra gold. Okay, yeah, I think Teal just wins this game now. Because Red has no bills. So this game, I think, is won just with um, with raids. Although, it looks like we still have a bit of time. Oh, never mind, GG. Wait, what? Why is Teal resigning? Okay, well, alright. I, I guess the Franks did get in. Oh, yeah. We lost a bunch of bills there. Still, sucks to resign with 1,500 gold. Just needed to prevent the raids from getting in. Oh, yeah, dang. Uh, well, you know what? You didn't lose houses. You lost four castles. <laughs> That's what happened. Um, that could have gone either way. I, I think relics needed to come in faster. Like, your opponent didn still didn't see this one. But... Really good job with the raids. I don't think it was quite over. Like, your opponent was really struggling as well. But you had no real answer to the halves. Once you lost all of your castles... Yeah, you don't have a single castle. You can't produce Mangadai. So, actually, it kind of was over. Because Ma Mongols really don't have anything in this situation. Unless you're going to just add ranges and go for Heavy Cav Archer. Which, you know, could be okay. Anyways, GG. Well played... Um, your macro is good, which is uh, basically what matters a lot. Strategy is probably something that you got to work on. I can't even remember everything that happened early on, because that was such a long game. Yeah, yeah, castles actually provide 20 pop space. Like, they're pretty good. When you lose a castle, you, like, always get housed. Look at that military from Red. All right. Let's 
roll another one. Don't don't press one yet. Let me uh, let me set up the giveaway. Oh. Okay. That one. All right. Press one in chat if you want in to the next one. Mongols nomad tech. Does that work for for castles? I think it's just for houses, right? I don't know. For any building that provides population. Okay. My opinion about Inca Tower Rush. It can be good. If you have good micro, you can stop it. All right. I'm going to roll now. Let's go. We got movable. One of the VIPs. All right. How's it going today, Melissaco? It is going well. We are doing replay analysis. <laughs> Movable is in there. Yeah, you know where to go. <laughs> Rigged! Alright, let's play another piano tune. While we're waiting for a replay to come up.
gifted subs. Awesome, thank you so, so much. Um, there we go. Okay, Movable just posted it. Perfect timing. Beautiful timing. Where is it? Wait, what? Uh, oh. What did I do? Oh, I see. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Can we organize me trading lies with your cat, though? <laughs> well, I'm not sure if that's possible. Burgundians! All right. Uh, the replays are pretty small, but when you have thousands of them, they're pretty big. All right, I'm gonna grab a sweater. Arena, I think Movable's last game that he posted to me was also Arena. Grab a bite to eat. Alrighty, so we've got Moobull in the red. His arena map, not the greatest. Wood lines are pretty far away, pretty sparse. We need uh, to delete these walls, we need to delete these walls. Basically on arena, you wanna delete the walls that don't lead to the outside, to these walls. Like if you see wood like this, you know that it's closed. Um, sometimes it's worth it to just send the sheep just to scout, just to make sure. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. It's too, too zoomed out. There we go. Oh no, where's she going? Pathing. I swear you had it over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, well, you have to manually fix this then. Looks like, yeah, you had the rally like on here, and then they, she went over here. Okay, well this one is gonna be fine. All right. It's definitely better to have two on each side though. Just because, like, vills tend to get stuck when you have three. Like, once they're done chopping this, then if you have two on this one and then one on this one, then the corner one just gets stuck. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Can we house wall? Can we do it? Ah, oh, feels bad, man. Definitely worth it to practice house walling in that situation. Even if you don't know how to do it, just try it. And eventually you'll figure out how to do it. That's how you, you will move, or that's how you will learn it. <laughs> forget about that, yeah. We'll, we'll forget about that one. <laughs> it's fine. The opponent is, wait, did the opponent do the same thing? What? Huh. Wait, why? Why do we have the same bill count? Oh, now you're housed. Or, sorry, now you didn't have enough. Wow. Okay, okay, he is. Looks like... Wow. Okay, well, your opponent was, like, a vill behind for no reason, though. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. I want to see what those two vills do. It's chopping on the same tile. Like, or in the exact same location. Yeah, they fixed themselves after that one. Sometimes they stack like that. It's real weird. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the fog. I mean, Lumberjack fix, finishes a tree. They always go to the other side. Yes, yes. They they like to do that. Like they'll go here and then they'll go like over here. That's why um, shift queuing, especially on arena when you're not really doing a ton, shift queuing your lumberjacks to the next tree, actually will increase your efficiency by quite a bit. Okay, actually they didn't they didn't go across this time. They usually do. Actually, you know what you know what it was is I, I think it's cause all of these ones already 
had vills on them. Like, they like to go to a tree that doesn't have another vill on it. Anyways, it's still worth it to shift queue. Unless Movable did shift queue them, I, I don't think... I don't think he would have gone to this one. So, anyways, it's fine. Talent, but no farm. Thanks for the kind words. You didn't shift queue them? Yeah. Well, villager pathfinding works in mysterious ways. Um... So we have five on berries is a little too much. You know what you need to do? You need to push these Ibex under the TC. Thanks for the bits. 98 is an interesting number. Um, so on Arena, at any elo, is going to be standard to push your deer. This is basically the map where you practice getting good at pushing deer. Okay, we need to fix these. But if you're not going to push deer, just long distance these ones. Because they're pretty close to the TC. There's no point in milling that. And there's only three of them. This is ugly. Loom is coming in a little bit early. Wait. Did you go for, like, early wood upgrade with Burgundians? No. Because they can get the earlier upgrade. Which actually might actually be good if you're FCing. I don't know. I would think it would pay off. Yeah, this is... Uh, I think you need to... play. If you're going to put five on berries, you want to place the mill, like, one tile away. Like, if you had placed it on the corner here, then you have two ultra-efficient mills here, and then you have, like, the three taking these two. What's the elo of this coaching session? Uh, depends on the person who gets selected. So, I... Basically, anyone can be selected. Where's that smoke coming? Oh, yeah, it was some, like... Something that I unlocked for beating the easiest AI or something. I haven't turned it off yet. <laughs> it's not too intrusive. It just tells you when something's being researched. Uh, just go exclamation mark coaching and you'll see some details. Binary code research. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize that. I thought it was just like some lasers. Oh. They're actual numbers. Okay. TC is smoking. Okay. Um, so you went up way too early. Here, let's just pause real quick and talk about the game. So, on Arena, going FC is just standard. Like, unless you're going for some weird... Uh, tower rush or something you're gonna want to go fc and really like the earliest you want to go up to feudal age is like 24 pop so 23 is a little bit early which means that you don't really have the resources for anything and plus you didn't take your deer so now you really don't have the resources for anything um i like to go up on 25 pop i find that it works really really well but this is way way too early so you're gonna find that you're in feudal age for for way too long I don't know, this is, I think, movable is like 1100? What, what's your elo now, movable? I know that you've improved a bit. 1130, there we go, 1130. So, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not, uh, like the two previous games or whatever, they were a little higher elo. So we're gonna be seeing a little bit more uh, mistakes here, basically. Which makes the coaching a little bit more valuable, because there's more to work on, really. Um, for some reason, Berryvilles, they, they love to just take one berry bush. Like, you, you pretty much always want to just send them to their own berry bush. Otherwise, they're going to go on this side. Like, it would be so much better if they didn't have to go all the way around here every single time to drop off. If you, if you just click them onto these, they're going to be a lot more efficient. It is 1 o'clock p.m. here. It's, uh, it's just the afternoon. It's still light. The window the window is on this side. Once it starts to get dark, you'll know. That'll be in like four hours. But yeah, I would really recommend taking, like pushing these. Actually, I wonder if the opponent did. I think the, yeah, the opponent pushed. Like that was an Ibex. So if you don't know how to push, just learn, you can learn. You just, just learn how to do it. It's completely worth it. Like 
There's 140 food on these. Your farms only have 175. Actually, you might have gotten... Did you get... You didn't even get a horse collar, so... Really, like, each Ibex is worth almost as much as an entire farm. Too lazy to push. Well, you can just long distance them. From this distance? Long distance is not bad. It's really not bad. 27 plus 2 FC. Yeah, that's probably a little late. You can... You can boom on off of, like, 25. I mean, you could go 27. It's just, if your opponent does, like, a castle drop on you, you will just kind of lose because you're up so late. Or at least you are more likely to just get owned. Deers that far away are about as efficient as farming. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I would never mill this. Actually, you know what? I would mill this... If I was intending to get more farms there later, which you kind of do, but you, you want to have the wood for TCs in Castle Age. So basically, like, here, actually, I don't need to pause it. It's not a lot's happening. Um, the idea behind going up to Castle Age fast is that you, you kind of skip through Feudal Age. So you want to go Dark Age and then two villagers in Feudal Age and then click up to Castle Age. The reason why you even get two villagers is because you need the prerequisite buildings. This is why, if you're playing as Khmer, you want to go Dark Age, and then instantly when you get to Feudal Age, then you have 800 food and 200 gold, and then you click up a Castle Age. Whereas for most civs, you, you just get two vills in Feudal Age so that you can get your Blacksmith Market or whatever. Your two prerequisite buildings. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Coastalier OP. Might as well go for them. <laughs> You're going to archers too, though. I don't know about this archers. I guess you can sort of secure a castle drop. Oh, oh, well, you see he's got a range. He's just going to have better archers than you. I guess if he goes cav archers, then you want to have crossbowmen. I guess that's maybe the thinking. That makes sense. Because, But he gets free thumb ring, so if he goes... If he just goes cross... Or, yeah, crossbowmen, he's just going to have better units than you. Okay, whoa, his base is not very good, actually. Whoa, whoa. his base is actually... Oh, uh, actually, no, he has lots of wood in the back. His base is better than yours. Having no wood in the back kind of sucks, honestly. But he has all the safe wood. Like, you will never, you will never fight this. He could even place, like, a couple of walls here. Although, there's nothing really here other than wood, so there's no point. Um, you have back, you have two back golds, so nothing to really complain about on your map, other than the woods, which are not that bad. Okay. So. We're on knights now, what are we doing? We're doing everything. You can't afford everything, you gotta choose, choose one thing. We're getting stone to build up a castle, and uh, yeah. So the standard on arena really is going to be add two TCs as soon as you get to Castle Age. And if you don't do that, you're just going to get behind in economy. So, well, your opponent didn't add TCs either. But honestly, if either of you added TCs, you'd be in such a good spot. So the opponent did go Cav Archer. Like, he's Tatars, so I guess. And, yeah, yeah, so he's going to collect all the relics. The reason he made Cav Archers is to protect his monks so that he can take relics. That's pretty standard on Arena, is to add some kind of military to protect your monks. Now, most high-level players aren't going to invest into Cav Archers because they're pretty expensive. But, at this level, it's going to be fine. Whereas, you invested into just a bunch of just everything, and none of your units are really upgraded, so they aren't really going to do anything. Like, it's better to just go Knights with plus two armor or just go Crossbowman with Bodkin Arrow. But if you try and add a bit of everything, you end up just kind of having nothing. Like, you have a bunch of units that can't actually do anything. Um, Like, I, I think you could have tried to just go for a castle and even make Custaliers. I mean, they're they're not great um, until you actually get enough of them to actually engage, but... Like the cab archers, I mean. Because I, I don't think they one-shot cab archers anymore. I'm not 100% sure, though. I think they, they fixed it. <laughs> Instead of one bad thing, you could be bad at everything. <laughs> yeah. As long as they don't one-shot cab archers anymore, then you kind of need to have enough of them. Yeah, see, look. Like, your your units, you have Fletching. He's actually microing 
He's microing as well. And and the thing is, is he's just gonna heal up. It's standard to go monks on arena. So weakening him doesn't actually do anything. He just sends his guys back, he's gonna get healed. So you just threw all those and didn't really do anything actually. You never contest the routes on arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a legit way to go. If you don't try and take the relics, you should be to imp faster and you should have like a five minute window or so, maybe a, a, like two minute window where you're gonna have Imperial army and your opponent doesn't. So you can go for one big push if you don't go for relics. Like if you just go straight three TC boom, don't even get the monastery. Don't even think about getting a military. If your opponent invests in a military, that's great. And then you just basically out boom and then go in. And then basically push from your base. It's great for like Arbalist civs. Anything, like really Arbalist is great because they, you can build up crossbowmen and castle age, like a bunch of them. And then the actual unit itself doesn't really die to anything in castle age. Once you get enough. Vill count. Movable is still a little bit ahead. Let's check the upgrades. So, no wheelbarrow. That needs to come in soon. We got bow saw, though. That's good. So, the, these skirms are actually making it so that you can't invest in your eco. Because they're really food intensive. And skirms with low upgrades don't really do anything. Look at this. Look at this nerd. He's not even letting you kill anything. You yeah, oh yeah. This is the beauty of cav archers though, is they are a high high micro potential unit. It's adding a fourth TC around 20 minutes arena. Ah uh, I mean, you probably can. Especially with something like Britain's, you could even open it. I'm not really an arena player though. Like I play a little bit, but not a ton. So, I'm sure there are some clowns that would be able to, uh, to tell you more. Uh, maybe my video... Maybe the video comes in a little bit faster. I don't know. It, probably a little bit. It's probably... There's probably a little lag. Well, we've got two TCs. So, we're floating a lot of gold. And that just comes down to not building gold units and having 10 on gold. So this is one of the things that even, like, even I mistake this sometimes, is floating a lot of gold, because it's like, okay, I'm gonna go knights. So I put a bunch of gold, and then it's like, oh, well, I can't go knights anymore, but then I forget to take off gold and send to something else. Like, I would love to see you just force drop, shift Q to the Ibex, and just take these Ibex with these. It would help your economy so much. When to stop making vills? Um, usually, like, between 110 and 130 vills. It's pretty, pretty normal. 100, 140, there we go, yeah. I think 100 is a little low. I would say 110 is gonna be just a little bit better. But if you're going like ARBs or something, if you're Mayans, <laughs> stop at 80 bills. It's just a joke, but it feels like it. Okay, so we're running around with skirms. There's nothing on the map. You can see that he took all five relics because you scouted the entire map. So you're just trying to catch him out, but you don't have ballistics. You don't have elite skirm. You just, I don't know. One knight actually cleans this up. I think you've really overinvested into the skirms without uh, managing the economy first. So prioritizing getting a TC up here. Maybe, maybe for the, if you're gonna get farms like this, maybe. But I think a TC maybe on the main gold could be good. TC here would be beautiful, actually, if you deleted these TC here. Um, here we're gonna speed it up a little bit because there's not really a lot to talk about from here other than what I've already mentioned. Oh, we're going Castle Age Cavaliers, beautiful. It's a huge investment for very little value. It's it's basically like. You get plus 20 HP and plus 2 attack for 300-300, which is a pretty expensive upgrade. And then, like, you already have a castle for Coastaliers as well. Like, there's kind of no point in going for the Cavaliers here. If you if you have access to Coastalier, there's no point in going Cavalier. 
Like, this unit is just gonna be performing a lot better in most situations. Oh yeah, it's it's 150-150 for this sim, sorry. So it's actually not that big of an investment. Alright, alright, never mind. Cavalier upgrade, not that big of an investment for Burgundians. I forgot about that, up, um, or that, Civ bonus. Booming in D feels like a walk in the park. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, we have so many features. We have the villager counts up here. We have, like, total vills. Like, there's just so many things in DE that helps. We got the select all idols. Auto reseed. The villager count makes booming automatic, basically. Well, it allows you to micromanage your economy without being, like, extremely big-brained and being able to actually, like, memorize all that. What is this farm, man? This, it's excusable at this level, but kind of. You should really work on that, though. It really, like, that's, she's only worth half of a, she, she's worth, like, half of this guy right here. This is the maximum efficiency farm. Okay, so, how's the booms going? I mean, you're nine bills behind, but it's not as big of an issue at this level. Okay, it looks like you're idling to go up to, t to imp. That's, that's fine. The thing is, is that, like, going up to imp quickly before being full boomed with cavalry really doesn't work. Like, you need a pretty big economy to keep cav going. If you were an arbalist civ, it would make so much sense. Okay, nice taking out these. Good job. Okay. Oh man, he's gonna get the conversion. Yeah, that's totally converted. Oh, and he's gonna get out. Oh, no, he's dead. Now pull these back to the castle. Love to see it. Okay. Nice imp click. Oh, he's actually up faster though. And this comes down to the opponent being 14 vils ahead. He can afford to spam military. Um, so one of the things, yeah, 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 good. One of the things I say, when you click up to imp, you want to spend your wood. So you wanna buy a bunch of production facilities. Cause you, you usually start to float wood right when you click to imp. That's what I find. Like fix these lumber camps, get another lumber camp here, get a lumber camp here. Uh, that's probably fine for now. Uh, do you have gold mining upgrade? Like, just check your upgrades when you click up to imp. Just make sure. Okay, we got gold mining. Get handcart for sure. We have heavy plow. That's good. This is, like, on the way up to imp, you have a lot of time on the way up to imp where you shouldn't be attacking. Because the thing is, you just invested into going up to imp. So this means you're making a huge investment into your technology. And technology only matters if your units are still alive. So if you if you throw these units before you get your techs in, well then why not just invest into more units instead of go up to Imperial Age? So basically when you click up to Imp, that's the time to just pull back and manage your economy, add production facilities. As a general rule, you know, at, at higher levels we, we kind of do everything at the same time, but like as a general rule, that, that's kind of what you want to do. Is just don't throw your army. Like, you, you threw a bunch of Coastaliers here. Just just a bunch of army is just dying. Whereas, you really want to get upgrades on these. And, and actually, you don't even have full Castle Age upgrades. Um, it, it's good to actually look up here as well these days. With the Global Production queue. You'll be able to see that you have a bunch of Skirms queued in three ranges. So, you want to add... Add like five more ranges. Five ranges would be really good. Gee, I, I'm not even sure. Like, these guys get full. Oh, they don't even have ring archer armor. Dang. Well, their skirms are not very good, unfortunately. Would hand cannoneers be good? Uh, well, not against cav archers. Definitely not against cav archers. Okay. So, well, you know what, Movable? You've always been really good at spamming military. I know that's always been your thing, and you're still good at it. It's the economy that you have to 
focus a little bit more on. Oh, we don't have ballistics, do we? Like, you've got quite a bit more units than the opponent. But you don't have the economy to really back it up. So once he kills this one army, then you can't replace it. Um, Do we have... Like, what kind of upgrades do we have? We need to get Bracer on these things. Bracer at least. Nice, you did add one more range. Okay. I do like the Treb. Whoa, you did a ton of damage with Rams. Oh, man, I didn't even realize... How do you know if your opponent has ballistics? Well, when they, they start hitting your moving targets. There's no way to know until they actually shoot. So it's one of those things where you can get caught off guard. Does Nightbot fetch anyone's rank? Yeah, yeah, you can go rank and then the name. The chemistry, you can tell because the projectiles get all flaming. <laughs> Nice. You will actually kill these. You have two, like, the second armor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might even get this one. Well, this is going really well for you. Really well. Oh, and that archer just tanked for the cavalier. That's nice. Oh, did he get that? Oh, you're trapped, though. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Throwing those to get those is good. Yeah, you really needed to have, like, three trebs by this point, though. You just didn't have the gold. And you know why you don't have gold? It's because you aren't taking this gold. Like, you, you have this much food. You know what happens? You know what you need to do? Take all these farmers, shift click the farmer, just build a mining camp right here, right now. Blue is just being patient. Where is his army? Actually, yeah, you know what? Blue doesn't have a ton. Like, movable is very good at adding military. Even if he just adds a bunch of random stuff, at least he has military. Set up some training groups in Discord. Yeah, I have uh, I have some Discord channels like Noob Chat and Looking to Play. I could set up like specific groups as well, but I don't know. Anyways, yeah, well, we've got a lot of food that needs to be spent. Actually, what's the what's the market prices? I would just sell like a thousand food right now. You can use the gold instantly. Get another treb. This is what I was saying earlier today as well. When you're trying to take down a castle, if you just send one treb, it's just gonna, like, he's just gonna repair. He's just gonna take out your treb, and you're not gonna really get anywhere. You wanna attack with three trebs. Like, except for at the start of Imp, when you're you're kind of just building, like, one treb at a time, then, yeah, it makes sense, but you really wanna get up to three trebs attacking a castle. And then four trebs, he just can't repair against, but three trebs is fine. Uh, Siege Engineers, well, we'll see when another Treb pops out, or I can just check it. Oh, these guys don't even get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the, I don't know their tech tree yet. <laughs> it's a good thing to do in this situation where you look at your res and see 1k food, or 2k food. Yeah, um, so Light Cav, there we go, which movable is doing now. But instantly, what I'll do when I'm floating food like that is check the market prices and sell. Because a lot of the time, my opponent will not have sold food at that point. Like, wood is a little bit different, though. If you have a bunch of wood, you want... Yeah, throw down farms, because the reason you have wood is that you don't have enough food. Because you're spending your food. Um, throw a bunch of farms down. Throw a bunch of production facilities. I actually went over what to do with your late game wood in my most recent YouTube video that I posted. Or at least the scripted one. But, yeah, I would love to see some extra lumber camps here. They're starting to get a little bit inefficient. Well, very inefficient. Nice. Oh, nice. We're getting getting houses. It's good. Oh, camels. The flaming camels. That was not... That's, like, never worth it. He has, it, like, a million range on his guys now. Wait, do these guys get siege ram? Dude, what? They don't even get siege ram? What? What are you supposed to do with these new civs? <laughs> they get champions. Okay, fully upgraded. We don't have supplies? Yo, what? What do you do? <laughs> like, they don't have anything. Bombard cannon. Yeah, no siege engineers. Like, how are you gonna do anything with that? Like, I guess, okay. If he has trebs, then whatever. Like, he still outranges you either way, but... Well, well, 
I mean, the one unit is OP, like, or it was. Maybe with, I haven't really played much with the reduced attack bonus, but they were, you just make Custaliers on Arabia and you just run around and you could kill everything. But like, they, I feel like they need Siege Ram. Like, they need something. Cause you don't have any good Siege options here. I don't know. And then like not having the, the Skirms, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like you're kind of pushed to go Paladin, but you're not going Paladin against these. <laughs> well, he he should go Halves, Tatars. Even if he's missing the armor, like, the Halves are still going to be good. I don't know. I think the new saves just aren't really figured out yet. I can't really say, because I don't really play them a lot. But it just feel like, they just don't seem like they have a ton of options. Oh, yeah, these Custaliers are just so good at just... Going in, take picking out stuff, and then trying to get out. Oh yeah, that that fell. Okay, look at our look at our cues here. We're gonna get housed too. Losing the castle always sucks, but you have too many farms now. You can just spam light cav. Actually, you know what? We do we get hussar with this civ? Okay, we got hussar, but no bloodlines. So yikes. Yeah, actually, yeah, they don't they don't get bloodlines. So. Like they're they're kind of their paladins are just kind of worse than usual, right? Like what do they what do they get? They get them, yeah. They get the cheaper text, but that doesn't matter once we're in the late game. So no supplies. So we have full upgrades on helps. We have hand cannons that do a little bit more damage. So we have halves and hand cannons that are fully upgraded. And that's just because hand cannons don't actually have any upgrades. That's the only thing, right? Oh, and then the the unique unit, right? Oh yeah, they don't have the last armor, so we we have halberdiers that are fully upgraded, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, yeah, we have the Flemish militia if we want to sacrifice our entire economy. The vineyards can be decent, but like, it, it's like two relics worth, right? At this point, it's not, it's not like crazy. Yeah, they generate gold, but it's very, very slow. It's okay. Maybe it's like one relic at this point. It's like, it's good to have probably, but it's not okay. Forty-five to one relic. Yeah, so like, it's good to have, but it's not like you're gonna win the game because of it, if you just like get that all the time. Actually, what, how, how expensive is it? 400, 300, so, so actually it costs gold as well. So it actually takes a while for it to even be worth it. Like 300 gold on one relic is quite a while to pay off. And then 400 food, you're not gonna invest that in early imp because you need that food, um, usually. It just it feels like it would, that's like a super late game. That's like, I don't know, That that's almost like a crop rotation level upgrade. It converts your food, wait. It, okay, yeah, oh yeah, it converts all the food into gold. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, that would be sick right now. I forgot that it had that secondary effect. Okay, okay, then it's worth it, Never mind. Yeah, we don't really have anything against these Hussars. Remember, he has extra pierce as well, so, well, your guys do one damage. <laughs> so, we need Halbs. We need the one unit that Burgundians has that's good. Halbs. That's, you just spam three million Halbs here. Three million Halbs with some Bombard Cannons? Even though they don't have Siege Engineers behind, you know, you can kind of protect them. Maybe. You can try to. Flemish Revolution. Well, we need Siege. You know what? You know what we could do? Is get like five Trebs. Bring all the Vils forward. <laughs> Flemish Revolution. Have like a bunch of guys and then Siege and just go all in. But that is pretty YOLO. So I don't know about that. Okay, let's speed it up because... This is late game arena, and we don't really have any options. 
I think that the position was good when, when the castle was here. We need to push at that time. And honestly, targeting the, the monastery would have been good. At this point, he's just going to spam Hussars and it's GG. Because we have one barracks, right? Yeah, one barracks. Cavaliers aren't, like, Cavaliers aren't fully upgraded, so they just kind of die. And obviously, we don't have the unit mass anymore. Yeah, well, actually, Flemish Revolution is perfect when you have a bunch of food like this. But the thing is, is if you go for the Vineyards tech, then you don't have any food left. So you can't really spam them both. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was just taking better trades the whole game. Really. And at this point, he can just spam Hussars forever. Hussars are three units at this point. Like, there's this gold that you... Ne Actually, you never even touched this gold. You went on this gold before this gold. Why is red not making help? He just didn't think of it. It's just... Uh, it's one of those things where... You're being pressured from every angle, and you just don't think of certain things. But yeah, Halb would have been the only... Halb is the only unit they get fully upgraded, other than their, their unique unit, which, well, technically, if they had bloodlines, it would probably work on them. And... Yeah, just, this Civ doesn't really have options. Oh, the Siege Ram now. Ooh, on fast speed. Yeah, he also has five relics, as he's saying, so. Nice. All right, well played, well played. Hopefully, I have gone over basically what you can work on. Really? Movable? If you want to get better, just practice adding two TCs as soon as you reach Castle Age. Just every game on, on Arena. Just just do do it that way. No matter what your strategy is, just, just add the two TCs. Make sure that they're always running, and you will you will get up to thirteen hundred. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, just just the economy. Like these relics are pretty huge too. Just... Once Movable's army died, as I said, he couldn't really replace it. Okay. How high a vill count should you go? It depends on your strat, but 140 is like pushing the limits of how high you should go. How do you practice not on not developing tunnel vision? Honestly, you can practice that. It just comes down to scouting. It just, like if you're tunnel vision, it just means you're not paying attention to what is really going on in the game. Like you're not paying attention to what your opponents are building, and you're not paying attention to what your Civ can actually do. And it's just experience, really. It's it's like one, once you don't have to think about transitioning into units, you just kind of do it automatically, then then you can think of other things. I don't know. Anyways, I am going to set this up again. We're going to go on to the next one. All right, whoever. Let's, let's press one. Press one to do it, to get in. This is for the next replay. Press 1 to get entered into the draw, and I will roll it in a minute or so. Yeah, Chinichiwa, there you go. Get in there. One TC Knights in Siege can can work. Depends on the game, though. Usually, if you're behind to Castle Age and your opponent added TCs, you're, you're going to want to pressure. Because if you add TCs and your opponent added TCs earlier than you, he's just going to get ahead. Do I ever coach DM? No. I don't know anything about DM. <laughs> I got bacon and eggs and toast. It's kind of cold now, but it's fine. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, I'm top 200 DM rank, but I don't really play it. 
There just aren't that many DM players. All right, let's roll it. Dead Pie Fly with the win. Got another regular here. Another VIP. Oh, man. It's not rigged. We had a non-sub earlier. Get in. It's just a lower chance. <laughs> Another 98 bits. Yay for coaching. Woohoo. All right. What are we doing? You have a recording? Awesome. Uh, let's play some piano in between then. Let's do it. While we're waiting. I already played all the age tunes. Play some Handel. <laughs> into it we got a low elo legends game as dead pie fly puts it there it is the hands are not nimble right now like they're so cold <laughs> so hard to play oh yeah okay so we have got a 833 player here. There's gonna be lots to learn in this one. Another Frank's enjoyer, yes. Is that Goths? Is that Goths? Goths. Whoa! The enemy's going for the four house start. All right. Well, dead pie fly. 
watches streams, so he knows. Two houses is standard. I mean, technically you could go four houses. <laughs> you still have enough for the lumber camp. But you kind of would rather be taking food instead of building houses at this point. All right. Oh. Get some more food in me so I don't die. Alrighty, so far so good. We even got the uh, the vill bringing in the boar. Perfect timing. Maybe slightly early, but that is basically the right vill to bring it in if you want it to be coming in efficiently. I'm from Victoria, BC. It's not too cold here. I'm just in the basement and it's just cold here. I don't have the heater on because I find that it makes my eyes a little bit dry, especially if I'm on the computer all day. He's shooting the boar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know the tricks. Yeah, yeah. Well, so far. So far, this Dark Age will get you to, like, 1600. Okay, maybe 1500. I mean, I do that sometimes, too, but... <laughs> Well, he couldn't send it straight under the TC because there was this straggler here. And then the pathing would be weird. So he had to go down here and then across. Oh. Here's our first kind of weird thing. This mill. Unless you put two vills on the inside, then it's a sick mill. Oh, you are. Okay, you're going to put one. Even one on the inside's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this. That's beautiful, actually. Uh, he's got one on straggler. It's fine. You can go two on wood, and you can still afford almost everything that you need. Like, honestly, I like to just go two on wood sometimes and just have more more on food. And then I just transfer more to wood later. Why don't you start walling? Ah, it really depends on the opponent. You can start walling now. This is one thing, if you go two on wood, you can't really wall. But you can afford everything else. But yeah, around now would be good. The thing is, is that if your opponent is scouting, he can pick off unloomed vills. So you have to be a bit careful. Okay, we've got idols in here. Or one idol. She just... Okay. You want to get the farm... Well, actually, I mean, this is a more defensive farm. The farms on this side are a little bit more efficient, but if he does attack, then it, it, you kind of would rather have the farms on this side. Yeah, this sheep vill, he's just... Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. We need more on berries. Honestly, if you're going to get a beautiful uh, mill like this, at least put her on one of the ones where she doesn't have to walk. And then get two more on the outsides. Now we have too many on wood. So, so you're getting too many farms now, too. Like, two farms maximum in Dark Age. Maximum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Instead of these two farms, this is like half-constructed farm... Um, you want to have those two on berries. And then just have less on wood, and then just have more on the things that are decaying. Another sheep bites the dust. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, he was scouting. So, it happens. Wait, where's the opponent's wood line? That's one thing that you want to know. Sheep, yeah, sheep management is bad, but it's, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Like, timings really don't matter too much at this level. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only having two on berries is gonna hurt. Okay, you sent another one. That's good, that's good. Three minimum on this. I would have even just, like, put two in the hole and, and had four. That would have been so nice. Yeah, yeah, you're luring his deers. <laughs> Ooh, that camp? I mean, yeah, I guess. 
It's a bit forward. You don't really have a, another good option. Like you could get it on the same wood line, but that's also not very good. But against Goths? Well, I guess he could still tower as Goths. These walls are way too late. He's already up. So he's probably going to have men at arms. Any second now, he should have like three men at arms coming in. Yeah, wait, the opponent... Okay, he just took in his boar. He's a little late with that. It's okay. There we go. 22 up. So what? what's your plan? You gotta do something instantly when you reach the next age. You do something. Okay, stable. And double it. Okay, perfect. Aw, uh, you shift cuter like this one and then this one. Uh, that's backwards. <laughs> Feels bad. Well, she'll eventually collect that tree. Oh, you fixed her. Sent her over here. Nice. Okay. I do like that your plan was to go scouts, so you made extra farms. But honestly, as Franks, you don't really want to get any Dark Age farms. Just take all the sheep. If you want more food, just send them to berries. And then just get the farms when you get up. Wait, yeah, you did the 21 pop. We were talking about the 21 pop scouts earlier. Like, it's just kind of slow. At higher levels, anyways. At this level, it's going to be fine. As long as you get those four scouts out, is your opponent even walled? No, opponent is even walled, so it doesn't really matter. He didn't really build anything yet. Okay, there's his men at arms. Okay. We're good. Where's this guy going? This, oh, that must have been your luring villager. That's probably a hotkey issue. I do that all the time. So I hotkey the luring vill. Yeah, that was he was here, right? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should send a few scouts. Yeah. Yeah, you should be active with your scouts, but, I mean, at 800 elo, there there are other things to do. Like, macroing comes first. Which, actually, the macro's been good. You even remembered this house, too, which is really good. It's better to put it as part of the wall, like here. And then, obviously, you want to wall this. Yeah, yeah, good. Although, you're kind of close to the edge, I bet. Yeah, that would have been a much better wall right there. This is this comes down to scouting. You wanted to scout that. Because then your golds are safe too. Now, like if you go like this, it's a huge investment that you don't need to make. Also, your golds are not safe, really. So. Yeah. Just one of those things. Like, before making a long wall like this, just think. How close am I to the edge of the map? And if you're this close, it's like, okay, there's... It's probably worth it to just go this way. And then there just happens to be a wood line in there as well. Yeah, in this situation, if I don't have scouting, I would just send the vill. Just scout it with the vill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least use the scouts to scout around your base. That is true. But it's just more APM, though. Like, it's one of those things where, yeah, optimally you would do that. But... I mean, optimally, he would be attacking. Oh, that might be a kill. Oh, he's, he's farming here. Okay, that's a kill. Nice. You saw these. Go for these. Okay, you're not using the units. But you queued Vils, so that's good. That's even better. Okay. So at this point, this is where it kind of falls apart. When you use your units, but you don't spend. Like, look, we're, we're floating 500 wood, which actually you are spending, so... I actually do like that, but you need to spend even more. Like, basically, honestly, build a mill around these and just take these and then farm. Would have been even better if you had walls like this, because then the farms would be safe. But let's see. Are we going to reach 1k wood? That's the question. I see it a lot at this elo. Is, like, you, you were good to spend on these farms, but it's not enough. You, you have to go, like, double that. And then also take off. Like, like, you wanna, if you mill this, and then take gold with, like, these, 
Or actually, no, you're already taking gold. Never mind. You just need to spend this wood somehow. You need a blacksmith. And you need to take these deer. Really. But instead, we are <laughs> we are microing scouts. Which, yeah, it's good. Okay. And you're keeping bills pumping. So, you know what? We have two of the three things that are good to do right now. Using your military and keeping bills pumping. But we are missing another very important step is using the wood. That's why I have an emote for that. <laughs> we got to spend that wood because it's, it's so easy to forget. And that is the secret of macro is spending the wood. Can't you do an archer? Oh, sorry, guys. People just keep trying to talk to me everywhere, and I can't even... All right, let's just close that down. Okay. Yeah, that's a snowman. Now, that's a scary army. Where is it? Ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna get you. Get down the farms earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um... Yeah, like, you can go up with, like, 35 vills if you go scout build. No problem. So, the fact that you're 42, that just shows how how slow it is. But it's not a big deal. Like, you're still six vills ahead. It's not going to matter here. Oh, you need to you need to wall this, though. Oh, he's going to get in. I don't think you realize it. Yeah. Those diagonal walls. This is a huge disaster. Because scouts can't fight this. Luckily, you're making archers, but... Ooh, man. Ooh, man. This is where you lose. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is he gonna leave? No way does he leave. Ooh, wall him out. Oh, you had a small opportunity. Oh, <laughs> you brought her to her death. All right, I guess. Oh, actually, she's gonna go away. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Not worth. You know what you do with these scouts is when he attacks you or you attack him in two places at once. Like when you attack with the archers, just send them on a wood line and then just leave them. Let them die if, if they die, whatever. They'll get a few kills probably. He might not even realize. And then you micro his, your archers. Yeah, the archer switch is a little too late. Oh, and now you can't even click up. Yeah, you have to send all of this wood line to go here. Or actually, you know what you need is you need a market. Because we are not spending. He has armor. Oh, no. And you don't even have fletching. Oh. You're doing two damage per hit. It's so bad. Wait, are you? Oh, you're hitting this. Wait, what are you hitting? You're doing, like, no damage to anything. <laughs> it, it's actually good to target the scout here. Because that's his only, like, mobile unit. Oh, man. We, we have not done any villager creation in a while. Yeah, you just needed a clue in that you have two golds here. Nice micro. Yeah, see see his scout. That's His scout is the dangerous one because he's going to dive in and actually get kills. Okay. Range. Honestly, you have unlimited resources at this moment. Just like, just get like three ranges. Get a blacksmith anywhere. Get like three million houses. Get them... Like, build this market, sell it, go up to Castle Age. Your opponent's in Castle Age already, so it's it's kind of over. Um, yeah, Dead by Fly, your, your early game was great. The moment you got pressured, you fell apart. <laughs> the moment he stepped inside, you didn't build any more vills. And kind of just didn't do enough. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. The opening was great, yeah. So, it's just one of the things, thinking ahead, you know he's Goths, you know 100% he's going to be going infantry, keep it in the back of your head, okay, I need to get archers up, oh, at this point, yeah, you can't really fight these things, isn't scouts better, yeah, you open scouts, but you can't go scouts against this, <laughs> you cannot go scouts against this, you can open scouts, once he has all this, you have to go something else. You want to target a unit next to a building, you better to click all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just recently added that in, actually. 
<laughs> He's gonna chunk through this house, actually. Oh, man. CJ with the gifted sub! Oh, yeah. Nice. Tower? Okay. It's not really gonna... Unfortunately, towers actually, like, don't do anything. <laughs> like, they're not scary at all. Although, if you can get another house wall on this side... Although, actually, yeah, I guess he's still walled. Anyways. You're up! There we go. Wow, a stream for my level. Seems good. Okay. You know what your issue is? You don't have gold. Like, okay, there we go. There we go. You actually don't need wood for, like, the rest of the game. Just send all of these. Just send them to gold. Send all of these to stone. Like, you don't even need to take stone... Or, you don't even need to take wood anymore. Just, just like, don't even take wood. Just go to stone. Just go to gold. Uh, use your market. Like, I would sell 500 of each of these. Buy 200 stone, get two TCs right now, get a siege workshop on the front, get crossbowman upgrade, bodkin arrow, university, ballistics. You can actually afford all of that right now. Isn't it better to spend all that? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't spend that much wood though. <laughs> you, you, and it needs gold too. So you want to get crossbowman upgrade because it actually makes your archers train faster. Archers train in 35 seconds and crossbowman train in, I think it's 28. 27 or 28, one of the two. It's like seven seconds faster or something. So it's it's always worth it to get crossbow and upgrade if you're going to be going archers. It, it's sort of the priority, especially if you're not attacking. Gold mining upgrade, good, good. Yeah, just get all the ecotechs. You can afford them. Might as well. Are we getting a university? We're getting a TC, good. Get another TC. Finish these houses. Pro well, actually, it doesn't matter. You have lots. That's why I... Get yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you should be getting them both at the same time, but if you can't quite afford both, prioritize getting crossbow. Like, sometimes you have, like, 100 gold, and you, you can't quite get both at the same time. You want to get the crossbowman upgrade first. In 800 elo, whoever attacks first. Well, well, that pie fly attacked first with the scouts. He didn't win. But I was more of, like, harassment. Crossbow, Bodkin, and Bosa. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Get get the military text if you're going to go for an attack right away. Like, if you're trying to hit a timing and then get Bosa after, if you can't quite afford it. Usually, you can afford all of them, but, like, this is the priority. Crossbow, Bodkin, and then Bosa, uh, Bosa if you're attacking. If you're just sitting at home, then you want to get your eco text first. Usually, you can, like, delay for another five seconds. I guess it doesn't really matter as much. There will always be exceptions to everything, yeah. Exactly. Okay, stables. Okay. I don't know. It's You've already invested a bunch into... See, see, this is what was happening with the movable game as well. I think this is an issue at lower elos, is you kind of half invest into things. So it's like you want to go knights, but then you don't even have bodkin yet. So And you don't have ballistics, so your crossbowmen kind of suck. So you want to get bodkin, and you want to get ballistics before even thinking about knights. Once you have that, then add the stables, and then you can add some knights. Actually, this is a pretty good group of crossbowmen, because you don't want to over-invest, because if he goes Huskerl, you just die. So, like, honestly, this is probably enough crossbowmen. That's going to be enough to kill unlimited pikes, and then and then it's time for knights. So, actually, you are doing it at the right time. Just the fact that you don't have Bodkin yet is worrying. That could really hurt. Um, but yeah, definitely a university would be great. Because you need to be able to hit moving pikemen that are running around. Basically, the idea is you use the knights to, to like, look like you're going to engage, and then you pull them back so that the crossbow and fire and kill a few pikes. You, you just keep doing that until he has no pikes. I mean, it's tough, but that's the way to do it. Or run around, try and pick off huskerls that don't have any pikes near them. Eco looks a lot better. Yeah, see, this is, this is kind of what happens... Like, blue hasn't really attacked recently, so it, it's been easier to stabilize. Just when you were getting pressured, you just kind of weren't really doing anything. It's just panicking in the moment stuff. Okay, here he is. Yep. Oh, nice. You reacted right away. You saw him. So that's good. 
he has nothing against what you have. He didn't add husks. And you have Bodkin too. Perfect timing. Beautiful. Honestly, just let him in. You just kill everything. Let him come in. You don't even need to wall this out. It doesn't matter. You kill all of this. Just Garrus. Yeah, yeah, He doesn't even want to fight. But if you had ballistics, you'd be getting like probably five more of those units. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to delete like these walls. Anyways, your units are out now. It's fine. Um, good. You realized in that fight that you really need ballistics. Uh, we're not queuing anything. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, gold shaft mining is fine. Honestly, on lower levels, just get gold shaft mining. If you're floating res, just get it. It's not going to be worth it at high levels because we're actually effectively using that little amount of resources, but at most levels, it's actually fine. Regin Maru. Yo. Oh, nice deny. Nice deny. Okay, castle is... This hill is nasty. I would love to see the castle on this hill. Like, yeah, it doesn't really protect this as well, but you're going to have army behind as well. This is just going to get trapped down from the top. I don't know. It, it's fine. It's fine. Actually, your Franks just get a second castle up here. <laughs> you just get a million castles, so it's whatever. But with Franks, you can't stay on crossbowmen. What is Blue's Wall? Yeah, it seems to be across the map. It seems to be a lot of houses. Axemen would be so good. Axemen is the counter to Goths. Goths do get um, hand cannoneers. So you, you do need something against those. But if you go at, like Axemen and Paladins, if you have both of those units, you will kill all. That's like the dream as Franks. It's kind of hard to get to because it's pretty gold intensive. But as Franks, you really need to scout the extra golds. Like honestly, because you use so much gold. You want to actually take this. Just send like five vills here and just take it. Just whatever. He's tracking you. You can fight this. Just fight this before he has Husker rolls. You see this. I guess you're not paying attention. Obviously, you just clicked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would have tried to find a hill for that, but... You do have to micro, though. You, you, oh, man. Oh, man. Just put them like here. Try and get, try and get into this little hole. Just, just run for this. Yeah, yeah, you can micro like this, but it's better to just run and then fight. Even if you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sutter stepping is not as useful in this game as it is in, like, StarCraft for Marines. The units just don't really... Like, they don't fire instantly like Marines do, so... It's a little different. Who said crossbow counter volume? Well, he had a lot. He had a lot, you know? That's, uh... You didn't take the perfect engagement. Like, it was an open plane here. Crossbowmen are great if you took them in to the choke points. Oh, you just misclicked that farm twice. <laughs> Yikes. The crossbowmen were still... Yeah, yeah, but they're goths, though. So, really, have they? I'm not so sure. Okay, we're going Axemen. Good. We need upgrades. Also, actually, you know what you need to do is click up. You, I thought you were going to go up when the castle came up, but... I guess you kind of forgot. It happens. It happens. Now you see he's up. Now you, you know you have to go up. The thing is, is that he's going to have goth halberdiers. So, yeah. Well, he already had a bunch of knights from earlier. Yeah, this the stutter step is not really the same. Yeah, I used to play Terran in StarCraft 2. So, it's... You can kind of do it, but it's not quite as effective. Okay. Just delete this palisade. That's going to be very inefficient. Actually, I think your units went from here to here. They just kind of auto-transferred. You buy up. Ah. Ooh. I don't know about that. Yeah, he's he's been up for a while. You got to know that he's got a big army. He I don't know why he doesn't have two-handed swordsmen yet. Okay. He still just has Castle Age army. Uh, not a bad fight. I mean, it was uphill. Could have been a lot worse. I would say, oh, okay, yeah, good, good. No, oh, we're throwing units. We need, oh, Axemen are only good in mass. He's got a simple plan. Make champions. Honestly, at this elo, just have a plan. It doesn't even have to be a good plan. Just, just 
all in one unit. And if that unit is champions, it's gonna be pretty good. Wait, you never even got ballistics. Dang. You built the university and yeah, never clicked it. Oopsies. Ballistics is very good for the castles. It's actually kind of necessary for the castles in the late game. Yep. Ooh, eh, would have been better here. See, this is the thing. Look, he's gonna attack it from the hill. Oh man, it does so much damage. Like if you had just taken this hill, then even if he's gonna treb it down, he's trebbing it from the downhill, so it takes him like twice as long. Oh man, and now it's just, it's so over. You're the same vill count, but like to build up an army that actually beats this, you're gonna need Axemen. Well, actually, you know what? Franks get. Franks get hand cannons as well. So, if you can't go throwing Axemen, like in this situation, hand cannon is the way to go. Like, what you need to do right now, click chemistry, get like six more archery ranges in the back, and just build up like 30 hand cannons. That's that's actually like the only thing. He just got Onager though, so. Uh, wait, Franks have Bombard Cannon too though. You can go Bombard. Like, they actually have Siege Engineer's Bombard Cannons. You, you, yeah, <laughs> Cannons need a meat shield. Uh, yeah. In a lot of situations, like in big battles, you would rather have a meat shield for them, yes. You can also just put them in a choke if he doesn't have Honors behind. But, yeah, if you can just get Hand Cannon, Bombard Cannon here, that's really the only thing that wins. Like, Cavalier does nothing. Because you gotta know, he can easily just click Halb upgrade and your Cavaliers are useless. The crossbow weren't really gonna do much. Yeah, yeah, you're just pushed back. Honestly, like, there was there was a chance though. If you knew what to do in this situation, I think there was still a chance, because you still have resources. But, yeah, yeah, getting chemistry here and getting more ranges for hand cannons. That, that's the thing, like, People think of Franks as being a Night Civ, but they're actually just so versatile. Like, they can go heavy Scorpion with Siege Engineers in some situations. They can go for, yeah, the whole gunpowder thing. They've got hand cannons and bombard cannons with Siege Engineers. Axemen, sort of, uh, eh, eh, you can't use it in very many situations, but against infantry, they're great. It's like a ranged um, champion, pretty much, kind of. Yeah, it's a combo of not a good plan beyond initial rush and not knowing to do. Exactly. Exactly. Um, your initial rush was decent um, because you kept your eco running. But once he came in, you needed to have archers. Like, you know what? You needed the range a little bit faster. And you needed the archers down here so that he couldn't get in. And then you needed to not fail the quick walls. And it would have been fine, actually. You didn't miss anything, Cooper. It's only been three hours. We are still in the early stages of this coaching stream. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of uh, <laughs> kind of interesting. <laughs> this half half built wall. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, I think we've gone over everything that we needed to. Nice game. Was definitely evenly matched. Goss, like he just had so many units though. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just the floated resources once he started attacking. That was what really, really did it. Scorpion, exactly. That's why I mentioned them. Scorpion could be good. It's just, Scorpions you kind of need a lot of, whereas hand cannons, yeah, you need a lot of, but at least they're mobile, so you can you can kind of retreat them. Scorpions, you can't really retreat them, so you get caught out once, and then you lose everything. Okay. Okay. He had honors though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'd rather have the more mobile hand cannoneers. All right, I'm gonna set up the next one. All right, press one if you want in for the next one. You don't have to submit yet. We're doing it. Um, we're doing it live. You could even get in right now if you press one in chat. We roll after every single replay.
Alrighty. Let's see who gets it. Ray Ray AOE. Not even following. See, it's not rigged. There we go. Alright, um... I'm assuming you're not in my Discord. If you join the Discord, you can post a uh, a replay in the coaching channel. If you know how to do that. Otherwise, we can do a live game. Are you here, Ray Ray? <laughs> is he here oh there we go <laughs> can we do live yeah 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 let's do it all right join my uh what's your elo what's your elo <laughs> let's do a live one you don't have to join the discord or anything i can type i can type stuff it's fine if you don't want to uh let's host the game 1100 all right cool All right, whoever's 1100 can join. The first 1100-ish player. And uh, here I'll I'll even I'll even send the link right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just join my Discord, and I'm in the uh, general chat. Or sorry, the <laughs> the coaching. <laughs> Just stopping by. <laughs> Voice is a lot easier, because then I don't have to type. Because I'll be speaking with the chat as well. Oh, he's not quite. He's not quite uh, 1100. What is this guy? Oh, here we go. There's a good one. Oh, he left. Okay. Vivi fan. Oh, I think Baron got in first though. <laughs> All right, sweet. Vivi fan was just late. All right, we'll wait for Ray Ray. Let's close some of these slots. Leave two open. Doesn't have to be random sieve, any sieve. Oh, who is this guy? I don't think that's our man. and recruit some new viewers. <laughs> oh, you have to like boot up your other computer or something? Ah, oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. No problem. Oh no, there's too many people now. Oh, um, ah! Uh, <laughs> I can kick them. <laughs> I gotta wait. I mean, we have time until, uh... Okay, I don't think this guy understood, though. Some people probably just don't even speak English, so it's fine.
<laughs> Alright, hopefully it's not too much longer. I guess I will grab a another snack. You guys know you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime? <laughs> yeah, most people do speak at least a little bit of English online. It's it's kind of required. <laughs> Come on, opponent. Oh, he joined the, the Discord. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, he's just muted. Oh, Ray Ray, unmute yourself. There he is. Or, or I mean, he doesn't have to unmute. <laughs> can just listen. Ah, not an AI. Uh, or the, uh, uh, okay, okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, oh wait, no, 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 we need to close. Okay, we're good. All right. Yeah, it just says he's muted, so. Once he figures out how to do that, then we should be able to start. Although, actually, I think it, it shows muted if your mic isn't plugged in as well. I don't know. We're almost there. I'm assuming he can hear me through Discord as well. Actually, should be able to. You can't? Ah, uh, weird. Because it doesn't say that you're deafened. Like, it just says you're muted. Can't hear me through Discord. Need to go to oh yeah, yeah probably Discord sound settings. Like there should be a, a gear icon. And you should be able to do it in there. I have streamer mode activated, so I can't see any of the settings. Or some of them. Oh yeah, you go voice and video. Should work. Have to win one of these rigged lotteries. You might, you might. I do actually have, um, I do actually have like three times luck for subscribers, actually. Do I also coach ranked matches live? I haven't. 
I guess if somebody was able to, like, set it up so that I could actually view it, maybe, but I would have to, like, spectate it, and there would be, yeah, it would have to be, like, screen share, and then I'd have to set it up with the Discord to, like, go on stream, and, it, yeah, it's kind of illegal. <laughs> Come to watch, oh, yeah, I could, like, watch somebody's Twitch stream. Well, I'd have to set it up with my, um, my stream, though. Okay, uh, maybe we just go... Here, we'll give him a, another minute or two. If you can't figure it out, then we can just go with uh, no voice. It's fine. Why it's illegal. It's cheating! Getting somebody to, to tell you how to play while on ranked. <laughs> it's basically like spec cheating, except for that you're spectating... Well, I mean, I guess you can only see the one point of view, but it's it's like you're not really actually playing. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing to do. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, he joined again, but yeah. He's still showing up as muted. I, I know that I've seen it before like that when I was having... Oh, wait. Oh, he should be able to hear now. He just unmuted. I can't hear him, though. He's not muted anymore, though. What's happening? Uh, we're just getting a viewer to set up a Discord. We're going to do live uh, live coaching. That's the idea. Nymans is here with the muting. <laughs> uh, I don't actually have TeamSpeak. I, I know I had it at one point, but I don't really use it. Let's do one v versus two chat again. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that at some point. All right. We should go no voice chat, I think. Yes. All right. Um, I guess uh, we should ask for the sieve. I will be able to interact more with yeah, yeah, exactly. I will... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I should just tell him to keep stream on. It'll be just like a two-second delay or so. But it'll be fine. You can just listen to the stream. Uh, color... Color two. There we go. Thanks for joining, Will Slim. Slim, I know you've been here for a while. If you watch the stream, though, you can actually redeem channel points to get a replay coached, and that's that's any day. But of course, you have to watch a lot, or at least keep the stream on. Yeah. Uh. Typing is hard. Baron's already... Okay, okay. We go Saracens. I'm not sure if we both have to choose it. I would assume we would, but I don't know. Okay. Let's go. Beautiful. All right, sorry for the wait, all the viewers. Let's go. First seed chooses Civ. Okay, well then. That would be me. No piano today? We can do some piano in between, actually. I, I have been playing some piano in between. So we got an 1100 game now. On Arabia. Saracens versus Teutons. Now, Saracens should be in a pretty good situation here. 
Um, so Saracens being a pretty solid archer sieve, they have good camels as well, which is going to help against, say, if Teutons go for knights, which they, they may. Um, yeah, yeah, this is live. This is live. So basically, myself and Ray Ray here, our co-op i'm not gonna be touching anything like i can move stuff like look i can move this cow and stuff but i'm not gonna be touching anything and he's listening in on the stream most people will just go in discord but he couldn't figure out his mic and all the settings and stuff so we're just going he's just listening in on the stream so it's gonna be a couple second delay but I i'll be able to actually give him advice as to what he should do here or what he could potentially do that would be good What office chair do I use? Um, I don't know what it's called. I got it. Actually, my dad's work had a broken chair. And so uh, he was able to just take it. And then it was really easy to fix, actually. So that's what I'm using. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. It's the name of my cat. I think I have a chat command for that. His name's Chiku, though. What do Teutons even do against Hussar and Cav Archers? Well, it's kind of tough. It is kind of tough. So basically, I mean, we could go Cav Archer as Saracens. They don't really get any special bonuses for them, though. But it could be an option. I, I feel like Arbalest is just more natural. But maybe Cav Archers these days are pretty good. But Saracens, like, they really... They want to be kind of aggressive with the Crossbowmen in Castle Age here. That's going to be sort of their best play, is having a ball of crossbowmen at your opponent's base right when you hit cast, Castle Age. Because uh, then they're basically like Siege Archers. They just wreak havoc. Especially on Teutons who have no mobility with their knights. It, yeah, it's a fruit that grows in India. Camels confuse you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camels are really bad in most situations. But they're good in one situation <laughs> nice so far so good i i mean i expect uh like an 1100 player to be decent in dark age i mean dead pie fly was good in dark age at this point at 800 elo so anyways um i would say that controlling the wood cutters a little bit better like Putting, putting two of the woodcutters on the other side would be good. They will overchop it, but they're just more likely to get stuck if you have four on the same side. Oh, nice. Nice block. That's what movable needed to learn how to do. You could actually still lure that with the weak, Bill. That's what I would do. Because once you get to max range again, then, then it's fine. Yeah. I, I would have taken straggler tree here instead of taking the, the cow. But it's fine. Yeah, just, just... I would say leave the cow. Just just leave the cow. Take the boar now. You're going to lose some cow. It's better than losing boar meat, though. Oh, no. What is this shepherd doing? Anyways, this is fine. Four on food. This straggler... Wow, she's really... I guess that's still four tiles. Doesn't matter which way she goes. <laughs> hey, Mustang. Yeah, you know, 1100s are going to be doing those uh, those house walls and quick wall and bills and stuff. You got to get on that level. Oh, are we going to get a shot? Nah. Good, good scouting by Baron. Oh, no. You got to send a vill after these. He's trying to steal the cows. He's trying to steal your cows, man. <laughs> there we go. That's so important to get those. <laughs> Dad, gum. <laughs> It's a pretty big dad gum right there. Okay. Now, where's your other boar? Wait. Oh, maybe... Did you take it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I haven't even been paying attention enough. Interacting with chat too much. Lamer alert. Uh, it's good, though. It's good to um, play against lamers because it's just kind of good for you <laughs> to be alert. Um, this backwood line, I would have loved to have seen a vill in that hole, but it's kind of hard to set up. Um, yeah, good fixing those. 
So what's the plan here? We don't have a barracks yet. Up on 23. Okay, we're gonna go for some archers. Alright. Need to get a, a house. Yeah, the scout's not very active. It's not not the biggest deal in the world. It's better to focus on this. Um, hmm. These walls. I mean, they're acceptable. Straight archer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. I think Baron should be able to hear you if you didn't turn off the uh, the chat thing. In one v ones, your opponent should be able to hear you. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Walling with the Weakville is not a very good idea as well. But his scout is... Well, actually, his scout is still able to kill that Weakville. But it's fine. It's already out there. I don't know. Actually, it's probably worth it to switch him out with one of these gold bills. You're going to need a house, though. Otherwise, you're going to get housed here. That's number one priority right now. Or at least... Well, you have a little bit of time to get a house. Oh, he's got a militia in the back now. He sees ya. Let's see if you... Are you gonna quick wall those vills at your second lumber camp? Because that's where he's at. He's cruising for a bruise in here. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, I let my enemy know my strat that one time. It resulted in a victory. It was good. Against Barls. <laughs> Okay, nice. We need to get the blacksmith up too. Might as well. Second range, okay. Second range instead of blacksmith, that's fine. That's fine. It's more standard to kind of go one range, or at least get the second ranges at, or two ranges at the same time, but it's fine. Yeah, good, good. Actually, you'll have the perfect amount of gold. This second lumber camp was kind of, it was kind of far away. You were kind of just asking to get harassed like that without walls and the lumber camp being over there. But yeah, your wood kind of sucks actually a lot. At least you have one good wood line, but the other one is so far away. Like on this map, even just going one one lumber camp and then just getting like a TC over there later on probably would have been better. Because you can stay on one lumber camp for a while without it being too big of an issue. It's the worst wood you've th you think you've seen. Yeah, it's pretty bad. What would have been worse if, if it was like this except for the wood was forward? <laughs> that would be even worse. <laughs> Wall towards the second. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. We could, we could add walls down here. That would have been really good. Okay. Yeah, show your archers. Oh, uh, we need Vils pumping. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Okay. Normally, like, you would have too much on gold, but as Saracens, it's actually just worth it to get the market when you can. And just, just buy resources when you need it. It's... You're gonna get good prices. It's just completely worth it. Like, and it, the thing is, is it's because the market only costs 75 wood that it makes it just completely worth it to always play like this in Feudal Age as Saracens. Unless you just don't have access to gold. But market abuse as Saracens is always going to be more economic than adding farms. Of course, you do need farms, but you just don't need as many. Like, Saracens are, are very unique with their economy. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we need to buy food here. Because you you have nothing on food. Because he took you off berries. So, yeah, the market needs to come up now. Just leave your archers and grab a market. Okay. You actually... You actually need to, like, not make so many houses. Because you don't have the wood. Oh, man. Yeah, even this farm should have been a market. Because you just don't have... You don't actually have the food eco to support Vils. You actually, you, you barely do now, almost. But you still do need to be queuing units here. Why work for the resources when you buy them? Yeah, 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 exactly. Nice. Uh, st still no Vil queue, still no Archer's queue. 
Uh, yeah, Fletching. I, I think keeping Vils running is higher priority than Fletching. Obviously, Fletching is useful, but... Anyways, you can bu just buy now. Just actually buy with all of your gold. Just, like, shift... Shift-click that buy 100 food. Because you'll be getting more gold in, anyways. And you, you just need the food now. Especially because if you buy now, it'll prevent the opponent from actually using the market as well. Lots of idle TC there, yeah. Um, it was... It was when he was attacking the the enemy. He was controlling his units. That's when the idle time happened. That's pretty common. But that's something to work on. Okay. Looks looks like we're doing something in the base. Yeah, adding farms. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you want to get up to Castle Age, actually. Oh, your opponent just clicked up, because we know from the lag spike. I would just sell the stone and just buy food and go up now. You don't want to get too far behind. Yeah, the fact that Blue made a tower here is, means that he's not going to be able to go TC's. This means that Blue is going to probably go for an attack. As Tutans, what can he do? He can go for Knights. He can go for Siege. He probably wouldn't add Pikes with against Crossbowmen. But yeah, Night Siege. Exactly. Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, Wheelbarrow is coming in pretty late. I wouldn't have gotten Wheelbarrow, but it's already kind of half done, so just let it finish. Wheelbarrow is going to really delay you a lot here. This is one of the, the times where I would skip it, but it's fine. It's fine. You're in his base. You can do damage here. Um, Yeah, sh shoot the house walls. Yeah, yeah, there's that one with 50 HP. Shoot that house foundation. Oh, actually, yeah, I like I like going for Vils. You can get in in the top. No, no, there's one with 50. Okay. The, like, the top one has 50 HP. Anyways, anyways, you shred through it pretty quick anyways, so it's fine. Not a big deal. Um, You could go for gold mining upgrade here, too. That would probably be really good. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's get some kills. Let's get some kills. You get two here for sure. No, no, kill the Vils. Kill the Vils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you don't even need to go in. If he's going to give you his vills here, you don't even need to go in to kill vills. Okay, remember, he's up faster than you. You need to run away now. Like, you actually... You could try and pick off that one more man, but you need to get out of here. Because if you throw this army, you're not going to have that big ball of crossbones. That that juicy ball. So, I, I would say just hightail it out of here before he ha sends knights your way. Because he's, he's going to have knights. You see the stable. Um, I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even run the direct way home. Just like, oh, well, he, he, okay, yeah, yeah, good. You're sacrificing the scout. Good, good, good. But getting these crossbowmen, or getting these archers out of here, turning them into crossbowmen, completely more worth it than, like, getting one or two more veil kills. And now group up the two balls of crossbowmen. And then you'll be able to actually put on um, pressure again. Yeah, you can always just buy the stone back as Saracens. It's really not a big deal. Like, it's like 12 more gold to buy compared to sell. Like, it's not even a big issue if you basically lose like 30 gold or whatever in the process. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Group up the balls. <laughs> oh, oh, but you left them in the corner though. You need to have them together at your base right now. Because your opponent should be coming forward with Siege and... um. And knights, or he could be booming. But either way, you need the you need all of your crossbowmen together. Yeah, you need to be walled though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, you don't have upgrades yet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Imagine if you had that other group of eight archers here. You you would actually be able to fight this. You need to bring them home. Or, well, they're already here. I guess you could keep them there to raid. But I don't know. Keep, like. If you had, like, 22 archers or crossbow in here, it's it's kind of unstoppable. Well, unless he has siege, but anyways. Okay. Uh, I really dislike that TC. I know it was to defend against the knights, but that's really not um, gaining you any resources or map. You need a TC, like, where that second lumber camp is. Oh, you need bowsaw as well. Probably added a little too many farms for Saracens when you're not going camels. But it'll be okay. Because you will spend it. You, I think what you need is you need to actually sell 
like 300 food and buy another TC. That's that's actually what needs to happen here. Because you're going to run out of wood. Yeah, you already made the lumber camp. But yeah, you actually just sell 300 food, buy 200 wood and 100 stone, and get another TC, and it will be completely worth it. Especially because wood price is super cheap right now. Ooh. It, it's kind of sketchy to be out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect location. Because that'll, that'll protect that side. Like, usually you wouldn't want to have it on a wood line that already has a lumber camp, but you need protection on this side. Good, good, good. I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, keep your crossbowman back, because you don't know what he has. Like, keep... Oh, man. Oh, man. This is this is what he has. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> yeah, predictable. <laughs> um, that's why you need to have your crossbowman behind the walls. Especially when the opponent's going knights, because... Uh... <laughs> because that's gonna happen. <laughs> the siege on the hill. You hate to see it, but that's that's just how it is. All right. Well, we need probably monks now. Sell some more food. Get a monastery and a siege shop. Because crossbowmen aren't gonna do anything. Good thing you're Saracen, so it doesn't really matter how your economy is. You you make your economy how you want it to be. But yeah, we need to get those the seed shop and the uh, monastery right away. Oh, and this gonna be hard to quick all that out. But anyways, the thing is, if I don't have people in voice chat, I I can't tell like what kind of person they are. Like if they if they just get like really overwhelmed or <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's gonna be up way too late now. Uh. Could be still okay. He has plus two. But he is throwing a few of these knights. Yeah, and they're they're Teuton knights, so they're not like great. I mean the conversions against Teutons are not great, but I mean sometimes it's kind of all that you can get. It's all you can really rely on. Yeah. He he threw a bunch of knights. I, I wonder what his economy's like. It's probably pretty good though. Like this isn't all that many units. He just happened to get a huge butt of booms. <laughs> okay. I mean, we're we're looking like imp economy here. <laughs> Funnily enough. Yeah, we need to keep adding crossbowmen though. Just crossbowmen inside the archery ranges, but yeah, monks as well. Yeah, keep the monk near the TC so you can garrison. Yeah, you don't want to lose them. Oh, it was full. Dang. Dang. There were too many bills in there. Oh, feels bad. Disaster. Well, if you want to call it, you can call it. Otherwise, you can keep trying. Only 31 bills, though, so it's it's looking kind of kind of bad. <laughs> With all this siege as well. And knights. I, I think he... Yeah. Without your own siege shop... And without, like, five monks, or three monks probably would be good. Like, one seed shop, actually, with some monks behind? Not a bad play. Like, one mangonel can kill all this. Oh, castle. Beautiful. I love it. You know what kills all of this? Mamelukes. You have back gold. Get on that gold, yeah? On that back gold. Buy your third TC. Or second TC, I guess. There's that side gold too, which I bet he won't find. I bet he'll like uh, tunnel vision. Oh yeah, this is winnable if you keep macroing. Like if you keep adding bills here. Yeah, just like his base, he has the back gold and stone, which is so good. He's not denying that castle is fine, but you do need to keep production running, like bills. Basically, the only way to come back in this situation is if you can keep Vils pumping and then, like, your opponent just overcommits, loses his army, and then you just have a good economy so you recover.
finals after the first eight crossbows. Well, I mean, the idea behind crossbows is you get enough that you can shred through through uh, knights. Who are seizures Mamelukes? Honestly, like, they're kind of expensive, though. 85 gold. Although, well, yeah, we don't really have the food. Oh, wait. All the food is queued up in Vils, which, I mean, it's a good thing, but... Honestly, like, one Mameluke kills that Mangano. Oh, wait, you have it. Although, it requires a bunch of micro. It's probably better to, uh... Well. Yeah, I don't know. You could actually try and build up, like... 10 Mamelukes? 15 Mamelukes? You can do it. You have enough gold. You don't have gold mining upgrade, though. That's one that you want to get, actually, in Feudal Age with Saracens a lot of the time. Yep, yep. We just have to manage this. You have a Monk, too, which can heal the Mamelukes, remember. Look at this micro nerd! Look at this, see? Aww. Yeah. Beautiful. Garrison takes too long to heal. Like, you're just basically sitting with your units forever. So it's kind of better to just use Monks. Wall, it's Wall, Wall. Jador, Mamelukes, Mamelukas. Yes. Sometimes they are actually the play. Yeah, don't trickle the Mamelukes. They're they're horrible on their own, but once you get like 15 of them, um, they they benefit from forging and scale barding armor, so that basically cavalry upgrades. So, where's your blacksmith? Yeah. Oh, he's getting a castle outside the base. Yeah, I feel like he's just way ahead in economy, though. So, I don't know. Nice. Where am I from? I am from Victoria, BC. These farms. These farms are always kind of yikes, because they're so easy to just snipe off. I'm assuming blue is up to imp, honestly. I could be wrong. It just kind of feels like it. But I guess he has been spamming a lot, so I don't know. Nice. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the moonwalking mangano. <laughs> it looked like it was gonna shoot. <laughs> Can you guys imagine? If they could shoot and back up at the same time? Look at this! Look at this! Mamelukes are cleaning! Oh, we need to clean out that siege though. Good engagement on this. Like, what I would do is is uh, garrison everything inside the castle and then pop out the middle and then try and take out those mangonels first. That's what I would do. Although, we still need food income. The scorpions, like, I don't think you want to dive at the scorpions through here. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's not the greatest angle. Oh, but luring them into the castle is good. Don't lose the monk, though. Don't lose the monk. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, let's see the splits. Or not. We don't even need to. Oh my god. This unit is OP. Sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the red player can hear me, yeah. He's just um in the stream chat. He couldn't get the Discord working, so whatever. Um, Where's your monk? Honestly, pick up that relic that's just sitting there. And then you need to heal up these mam Mamelukes a little bit. I would get one more monk, honestly. Need to do some raiding soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of hard. Like, you don't want to... You can't really raid with Mamelukes, because they just kind of die to everything. <laughs> um, the economy's still only 50 bills. Like, bill production has been... a bit of an issue this game and we can actually get another TC funnily enough I would I would consider taking the the main gold again with a TC it would not be a bad idea China. 
Oh, wait, you have another TC. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention up there. Sick. Okay. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Because I wasn't paying attention to that. Nice. He's going barracks now, so he's going to go into Helbs. The fact that he's adding barracks means he might be up. I'm not so sure, though. This game is still winnable. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mamelukes can always come back. Gotta take out the castle. It's... There's no way to take out the castle in feudal... Or in castle age, sorry. You, you pretty much need trebs for that castle. More eco the play instead of an imp push. Yeah, um... You can go for, like, an imp... Oh, there are his knights. Can you wall that out? Nope. Gonna have to retreat those vills and, uh... Get them Mamelukes in position. Oh yeah, he's up. That's usually when you see your opponent getting production forward, it, they're up. I think he's gonna come with actual um, halberdiers though, because he added barracks, which technically you can out micro with Mamelukes, but on this economy, I'm not so sure. Live coaching with delay seems pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would prefer if people would go Discord, but anyways, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Space coffee with the sub. I don't know if I thanked you, but thank you so much. <laughs> I need to drink something. Gotta stay hydrated. But yeah, um, like an... Imp push is great if you're on Arbalist, but there was no way to really do Arbalist here. This is a chunky ball of Mamelukes now. I wonder where the extra golds are. I bet there are extra golds, like, in the north by that stone. I bet there's one up there. Okay. Yeah, he has... Yeah. Well, there are the pikes in behind. Now he's got Cavalier. Ooh, yeah. We've got the second branch city on the east. Meanwhile, do we even one-shot? Oh, we're one-shotting. Oh, <laughs> Mamelukes. <laughs> Mamelukes are so good against Cavaliers. They're like, they're like camels, but even more specialized than camels. Can I take control from here? No, no, no. He's still playing. It's not about winning, it's about learning. If I took control from here, it would still be pretty difficult. I think what would need to happen is we'd need to get some crazy raids in. Like, because we're, we're floating a bunch of food here. And the food price is actually so good to sell. Honestly, like, selling... Selling is the only way we're going to get to Imp here without taking the main gold back. But finding gold is top priority. Just looking into the dark in the in the east would be really good. Caleb G, thanks for the sub. Decent ball, yeah. That's a that's a bigger ball of Mamelukes than you'll ever see. What is actually so good in this situation? Outputs the corner. Yeah, exactly. That's what I would do. Like <laughs> their attack note or their um, attack sound t makes like no noise. Oh my god, he's gonna throw his treb. Okay, you're not going to get the other one, but that's that was a huge play. You have to do that again. Too slow. Yeah, um we don't have don't have husbandry, I think. No husbandry, no bloodlines. So we, we are missing some text for these. We're clicking up the imp though. We'll counter. Yeah, yeah, skirmishers and then enough halberdiers that yeah. Yeah, production has been a bit of an issue here. Exactly, we need monks to heal these. But it's kind of hard to keep them in the same location. Ooh, will we get a delete? Nope. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, take out both trebs. He might actually pull the cav back to defend this. T take out the other one. Oh, my God. Or Well, he's going to attack the TC, but... Oh, you switched. Yeah. Oh, man, oh, man. Once the pikes get in there, they actually just still destroy. Okay. Uh. Me... I don't think we've bought enough time. 43 vills. 40, 39. Oh my god, where are we losing vills? I guess it's just these ones. You need tech heals? Wait, what? Oh yeah, they the 
It's kind of, like, expensive, though. Eh, but wait. No. You're, you're thinking of, um... You're thinking of Berber's unique tech. That's the one where the camels... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... I <laughs> Yeah, 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 when you're treating with Cav in line formation, then, yeah, you don't want to click too far away. It's the same with ships, actually. You'll really see it with, like, war galleys. Galleons. Herbal medicine is just way too expensive to be worth it, generally. Better to just make monks, because then they can convert as well and pick up relics. Okay, yeah. This is where Mamelukes start to drop off, is when there's just big armies. And you can't really control them. But yeah, at this point, I think the opponent is just full boomed. It's pretty dead. Because, like, what does Imp even give us? Imp gives us nothing because we're not going Arb. Going Arb would have meant that we had a chance, but, like, it's not like you can actually afford anything with Imp anyways, so it's GG. Even if we have a small economy over here, it doesn't really do anything at this point. GG, you got the Imp. So, there we go. Um, I guess we can recap just a little bit. Pretty much, the game was lost. Oh, oh, it's all bugged. Oh, wait, it's probably because, um, Ray hasn't resigned yet. Both need to resign. Basically, when, um... <laughs> when... The crossbowmen were lost on the hill here. That's where the game was thrown. Like, basically, when your opponent is going for knights and siege and stuff like that, or, or, well, even just knights, like, you have to be really careful with your crossbowmen ball until you actually get, like, 30-plus of them. You have to be really careful. And even once you have that, any hills, you gotta know. Your opponent's probably camping the top. You have to pay attention to the hills. And then... Like, it was just the worst angle. Like, taking the angle here, and then it's like a choke here, so you can't really engage. You can't really split. Um, yeah, co-op, but I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just seeing the, the point of view. Um, yeah, you just have to not throw your crossbowmen. Like, the idea behind going Knights in Castle Age is that you have mobility, so you can run around the map. Whereas, with crossbowmen, you kind of have to... Pay more attention to them. They're a little bit more um, needy in that way, I guess you can say. But anyways, well played up until that point, and then it kind of went downhill from there. Your biggest issue is keeping town centers running. Um, there were a lot of issues with keeping the town centers running. So anyways, that if, if you can fix your macro like while you're doing something else, you will easily gain another 100 points. Okay. With life coaching, you can easily end up making moves that you aren't used to doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. Like, I might give you advice that I would do, but then it's like, if you don't have practice doing that, then it's just kind of difficult. Okay. Let's go next. Press 1 if you want in for the next one. You can do live or from replays. Your choice. I'm gonna roll it. Let's go. Howl of Terror. Another new new member to the channel here. All right.
<laughs> you won. Uh, do you have a replay or do you want to go live or what? Live? We can do it. What's your elo? You got Discord as well? It really does help to have actually talking to someone. <laughs> I'll host. Round 900? Okay, cool. Anyone can join who's around like 900 or something like that. Beating hardest AI. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1K ish. 900, 1K. Something like that. Whoever gets in first. Here, I'll even post the link here. And Hal, make sure to join the Discord if you want to chat. Would be good. <laughs> Is 14 are too much? A little too much. A little too much. Pick Biz. Mist. Mist is way too high. He's just stopping by again. Can't talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hop in Discord is fine. Um, it, it's just gonna be better to not have any delay. Let's go. Okay. Well, maybe we'll do a quick piano break while we're waiting for all this stuff. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's. I guess uh, yeah, we'll do a classic, one of my standards. <laughs>
Who, who joined or something? I totally wasn't paying attention. Oh my god! That scene. There we go. Let's <laughs> All right. Uh. Okay. This Wyman guy says he's the first. Oh my god! What? Uh. All right, chat. Who was who was actually first? <laughs> Obviously, I was not paying attention. All right, so I'm just gonna hop off from the stream uh, because my internet is not that great. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll just stay from uh, on the Discord. Sounds good. All right, thanks. Okay. It was Blasco. Yeah, that's what it seems like. All right. All right. That's me. I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna stick with uh, Blasco. Great. Blasco, it is. <laughs> I think. Um. Yeah. Or something. I will. Uh... I will. Um... I actually crashed, that's why I probably came back. I had to relaunch the game twice. Oh, okay. Wait, uh... Wait, how... Oh, yeah, you're Akane, okay. Cool. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you have a lot of echo in there. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you said you were going to mute anyway, or whatever. Okay, no, I'm not kidding. Uh, yeah, I know. There was oh, wait, oh, yeah, you're the, the last furniture, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you definitely yeah. shouldn't listen in while we're discussing strategy, so... Um, All right, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll speak then. Yeah, yeah. That's preferable. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, if you're the opponent, though, you probably, like, should just leave the Discord, because you can, you can watch the VOD later for... Because cause I'm going to be talking to um, Howl, right? Yeah. Anyways, either way, either way. Um, what Civ shall we play? Bathtub gaming, best gaming. <laughs> Ethiopians, okay, let's go. Let's go. It's fine. Um, let's go. Oh, wait. I need to select the beautiful yellow color. Oh. Oh, uh oh yeah. I Oh, I guess uh I can just say that. There we go. There we go. Looks good. Uh settings are okay. Let's go. Let's go.
All right. So we got Ethiopians versus Franks. Have we seen this before? These are some pretty common sieves, Franks and Ethiopians. Those seem to be the sieves that everyone's picking these days. Gotta fix the colors. Or, oh, wait, that was earlier. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we've got like a 1K. So Howell says that he's never played against or um, in ranked, no ranked games. So we've got him matched up against uh, 950 ish, and let's see how it goes. He says he can beat the extreme AI. So we will see. These are the Civ Terror recommends in the store. Okay, yeah, makes sense. I recommend I recommend Franks a lot as well, and I guess the uh, the Ethiopians thing is good. Hardest. Oh, oh, hardest. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot that. I forgot that. Um, extreme is one level higher. They they didn't used to be actually an an extreme AI. Hardest used to be the the top, but either way, let's see where that puts him. Gossam biz needs for beginners. Really? Byzantines? Is that really a beginner sieve? Like, they don't really have anything. I know I play them a lot, but they don't really, they actually don't really have anything. <laughs> New, yeah, they're all micro nerds. True, true. So far, so good. Oh, our sheep is a little late under the TC, but here, yeah, you gotta get that under the TC, though. Oh, well, we take it there. It's fine. It's just. Like, yeah, if you don't have it right underneath the TC, it's just a lot of walking time. On wood it's fine yeah this fill should be bringing in the boar okay yeah house is good next fill should bring in the boar for sure let's keep the yeah tc's running at all times you're gonna have to take one more sheep though so yeah put another sheep underneath and then the boar will come in at a pretty decent time that house fill yeah yeah, yeah. mill good 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 perfect My volume. That'll be better for me. Okay. Pretty good. Good enough timing, anyways. Doesn't need to be perfect. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> it's so hard. They popped out on the wrong side. Um, you know why they popped out on the wrong side? I will tell you why. There is a reason why they popped out on that side and not on the other side. Yeah, it was because you set the rally point when the boar was way in the top. If you set the rally point when the where the boar is, then they'll pop out on that side. So this is the way that the TC rally point works is when you set the rally point on something that moves, it like remembers the location of where you set the rally point. Um, and then they'll pop out on the closest side to the location of the rally point. But then but then they'll chase after the thing. So if it's like a sheep and it's on the bottom, then you move the sheep to the top, it'll come out on the on the uh, the bottom. So that's why they popped out on the top instead of the bottom to shoot the boar. Is because he set the rally point probably when it was up here. That's why I always set the rally point right after I shoot it the second time. That's why. It was close. It was close. Um, you, you just didn't know that one detail. <laughs> The TZ lure might be too complicated at the CL. Yeah, it probably is. But the thing is, is that learning how to do that will... It's basically like learning your hotkeys. It's just something that you're not really doing a ton at this point. It's it's one of those like slightly more advanced tricks where once you learn how to do it and it's really smooth, it, you'll just feel more comfortable with actually using hotkeys and stuff like that. So I think it's it can be worth it. It's Yeah, it's tricky though. Yeah, he didn't kill the boar with the TC, exactly. And it's just one of those things where... Um, I definitely made that mistake a few times. And that's why I know exactly how it works. Because I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, the front four is better, but I mean, at this level, is anyone really gonna lame? Need to do it versus the AI like 30 times. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, remember, I have, I have like 4,000 plus games on DE played. So I've done that like twice per game. So even, and even I mess it up sometimes, very rarely, but. But I mean, I, I mess it up just as many times as I mess up um, like a normal lure, or I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't find your sheep. You really don't need to scout the map until you find your sheep. I, I think you want to bring your scout back and just look for it. Uh, here, I'll turn him off. Uh, I can, now I can ping without the opponent seeing. But they're probably like here and here, something like that. So those are the two places where you need to send your scout. Because now you you kind of have Vils standing. Okay, so you're going to go archers. Okay. Well, obviously, you're Ethiopians. So it's actually okay. It's not a big deal, but you, you definitely want to find your boars. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scout here and, and here. Almost guarantee you that they're in those locations. Nice, nice, nice. So, oh man, yeah, yeah, we need to fix this. Honestly, getting another lumber camp would probably be good. I, I would just send like, pro probably like five off of berries. Maybe even more, maybe, maybe even like six. Just to make another, yeah, yeah, exactly, right up there. I would have placed it like a touching the the wood a little bit more, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fix it. There we go. Perfect. Now it's perfect. Good, good, good. Yeah. And then the other, the other. Oh, where could they be? Or maybe you did find all except those two. I actually wasn't paying enough attention. I don't know if you're still missing two, because you should have eight total. Anyways, at this point. What are we going to do? Oh, man, you have a lot of res. So, archery range, right? Archery range first. What is he attacking? Oh, he's, he's not hes not attacking anything. Yeah. So, we actually collected too much food. Yeah, I'm assuming that you did take the other sheep. Wow, Ethiopians actually have so much free res. Good FC. Well, <laughs> it's not very safe, though. Yep. Okay, opponent has scouts already, so probably want to add a spearman in. Yeah, and just send everything back to the TC. You're definitely going to need spears against this. Because you don't have walls. Oh! Oh! oh almost, almost. I, I like that you're working on the tricks. It's good to start early, and then you, you get good at them, at them eventually. Nice. Uh, okay. Oh, he should fight this. Well, maybe I don't know. He could. He could have fought with five. I think he fights this one spear. So I think you you got to retreat the spear. Yeah, travel in groups of two. Send the spears to your berries now, because that's where he's gonna hit. Yeah. Um, the eco balance was not quite right this game because he sent like eleven to berries instead of getting the second wood line. That's what happened, really. I can go over the replay a little bit. Just because, yeah, that's what we'll want to work on. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, get them attacking. Get them attacking. Okay, okay. Uh, you you could have attacked. Like, two spears against five scouts? It's not bad. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was okay. Not the end of the world. Howl is unranked. He's the guy that I'm co-op with. So, he can beat Hardest AI, which we're guessing is around 1k. This Blasco guy seems to be handling everything, though. He's pulling spears along with bills. Yay! Oh, uh, yeah, that's what happens. That's right. Because sometimes units just get, like, pushed. Somehow. Um, okay, so what needs to happen is you need to wall, like, small wall your gold villagers in. And, like, if you had five on gold, that would be optimal, but it's pretty unsafe to have them exposed right now. Like, I, I would say small wall them, because the scouts are coming, and you don't have any units in position. Those scouts are coming. 
Like, his scouts are actually down here. <laughs> I, I wonder why he didn't come in. He might be coming to your top wood line, actually. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> good, good, good. Hey, you got the, the things on time. Yeah, you need to get a blacksmith now. Because your archers are actually useless until you get fletching. Oh, where's he going? Nice, nice. Well, you have a spear. Okay. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> The blacksmith. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh, that was sick micro by Blasco. Dang, he, he pulled away. Okay, yeah. I would fight with the Vils. You have the archers. Wait, what kind of military do we have? Oh, we have three spears there. Oh, your spears are standing. But yeah, just fight with the Vils at this point. Like, just... Oh, man, this Blasco guy is styling, actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Once you have a certain amount of bills to scouts ratio, you just fight with the bills, and it works. Um, okay, so you need to fix your economy. Everything needs to go back to work now. And we still have some spears down here. You know what you can do is you can actually attack. Finish that blacksmith, and then try and get fletching and attack. Yeah, yeah, keep the vills pumping. Good, good. Oh, we, we're still missing double bit axe, the wood upgrade. That's a pretty important one. I don't know why she is stuck. That makes no sense. Oh, actually, he probably just clicked her away. There we go. The biggest skill jump at 900 elo is hotkeys. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Control grouping units, hotkeys, really helps. Oh, sick. He's on stand ground and he got a kill. How? Amazing. Okay, yeah, fletching is on the way. Good, good. Okay, we need to spend wood. Before you get your archers across the map, even just camp them on that hill for a sec. Y you need to get a bunch of farms. Like, send, send like, six of these guys to build farms around your TC. That's going to be the best use of your resources right now. Nice. Oh, nice kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just leave the archers there. Focus the, focus the economy now. Like, actually, six... Six more farms, at least, need to come in. Did we get double bit? We still need to get double bit. Oh, man, he's up to uh, castle. I, I think this is a, a bit of an imbalanced match. It's fine, though. Why creating farms and not taking sheep? Well, yeah, yeah, the sheep should be taken as well, but they should have been done earlier. Farms at this point is, like, the best way to spend the wood. Uh, still no double bit axe. Like, getting 20% faster woodcutters is usually what you want to get, like, right when you get to feudal age. It, it's still worth it to get at this point. But the opponent's gonna be in castle age, he's gonna spam knights, and, uh, with no walls here, it's gonna be pretty difficult to defend. Because, yeah. Like, the archers, they will never get through walls. So actually putting the archers just, like, here... Or, or here would be better, just to range the, the lumber. But the thing is, is that your opponent's going to be up to Castle Age in, like, a minute. Yeah, you can go up now, which is at least good. But you know what should happen is you should try and get walls around your entire base. If you know your opponent's up faster than you, then, like, walls are what save you until you can actually have crossbowmen. But until then, he's going to have knights against archers. And it doesn't matter if they're Ethiopian knights, they will still... Or Ethiopian archers, they will still die. We are up now. Good, good. But yeah, just... Just walling everywhere would really... Buy time. When you need to buy time. Because right now... It's like, your archers aren't really going to do anything. So you kind of have to just... Get the knights to go up against walls. And you see that he has forging and armor on his scouts if you click him. So you know, you know 100% he's about to just spam knights in your face. <laughs> uh, spears can be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do like spears here as well. It is definitely really good. We get the pikeman upgrade for free with Ethiopians. So, like, having a few spears is not even a big investment. And they're super, super effective. You just don't want to engage the knights until you're up. But actually, the castle age time is going to be okay. The knights should be here any second, though. 
Oh, they're first gonna clean up the archers. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, pulling back those forward archers would have been good. Because you want to mass archers. This is actually what we saw in the previous game. Was, well, we did pull back, but we didn't ever group up the archers. And it's a lot easier to take out five archers here and there than taking out like 30 all at once. Yeah, they get 100 gold and 100 food on Age Up. Yeah, you, you need to bring your archers behind your archery ranges. Or at least near the pikemen. There we go. Um, yeah, Thumb Ring is probably okay. You want to get Bodkin Arrow? Bodkin Arrow from the Blacksmith is top priority here as well. Higher priority than Thumb Ring for sure. Yeah, Rip Gold. <laughs> rip Gold. <laughs> Wasn't quite walled. Yeah, Ethiopians are so good. As an archer sieve, I, I would say that they're the best for beginners. They like, it just makes sense. They have really good eco bonuses. And then they their archers also fire faster, so <laughs> they're kind of good. Yeah, 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 we need the the pikes as well. Actually, he doesn't have very many knights. You could you could crush this. Actually, the pikemen alone killed us, almost. Okay, okay. Speed upgrade on pikes. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. I guess we don't really have extra TCs or anything else to spend the food on, so it makes sense. Archer armor would be good, too. Left wood open. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be overchopped here. But basically, the knight player is just gonna run around with these knights and probably expand economy. Makes a lot of sense. You can go shift plus shift and comma to select all of your idle or all of your military units, by the way, which is really useful. In this situation where you might have just random units around, shift plus plus comma, just to select everything. Ross Michael TV, welcome and welcome everyone. We are doing some coaching today. So yeah, he has two two knights. Those things are scary now, especially as Franks. He gets the bloodlines for free, basically, at this point. Not producing military. Well, we don't really have any resources. All the gold bills got destroyed. Um, We need more pikes, though. Definitely worth it to add more pikes. And I think kind of have to go all in, like an all in attack, actually. Just cast a six hour 1v1 zero elo first game. Six hours. Oh man. I can't even imagine. Casting for that long. Oh man. I've been at it for four and a half, four, four hours, 40 minutes. Going over replays, but uh, not one game. <laughs> okay. Gold shaft mining, probably a bit of a big investment at this point, but I mean, if you're not gonna spend your resources elsewhere, might as well. Uh, do we have bow saw yet? Okay, we definitely want bow saw. The wood upgrades, very important. Like they're both 20% faster, so it's, like 20% is just huge. And, and you use wood for like everything. You use wood so that you can generate food from farms. So wood is kind of like the most important resource. It allows you to take other resources. Um, but yeah, you are overchopped here. He could sneak knights in there, so you gotta be careful. There we go. Nice, nice. We don't have Vils pumping, though. Actually, this is a good time to get Wheelbarrow, honestly. Maybe after the next Vils. Either way, either way. Um, hmm. Kind of a sketchy mining camp. I guess you have military. Okay, he's attacking. You might just want to go and try and clean up his army and then counterattack. Like, that might be your best bet. Yeah, you need your pikes. Well, yeah, you need your pikes there, for sure. Oh, man. Yeah, don't lose the crossbowman to Manganel, and then you're golden. Oh, yeah, your pikes are going around the wrong way. They're getting stuck on the seed shop, too, but it's probably okay. Wait, you have ballistics, don't you? Okay, well, you have, like, full upgrades on your dudes. Hmm. 
Nice. He's throwing a lot of units. Okay, now don't throw these to the Mangano. Nice. Nice unit control. Pikes will actually kill Siege. Unless this guy has sick attack ground. Nope. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Easy. Alright, now go for a counterattack. But you need to keep your TC running, though. That's one thing that hasn't hasn't been done. Oh, you see the sneak, Bill. Don't even chase those. Cl clean up those knights with um, reinforcements. Just go attack his base. Don't even... No, no, no. Keep the pikes with the crossbowmen. And you can just make more reinforcements. That was only like six knights. You can just leave your reinforcements at home to clean that up. And then go attack. Yeah, Red Kansky came in in a uh, live coaching. A lot of people have wanted live today. There we go. See, these pikes here are going to actually be able to kill the knights and the mangano. Oh, unless he gets a sick attack round. You want to kill the knights first, though. Ah, because the, they will kill your pikes. Anyways. Oh, unless he missed micros. All right, well, that works. Okay. Yeah, he's in your base, but he's... Oh, well, he just retreated them. All right, that's fine. All right, now we got a lot of action. Yeah. His elite skirms have no upgrades, so don't even be scared. Just just kill. Although, yeah, nice micro. Unfortunately, we don't we aren't actually queuing anything during this, but I mean it's a start for sure. All these units are gonna die now. So you, you kinda have to give up on them and start macroing again. Um at this point you're you have like eight hundred wood. Just throw up like three more archery ranges, actually. Three more archery ranges, just like in your base here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yellow's unranked. Yeah, so we don't actually know 100% where he's at. He hasn't died, though, which is good. That it, like a lot of players would just die early from the knights, but he didn't die, so that's uh, that's a good sign. Okay. Yeah, with ballistics. I, I would garrison the TC. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then that thing just dies. Nice! He's throwing units! This is exactly what you need to actually win this game. You just need to keep up production. Just just keep spamming pikes, keep spamming crossbowmen, and keep spamming villagers. You could even get handcart on your bills. Like, if you can't keep your TCs running, you might as well just make them efficient. At least. Yeah, he, he still doesn't have armor. So yeah, you just fight this with crossbowmen. Don't be scared of skirms if he doesn't have armor on them. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we, we still are neglecting the bills, though. <laughs> bills are still pretty important. Nice. All right, let's keep the ranges. Uh, select all the ranges. Do you use the select all hotkey? Okay, we only have three ranges, but eh, it's, it'll be fine. Oh, we went for more barracks. Okay, that's good as well. I like it. The 3-3 the three, three combo, that's what I like to do with Byzantines. Three barracks, three ranges. Nice. We gotta keep them running, though. You, you need to... I guess, yeah, you must not use a select all hotkey for your production. That's one that you... If you learn select all hotkey for production, you will, you will get to the next level easily. Oh, man, this is so risky going in like that. Oh, nice, though. Oh, but he's in though. Ah. He doesn't have good upgrades on his um on his skirm still. That means that he's probably going for big cavaliers. So yeah. Actually you could actually click up soon, but on 39 bills. Uh, I don't really like this fight though. You don't have enough numbers. It's probably okay though. If you had your pikes in there though. I would suggest another TC, but at this level, it's like it, he's having a hard time with just the one TC, so adding another TC isn't really going to help. Um, what would help would be, oh wow, he's going for Archer, would be actually going up to Imp so that he can make Arbalest, or going Halberd. Actually, Halberdier might even be better, although he's adding ranges, so Arbalest will kill all. Just, just like... Okay, you need a seed shop or a monastery. Yeah, 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 you figured it out. Perfect. Go up to Imp. Get more on gold. We've got gold shop mining. Oh my god, he he has a castle here though. 
Uh, both your golds are there. Ooh, that's a disaster. You have to take your main gold back, I guess. Hmm. Now your opponent's starting to get upgrades, too, so you can't really fight the skirms anymore. That's a checkmate castle. Yeah, exactly. Hey, probably butter. It's been great. Yeah, humans just think completely different than AI. So, let's see. What are the mark? We don't have a market yet. That's probably worth it. Because the thing is, is you see, you see a neutral gold, like, down here. It would be risky, but... Well, you don't really have vills to send. Like, you, you just don't really have enough vill count. So it's kind of hard to justify sending any vills down there. He lost his mark to a magnal early. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, You need upgrades on your pikes. That's what you're really lacking here, is the blacksmith upgrades. Especially armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, Red has just had a bad rally on his vills the entire game. TC on the gold would be good, yeah. Don't have stone. Don't have the gold really to buy a stone. Nice. Yeah, skirmishers, like, people say they counter pikes, but not, not like, hard counter. You can still fight skirms with pikes. Just depends on how you engage. Once you get in close. Oh, they don't really have the numbers here now. I think Red just macroed better, so now he can replace his army. Whereas, we're not able to replace the army. So once once these pikes die, I mean, we have some res. But, not going to be able to replace it for long, especially if he has trebs on the barracks. Two trebs. Oh, man. Is he going to get the MTC? Oh, man. What does it take? Like, four treb shots to kill this? Oh, I think it takes five. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> he will reach him. Yeah, no sweat. Just one more volley and it's dead. <laughs> oh, maybe it takes six hits. That that looks like six, because that was four, right? Either way. We just don't have anything to stop this. The, the units were the right call. The, we have the correct units, but we don't have the economy to make enough of them. So... The reason this is a loss is because of macro. So not keeping the TC running, not getting a second TC ever, which, I mean, try and keep one TC running before you grab more TCs. Um, those are the things that you can work on to really get better at the game. Oh, we got another TC here, though. <laughs> but yeah, at this point, yeah, yeah. Just the pressure on early, early with the scouts. Yeah, that did really throw you off. So... In that situation, then, you want to get the the walls up faster. GG. GG. Walls against scouts just shuts them down. So, if you're, if you're losing vills to scouts, it just means that you haven't walled properly. A lot of the time, anyways. Walling is huge in Arabia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, small walls if you can't do anything. Yeah. Would have got the second and third TC. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had to sell the stone to get up, which was kind of the issue. Alrighty. Let's let's go on to the next one. I think we've uh, we've learned quite a bit from this one. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We will have surely some more lower and higher ELO games. It all depends on the, the average ELO of chat. <laughs> But yeah, see, Blasco went up to 97 vills, so he really won with economy. It wasn't really the units that he was building or the upgrades or anything. It was because he could just spam anything and and continue to spam units that won the game. Uh, in the end, anyways, that was a lot. That was how he secured it. Okay, so let me set up another giveaway here. <laughs> what a stressy game. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um. It's kind of hard with anyone who's unranked, because you don't really know where they will fall. I think that it could have been f a fairly even match. A fairly even match. All right, uh, press one if you want in. And I'll be right back.
Alrighty. Yeah, press press one, Pocky. And you get entered into the draw, and then the system selects randomly. Um, before, I would just get people to post in the Discord, but this way seems a little bit more fair. I, I'm giving subscribers extra, um, extra tickets per, for, for this. They get, like, three times. Uh, oh, yeah, the recording goes in Discord. Yeah. Okay, let's roll it. Shinichiwa! Oh, man, I know you were wanting in. I know you were, you posted in Discord, too, I think, already. There we go. We are... We have the next opponent. Ah, my lasagna is done in the microwave. Lasaga. Okay, uh, where is Chenichiwa? He's not saying anything. There you are. Uh, you got a replay or, or what are we doing? This guy's been in um, one of my other coaching streams, too. <laughs> Possible. Oh, you want to go in the next one? Okay, sure. I can draw someone else first if you've got something to do right now. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Let's. I should be able to just roll it again from the same people. We whoa, we got nine. It's amazing. What is this? There we go. It's not rigged. We had two non-subscribers who had just joined the channel today when previously. So there we go. The big dirty came for the two koe. Stayed for the 2K piano. <laughs> piano. All right, Nimus. Uh, let's get this done. Beautiful. Okay. Single player. Load game. Well, I mean, how many people entered this one? 30 entered, so... You're, you're a sub, though, so... You would have a little bit better chances than 1 in 30, but it's it's still pretty low chances. <laughs> but it's still the fairest way to do it, so... Anyways. Because I just can't go over everyone's replay. Like, there's just too many. I can go over, like, 15 in, eight, in 10 hours or whatever. <laughs> I just... Yeah. Anyways. But there is the 30,000 channel points. Any day of the week... Keep watching the stream, and you can guarantee to get in there at some point. Why don't I speed them up and comment the only important parts? Yeah, 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 I do, I do. The live ones, obviously, I can't, but um, I want to eat some food in the early game here real quick. So, we got... Namets as the Mongols, and we got Santio, Santio as the Incas. Um, hmm, I wonder if Mongols could do some really fast scouts into this. Scouts are usually not really the play against Inca Rush, assuming it's going to be Inca Rush. But, you know, you could just use that hunt to go men at arms, though. Like, actually. Here, let's, let's put it on uh, the slightly faster speed. Okay, nice timing for the boar. Pretty good. Nineteen pop is pretty standard for scouts with Mongols. I like it, but into Incas, I don't know. 
You can make it work, but you can't really fight the Vils even with the scouts. That was close. 17 pop. 17 pop is doable, but... I don't know. Savak. Welcome. Okay. Yeah, so far so good. That mill, I would have considered putting it right up against with just four on it. Because once they get through the first two, then it's like one tile away. Now it's going to be like two tiles away and it's going to be gross. It's probably s still okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. Nice. This is a pretty solid build. So far, it's like perfect actually. So... Even if I did this Dark Age on my level, it would be pretty good. So what we're going to learn is basically wh from what happens here. I hope you get the stable on this side. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's that's far from your opponent. You want to get it here because you want it closer to your opponent. Like, look, look. His berries are here. You want to go here instead of, like, way over here. Um, so that's one thing. Would have probably just, like, taken one off of food to do that. Also, building the stable with only one vill means you're susceptible to the enemy scout coming in and killing your vill. Um, especially if your scout is far away. So you have to be careful. Usually, that's why you'll commonly see people just send two vills. Not only does it make this the stable go up faster, it just makes it so that he can't really harass you to slow it down. Okay. Oh, you're gonna find damage. Here, let's slow it down a bit. Oh, he's not even walled here. You went all the way around. I swear I'm not doing it for the extra ticket. <laughs> oh. Okay. You wanna... You definitely should have tried to get that man. Like, try and get in front of him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Classic. Classic. Well, you only lost one, and you did kill a vill, so it's not the end of the world. All right. Inca vills eat men at arms. No, 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 no. Men at arms will still. Men at arms will still eat the Incas. It's. They're still pretty good. Oh man, he lost, or he didn't find these. That's nice. He has an eagle warrior, and I didn't even find these. Amazing. He must have been pushing deer like crazy. Wait, no, they're all still here. What? Okay, your opponent just didn't scout. Actually, what is your opponent scouting? Oh, yeah, actually, your opponent scouting is not bad. He just missed him. All right. Unfortunate. You're not going to get any more damage done with these scouts. So, I would recommend just scouting and... Making farms, which you have been doing. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice farms. The placements are pretty decent. Not bad. Yeah, I would have maybe maybe these two around the mill, but it's not a big deal. I would have definitely definitely put it here. I know you had a straggler that you don't want to delete, but I mean, the farm efficiency is kind of important. Oh, too bad that that's not walled. I hope that doesn't... Oh! Yo, what's... Okay, you're doing something wrong. You know what you're doing is you're placing the house not holding shift, and then you're placing the palisades holding shift, and then they build the palisade like this, and then you miss the house. That's just like... Oh. Oh. That's kind of bad. That's just the way that you're placing the walls. You need to fix that. It's walled, man. It's walled. <laughs> okay, nice. So far? Uh, cancel that villain go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever. Whatever. It's going to be late, but you're still up faster than your opponent's fine. <gasps> nice kill. You need to fix... Did you... You you deleted that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You realized it. Okay. Okay, you're good. You could have gone up one vill earlier, but it's not a big deal. Your opponent's queuing up wheelbarrow behind this vill, so... You're going to be up so much faster. 
And now the question is, what is what do you do from here? You have 17 farms. You could go for knights. Or you could go for TCs, which would be really good. I would say, like, going for TCs would be pretty solid. Nah, militia. Militia isn't going to do much. Militia are basically like villagers. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you kind of need men at arms, honestly. But it depends on how good the opponent is, really. You'd rather have militia than nothing, though. Like if you ha if you're up late and you have to fight with your militia before men at arms to just to prevent that first tower from going up, it can be good. But usually you want to save up or save for men at arms. Am I saying a drush is just bad? Uh, against Inca rush, I mean maybe a late drush so that you can get up to feudal age faster, like drush archers. But men at arms archers is gonna be good because you you don't really want you can't really do damage with the drush he's gonna be coming forward with vills <laughs> he will just wall you out and then you have military in your opponent's base that can't do anything while he's tower rushing you it's not really great drush and dark age yeah 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 but you well you can go really early drush and maybe do something but he's still gonna go forward and then you like the thing is that drush delays your feudal age time so getting up to feudal age is kind of important because then you can make towers and stuff depends on how you want to play it there are different ways to play it uh okay the archer okay i could see it i, I wouldn't add a second one but this the first one wait why are you going bodkin arrow Ooh, that's a big investment Bodkin arrow, but then you also want to add knights? Okay. You didn't really build up archer numbers, though, so investing, like, into Bodkin arrow for two archers? I don't know about that. I think you're you're not spending properly here. Imagine you spent all of this resource into more knights. Imagine you had two stables, and you just spent all the resources into knights instead of had them stockpiled. You could have ten knights at his base right now. Well, 10 knights kills pikes. <laughs> and until he gets like 20, and then you build like 10 crossbowmen. I do like the crossbowmen addition. But your eco isn't really balanced for that, I would say. Uh, this is live. Or sorry, no, this is a replay. You can see if it's a replay by this stuff being here. Uh, I think you still want to invest into knights. You'd rather have knights... And not doing anything with them than have resources and not doing them with them because at least with knights even if they're sitting around eventually they're gonna be useful I guess I guess it's the same with the res but still you can use the knights now it's gonna be a lot better okay oh he actually got Tex which means he's going for pikes and eagles or whatever yeah eagles yeah and pikes <laughs> Because you know that he has um, upgrades. Yeah, get these knights out of there. Yeah, yeah, Okay, good. Don't throw the knights. But look, like, imagine you have ten knights here. It doesn't even matter if he has a few pikes. Like, how many pikes does he even have? It doesn't even matter if he had ten knights here. And the thing is, is that crossbowman knight? Yeah, in theory, it kills all this. But you have to actually micro the crossbowman against the pikes so that they're not shooting the eagles. It's, it's like, it's kind of micro-intensive, honestly. It's a very strong combo, yeah. It, it's kind of like a no-brain combo. You just send them in, and they do the work. Whereas with knights and crossbow, you actually have to micro and think. Um, but you can go full knights. Like, even against, like, six pikes in there. Five pikes? That three of which are weak. Just ten knights kills this. Which you could have had if you didn't invest into um, crossbowmen, fletching, bodkin arrow. All that could have been into knights. And you're still you're still not using the stable. So I, I think it's just the idea to go crossbowing. Maybe not quite the play this game. Or at least that early, I guess. I like that you're on three TCs though. 
So being on three TCs means you can make these little kind of mistakes, I guess, and then still just get back into it by making bills. Yeah, the TCQ is also... I don't know what you did there, but it was bad. Like, do you use select all? You must, right? You must have accidentally shift queued or something. I don't know. Biggest mistakes... Well, really? Really the biggest mistake was investing all of those early Castle Age um, resources into Crossbowmen. Um, and not having a second stable for knights. Some Scorps. Uh, scorpions are really bad against Eagle Warriors. Because Eagles have high pierce and Scorpions are pierce damage. Uh, what are these farms? You're not Khmer. Are you going to get a mill here or something? What? I'm confused by these farms. I really dislike them. <laughs> they're so far away. I mean, they're in a nice line, but... That doesn't really do anything in AoE. <laughs> like you have a mill that has nothing around it right here. <laughs> yeah, select all is necessary to macro while you're con commanding your units. Like, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, see, look. Like, he, he just kills the crossbowman and then everything dies. You need a big ball of crossbowmen, otherwise they are actually useless. Unless you are a micro god. But... Not very many people are. Okay, so we're, we're floating a ton of gold. It's, you know what? It's because of production. You could have gone full crossbowmen, or you could have gone full knights, but... You only have one of each production facility, and you're not even using either of them. So this is actually the biggest issue. It's not even that you chose to go crossbowman at this point. It's that you aren't really doing anything. Like you're macroing, that's great. You're building vills, which that's like step one, build vills. That's the most important step. But there are other steps beyond that at this level anyways. You have to eventually spend these. Like look, you're set up for crossbowman now. 23 on food, you're gonna float a little bit from just three TC production, but yeah, you have 35 on wood, and you're not using it for anything, right? So you're going to be really floating a lot of wood. I would love to see, like, four archery ranges go down right here. And a university. Castle? Okay, that'll save you. Uh, castle doesn't really com control anything, though. See, if you had an army, you could get a juicy castle right here. Protecting the gold and the stone. But there's no way you can do that when he has eagles running around. And we're still not, like, you see that he's got a big army, and you're still not really cluing into building army of your own. But I guess you're just kind of confused, oh, what do I do against these? The pikes kill the knights, the eagles kill the crossbowmen, there's not really a good answer. That is kind of true. But you can still overpower them, even if they counter you a little bit. You can still overpower them. Like, with knights, knights are great because they have mobility. So... If he has too many pikes in the composition, you just choose not to take the fight. Um, and you just run away. Like, if you go crossbowman, he can take the fight when he has enough eagles. So, it's just kind of better to have knights in this situation. Uh, and then you can pick off individual units here and there. And eventually you can take his army. Or if he overmakes pikes, then he's never up to imp. And then you transition into Mangadai. But looks like you're getting ready to go in. I like that you're 97 vills, though. Like, your macro is... Or your your villager creation, I guess you can say, is much better than your opponent's. So, you've got that fundamental step. Now it's time to work on adding military while adding villagers. <laughs> you're a macro god. <laughs> if you have knights and they go heavy pikes, you just try and raid. Yeah. Yeah, you can try and hit walls. Just don't ever engage the pikes when you're going to lose. Like, you can engage them on a hill. Try and engage them on a hill, maybe. Um, obviously, you're on the top of the hill. Um, and if you're in this situation where you've already teched into crossbowmen, add some crossbowmen, add cab archers. You, yeah, you can go even infantry. Infantry is really good. But you're already spending those same resources on cavalry, so it's kind of like you don't have food and gold for infantry. 
Um, but yeah, let them over make pikes. Pikes are only good against cavalry, so you can easily counter them with like almost anything else that's not cavalry. So you kind of want him to just make a 3 million pikes. And then you just don't fight, fall back, because they don't have mobility, they can't really kill walls, and then build up something that kills them. Yeah, you have sick eco. But you just... <laughs> you're building six Mangadai out of one castle, and that's what's killing you. <laughs> we can see it here in the replay. <laughs> Even full Arb? Yeah. Well, well, not as Mongols, because, uh... And, I mean, well, I guess they're only missing the, ar the armor. It's not too bad. But, actually, yeah. I wouldn't really want to commit to Arbs, though, because it's like... He's going to get the special tech that gives him extra armor. But, you kind of, like, actually, what do Mongols even get? They don't really get, like, they, they could go champions without full upgrades, like, no supplies. Uh, wait, they have the full blacksmith, though. Just no supplies. Eh, it's not that bad. The champions, I guess? Could be good. Champion, he would never expect it, and it would actually be really good. Especially because you're going to be up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, they're fully upgraded other than that new tech that got added in DE. Yeah, 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 that was before they revamped it, because every Civ used to have supplies, and then they changed it. Try to go champs at the end, but too late, yeah. You needed to, to think to go champs right when you clicked up, and then instead of investing all your wood into Mangadai, invest into, like, five barracks, and you can start, like, you could get the upgrades. You have so many resources. You just don't know what to spend it on. Um, the game's not over yet. I, I would say it's still winnable from here. It it's tough because he has no map control and there's eagles around, though. But he has very good scouting. University? Oh, you didn't even have one before. Dang. All right. So yeah, Mangadai, they're only good as like a super late game com combination. And I don't know if you can even get to that. Wait, what's the Elite Mangadai cost? I don't play the Civ. Oh, actually, you can get Elite Mangadai. You actually pretty much have the reds for it. Okay, the problem with going Trebs here is you have nothing to protect the Trebs. And Eagles, with their million pierce armor, they just dive. So the only way to protect your Trebs, you get your Trebs here, you need to wall. Wall the trebs in so the eagles can't get in. And that's how you protect your trebs here. I do like that you're... Well. I mean, you should be making more trebs instead of Mangadai here. Like, I, I would say wait for three trebs. As, I've, as I always say. Three trebs and then go. Yeah, yeah, take out the seed shop while, while you're waiting. Do I know of any top tier players with that bad macro? Uh, well... Yeah, I mean, Huang would be the closest example, but when he actually tries to macro, he's actually good at it. Um, so his strategy involves not making builds. It's not that he's bad at it, it's that that's the strat. So there aren't really... There aren't really any that I would call bad at macro. That I know of, anyways. Oh, sick scorpion bolts there. But yeah, Mangadai, what are they doing? But what are you clicking? Are you trying to, like, kill the siege or something? Mangadai are so potato here. Like, they don't do anything. Especially without Elite. You could have gotten Elite a long time ago. Elite makes them a lot better. Like, what do we get with Elite? I think they... Do they fire faster as well? Like, we get... Two attack! Which is insane for an archer-type unit. And... One melee armor, which can help. But the two attack is so important from Elite Mangadai. Compared with regular. This is a risky battle. <laughs> oh no, it didn't one shot. Oh. Oh. A micro god. Dang. Oh. <laughs> nice. Well, that actually was a very good fight for you. That was a good move. You really need to sell your food. Okay, okay. Or go Hussar. A little late for that, but it's fine. You just don't have production. That's been your issue the entire game was 
not enough production facilities in Castle Age, which meant that he, he just took, like, very good... Well, he just always had more than you, really. That's what it was. Now he's got the unique tech, I think. Yeah, now he has 10 pierce. You do negative one damage now. Like, you, you heal him now. Doesn't even do anything. Um, yeah, you, you still aren't producing anything. He can just send his eels in and kill you because you don't really have anything. This this is the issue. This is definitely number one. Your issue is not getting these production facilities faster. Like, you get them now. You know that you have to do it, but during the game, it's not something that you're really thinking about. And now he's going to have Siege Ram and Eagles and... <laughs> you can't stop that. I, I love... Like, you know what? Champions would have been such a huge play. Huge play. Like, man, imagine if you had... What is that? Nah, that's like... You could have like 40... 40 champions with this resource. And, and what would 40 champions do? That would allow you to kill his castle. You could kill all this. So that's just from not spending. Champ without supplies is just expensive. It's not that bad. Like, they're still very good. It's completely worth it. Good eagle builds. Well, eagles are more... You add it more later, so... Like... You, you don't really follow a build order once you're in Castle Age. Okay. Yeah, Siege Ram. Like, the reason you haven't died yet is because your opponent hasn't attacked you yet. I would love for you to just take this gold. This gold you can't take. Maybe you could sneak this one? I like that you were taking relics, though. Or at least you tried to. It's one of those things where... If more players took relics, they would actually have a better late game. Yeah, uh, Portuguese have supplies. They just don't have squires. That's the only thing they're missing. I I like to go champs with Portuguese because they get them cheaper as well. Cheaper gold by a little bit. I've been playing more Portuguese lately. Yeah, it's just so over now. All right. We'll skip through it. I think we've learned enough from this one. He's killing it with eagles. <laughs> he will eat everything. They have arson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we even going to get to champions? We're going to get to champions? Oh! Let's see the fight. Actually, these things eat eagles, by the way. They eat! You just don't have enough. You weren't patient enough to wait for champions as well. Like... This is one of the most one-sided battles, though, in terms of, like, bonus damage that champions get. Like, but he just has so many. So, so many. GG. Alright, I hope we learned enough from that. Basically, Nymitz, you just gotta get production facilities. More production, and stick to one unit a lot of the time, like... You have to work on... I don't know if it's like this for other games, but... If you had just gone three stables or three ranges, it would have been a lot better than going one of each. But villagers, you're great at queuing up vills. That's not even something you need to work on, really. But... Yeah, making the right units. Knights will just, like, almost always be good. Because... They have mobility. So you can always just run from... Fights that you don't want to take. It is New York Mets. Nimitz is so much easier to say, though. Nimitz. All right. Let's set up another giveaway. Oh, wait. is If Chanichi was here, I'll go over his. Otherwise, I, I've got a... I owe him one. Oh, you're here. Okay, okay. Perfect. Le Do you have a replay... Replay? Or... 
Live. What do you want? Either way works for me. Can you live? Yeah, yeah, sure. You can join the Discord voice chat if you want to. What's your ELO about? Yeah, join the voice. It's better. Okay, whoever is 950-ish, let's go. Whoever wants in to be the opponent, whoever comes first. 950 or, or 1,000 or 900, something around there. Who's this? Oh, yeah, this guy could be good. A little lower. That's fine. All right. He served? Hey, hey, hey I, I hear you. Thanks, Thanks for the coaching session. Yeah, well, you're lucky you got in. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for this. <laughs> Let's just make sure that this guy. Okay, okay, good. Perfect. Uh oh, here we gotta we gotta uh, close these other ones. Otherwise, people will join. Uh what sieve do you want? Uh, I'm thinking of going Chinese. Okay. Yeah. Same. Uh, I'm trying to learn like the early build orders. Yep. Yeah, yeah I like their unique unit, unit too. It's oh, pretty yeah. OP, if you can I get think. to Chukunu, you will win. <laughs> <laughs> you just make yeah. Chukunu. If I survive. Yep. Just don't die to yeah. onagers. Just like build light cap against that, and you're good. All right. All right. Um, which color do you want? Doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go red. Cool. Chinese, Chinese color. color. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so we, we should, should be on the same team, team right? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It will. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just co-op. Okay. okay. Let's go. You can use your mouse wheel to close player slots. Ooh, see, I'm a noob, so I didn't know that. That makes a lot of sense, though. Okay, versus Franks. <laughs> Truly a common pick. Chinese have everything they need to take down Franks. We got camels. Oh, sucks. Sucks to not start with those sheep. I hate yeah. that. <laughs> That's Chinese. There we go. Yeah, so, so I'll try, try to go, go archers. archers. Yeah. You got loom pretty quick. Like, like obviously you want to get it quick, but you don't have to really prioritize it. Like, the, you you should prioritize getting the sheep first. Like, it, it seemed like you you clicked the TC and got loom right away, like you would do for a vill. But you don't actually have to do that for Chinese, because you have oh. you have a little bit of extra time to work with there. So this is one of those things you could have had the sheep in a little bit faster if you'd gone for that right away. And and with Chinese, you actually have to optimize the early stages like that yeah like even stacking this sheep should be done oh house right yeah there we go yeah stacking the sheep just makes the efficiency just so much better um i think it's standard to actually go seven on sheep with chinese just to start but oh, okay. it, like you can still do it with six it's just really annoying <laughs> oh no yeah. So it's just like force dropping. Oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, I hate when they do that. I hate it. Uh, I I think you might not have had them all selected when you stacked the sheep. Like you, you want to select them all, click the middle, and then shift Q all of the bills to the sheep. It's uh yeah you have to do it a specific way. Oh oh we're bringing wood back. Dang, it happens. <laughs> Take the wood all the way back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's just because, just the way, like, it, it just takes a long time to actually build the camp compared to bringing in yeah. 10 wood. Okay. So, so you have a build in mind, right? Uh, like, are you... sort of. Okay, okay. But did you follow a build order at some point just to sort of get used to Chinese? Oh, she's going to take another sheep. Watch this. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, see, look at that. She took oh, another man. sheep. Whatever, you needed to take that one anyways. It's just because your sheep are all like... Actually, no, you're ringing the boar. I don't know. Just get the sheep out of there. Like, they're so in the way. Just, like, move them. <laughs> ah, whatever. We take boar. <laughs> the sheep are just... Oh, damn. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. But, like, it just... Yeah, uh, put them behind your TC or something. Like, that's, that's why you don't have the okay. sheep there. It's just they get in the way. They're so annoying. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna mute the opponent so that I can ping things. Yeah, pro boar lure with a sheep block. That is true. <laughs> and it actually is kind of under the TC, so it's pretty decent. Nice. It's my other boar. Oh, right here. Yeah. So we got forward gold, forward stones. Not the greatest map, but we have backwoods, so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, this boar is going to be late. You need to bring it in now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, since you actually, you know what? Since you had four on wood, you're actually floating a lot of wood. Three on wood would have been better. Anyways, oh, don't forget about the vill. Wait, did you send a weak vill as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At least you have loom. <laughs> At least you got house, so you got loom. Or wait, no, sorry, you're Chinese, so you have loom. <laughs> oh, she's fine. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. See you, Franco. Two farms right now. Yeah, 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 exactly. As Chinese, just get some farms now. Oh, man, oh, yeah? you're still taking sheep. Those three that were taking sheep should have had two farms and then one more just on the board. Because Chinese, they get the extra food in their farms. So getting them in Dark Age, not a big deal. And you're just floating wood, so it's kind of just kind of just bad to float wood. Ooh, nice. Oh, is he going to lose it? He's going to lose it. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. That's really good. Yeah, 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 just just get some farms. Otherwise, you're gonna just be floating so much wood, and you're gonna run out of food under your TC, and then you'll have nothing. Now, drush him. Ah, it's too late for a drush. <laughs> douche him. It's not. We're not Persians. <laughs> no, no, no. Just responding to chat. They've got some interesting ideas sometimes. <laughs> okay. That's like men at arms timing. Getting this barracks. What's the plan? Archers? Uh straight archers. Okay. I think. This this barracks is up way too early then. You should have gotten a second lumber camp oh, yeah? here instead. I mean it's fine, oh. but it, it's just like think of it this way. You don't really the barracks doesn't do anything. It, all it is is a prerequisite for archers, right? So you want to have it come up just before you build the ranges. Cause like now the barracks is just going to be sitting there doing nothing. Whereas you could have used that wood right. to get another lumber camp here. I mean, right. you still can get a lumber camp because you have enough. But um, there are just other things you can use the wood. Oh, you have an idle farm. <laughs> Your farm just has no villager in it. Yeah. Yeah, get a lumber camp. It's it's fine. It's not a big deal, but it's just one of those um, efficiency things where you don't want to spend your resources on things that you don't use like for example later on if you get a university and you don't get ballistics it's like well you could have used that resource or something else it's kind of the same idea um you could wall that would be pretty good <laughs> that'd be a better use of the wood but yeah at, th at this point you just need to save up for the range well actually yeah that wall is good I would probably put the range, like, I'd probably delete three of those somewhere along there and just get the range there. Okay. Like, on the front. And go there with two bills? Uh, that, that's pretty standard. Like, if you're walling, you can have two bills there anyways. But, yeah. Yeah, 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 right there. It's a good spot for it. I would have probably put it as part of the wall, because now it's, like, exposed by for a bunch of melee units, but it's fine, it's fine. It's just, like, okay. later on, if he gets a bunch of knights, he's gonna be able to just destroy that. Yeah. Just the surface area. <laughs> yeah, so, 
far so good. Let's get the archers pumping. So if you're just gonna go one range, you gotta just constantly produce. Okay, you definitely don't need two walling here. Also, that's oh, gonna yeah. be a hole you you didn't place one. If you realize it. Oh wow. Okay, opponent. Opponent has some weird walling going on. Nice. The opponent is not even up yet, so he's gonna be FC actually. You don't want to invest too much into the archers. You need to get farms up right away. He's oh, like yeah. if he goes FC, he's just gonna go knights. So you actually really need to just get farms. Because if he's in Dark Age this long, that means he's gonna have a ton of uh bills. Basically, like his eco is gonna be set up to just go straight to Castle Age. And as Franks, just going like FC, full knights, will just kill you. That's true, yeah. Although he's making some mighty yeah, big last, walls. <laughs> last game I played, um, like ranked 1v1, I lost to a Saracen player. Like I was going to uh, archers, uh, hoping to go into crossbows, and then he built a castle and then built uh, those this unique unit. The Mamluks? Mamluks, yeah, yeah, so tanky. That was a lot of vital time at the TC, by the way. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, Mamelukes get countered by a lot, but still. Yeah, I don't know what the opponent is doing. It's kind of weird. I think you're a little bit higher ranked than him, right? Yeah, I'm like 950-ish. Yeah, yeah. It, it's fine, it's fine. We'll get some good practice in. Um, the gold miners should be split a little bit better. Like, you have four on the same side. It's gonna be super inefficient. Oh yeah, and you, you got guys in position to make farms, but no farms. Yeah, don't even command your military right now. Like, you have to fix this economy. So that you can get up fast. Do we have a blacksmith? That needs to come up, uh, uh, pr probably like one more farm, maybe? 14 farms? Uh, may maybe get the blacksmith now. You could, you could go one more farm, though, first. Either way. It's going to be close. Oh, wait, you already got the blacksmith coming. Yeah. Uh, I would get wheelbarrow after this next fill and then go up. Okay. Because you have enough farms that wheelbarrow is going to be completely worth it. Especially if you just have it on the way up. Like, it's, it's very good. He's going double range. That's weird. That's Frank's. Yeah. I mean, it can work. Frank archers are just as good as yours. Just until the late game. Maybe I should switch into knights. You could. But I, I think you could just stick stick with um, crossbow because you're gonna be able to click up. Like I would get a second range now and start just keeping pumping out. Basically, this is where you your next step is click up, make crossbow. So let's balance the economy around what do I need for crossbow? Okay, well I need more gold. Um, so what you need to do is basically send those the uh, five lumberjacks I would say or or. Um, once you click up, send some farmers. You need, like, five more on gold, though. So, actually, yeah, once you click up here, I would put five farmers on gold. That would be perfect. Because, uh, actually, you do kind of need the lumber, but anyways. There we go. Click up here. And so now you don't really need as much on food. I I'd say just don't reseed. Send, like, five farmers to oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, i know it's a, it's a habit right uh um, yeah send like five farmers to wood and oh you're not building archers you need to be constantly building archers here because the right. idea is to get up and make cro or have crossbowmen so you have to be constantly building um yeah what kind of text do we have we have double bits do we have no horse collar i, I would get horse collar probably although you're not really gonna be reseeding a lot of these should I get gold, gold mining, mining as well? Yeah, gold mining is good though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wait, do you have 15 farmers? Is that do you have fletching? Or 15? Oh. Uh, no fletching yet. Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, you have 12 farmers and three berries. That'll be fine. Joining the voice chat in Discord is a pro way to get horrible echo. Yeah, if you're listening to the stream as well. 
No, no, no. Full crossbowman is the way. Oh, you, the opponent doesn't even have um, fletching. I think he's a bit lower. Like, really a bit lower. So, anyways. Um, it's... You you should be able to play a little riskier than, like, go for a forward siege if you want to practice forward siege. That would be really good here. Yeah, yeah okay. That's a good idea. Okay. One vill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, use the vill that's um, building the range. is fine. Oh no! Well, you want to finish the range, but um. Oh. Oops. Wait, what did we just spend a bunch of wood on? Oh, oh, you uh, placed the. the oh yeah, 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 yeah. I usually place it like once my bill's there, so that I can spend my wood on other things right now. But um, I would get bow saw, crossbowman upgrade, bodkin arrow. <laughs> Well, oh, there man, we go. So much stuff. Uh, <laughs> bow saw. Yeah, yeah. There's like a million things you have to upgrade yeah. at the start. Um, you you haven't been queuing bills as well. <laughs> oh, dang. There's so many things. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you need more on uh more on gold. I would say transfer like six of your farmers on the bottom side to gold right now. Just just like force drop and then and then shift queue them to gold, and that's gonna give you the economy you need. Yeah, mangonel now. And, uh, yeah, more more crossbowmen. Basically, like, man constant mangonel production and then crossbowmen when you can afford them. Like, once you click the mangonel, then crossbowmen and then just make sure that you can have constant mangonels. Um, and you need house builder. So, yeah, that forward build, just house builder. Yeah. There we go. And then you mm -hmm. never get housed. Should I add a stable as well? No, no, no. You don't need it. No? Stable's okay. too big of an investment. It, uh, you need to buy another mangonel now. Like, mangonels are pretty expensive. So I have one mag now. Yep. And um, now... Add one, one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can... Like, if you get up to three mangonels, it's pretty good. Um, And then you want to add TCs, too. That's the thing. Like, okay. you don't want to go TC super, super all in. Because all in is how you throw... Like, look, look, he has knights. So um, what you want to do is you want to bring the crossbowman back to your mangonel. Otherwise, he's going to get picked off. Actually, the fact that your crossbowmen aren't there right now is kind of an issue. They're they're just gonna get picked off, so you have to go back. I know it's so tempting to go for bills. Like you leave like two guys there. He's trying to get a TC. Yeah, I I would probably like leave a couple of guys here, just just like one or two. Oh. You don't even need like yeah. you, you want most of your units with the mangonels, but one or two just completely titanics him. Yeah, I like that you added the TC. We're gonna want to see another TC as well somewhere. Okay. Should I do uh, university? Uh, at this point, could be good. I guess you are on three range. I would say it's good. Pikeman? I don't think you need pikeman. I think uh, monastery is gonna be more effective, actually. Okay. Cause look, look at your res. You only have six on food. So if you're going TCs, you're not gonna have enough res really for pikeman. So you need to actually add. Yeah, if you're going to add the Monastery, add some more farms before you get the third TC. Oh, here he is. You're not quite in the good position. Oh, shoot, shoot. Yeah. If you had your units all together, you could focus down the Knights, but he just picked you off. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, I think you are you were able to make that risky play, because I, I think that you're still fine. Oh, I don't have Thumb Ring yet. Uh, thumb Ring's fine. Thumb Ring's way too expensive. I, like, never get Thumb Ring. Um, at this point, okay. like, I would rather have ballistics. And your gold is, like, crazy because you're not building crossbowmen. <laughs> yeah, 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 more crossbowmen. There we go. Good, good, good. And then we're going to be able to... Oh, monks as well? There we go. Yeah, your house situation is pretty good. We need to keep that second TC running. And also, um... We need some stone, you think, for a castle? Could, could, could be good. Uh, I would say that you you definitely need to get like two more farms. Two more farms and then you're sufficient. And then you don't have to worry about farms until you add another TC, basically. That's the good thing about going archers is you just get enough farms to keep the two TCs running and then you're kind of fine. Yeah, yeah, you can keep up the mangonels now. This is a really good plan because he, he built a TC when you have mangonels like on the front, so. But if you don't have your crossbows to protect the mangonels, it can be a little difficult. Okay, yeah, you see him here, right? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't see 
You don't need very many units to defend. Don't send everything back, but he's he's got a ton. You just need quick walls behind and your reinforcements to defend that. I would say you, you need your main army near this Mangonel, though. And then the, the two monks need to be near that Mangonel, otherwise he's just going to die. Right. And, uh, yeah, you need to get the repairs on the house up here, too. Wait, wait, don't oh, <laughs> don't try and force drop. You need the repairs. <laughs> oh, he didn't come in. Oh shoot! Yeah, actually, there was a yeah, hole. yeah, yeah. Well, he's got he's low HP though. Just send reinforcements to deal with that. <laughs> I like the efficiency uh, of force dropping, but like <laughs> sometimes Dang. it's not the play. <laughs> well, it happens. It happens. We're we're floating a lot of gold now because we're having some production issues. Just spam, spam crossbows again. There we go. And monks. We're losing units on the front, though. Oh, man. We need to... There's just so much going on right now. Yeah, this is very different from how I us uh, usually play. Yeah. I play pretty, like, conservative and just like, do eco first and then... It's good to practice this, though. Like, you have TCs, though. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, just send everything back. Just, just camp the hill, it's fine. Don't even worry about the siege push anymore. Like, you need to transfer everything off of gold, like, right now, uh, just to send to wood and and make a market. Yeah, crossbows need to just be on stand ground, honestly. Oh, he just kind of left. That's funny. Yeah, all, all the gold miners, like, right now just need to go Damn, to no. wood. That's, okay. yeah, pull back army and then do that. And that's, that's like, the most important thing because you just have no wood. Oh, wait. Oh, you made a mangonel. Uh, I don't know about that. I would delete all these fa uh, house foundations on the front, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but a market is necessary. Oh, no. Well, you get a scorpion or something. <laughs> Where's my pikes? Pikes are here. If you go, if you select all military and then... It, you can see that they're white on the minimap. <laughs> he only has one armor upgrade, though, so it's actually fine. All right, all right, pull back the army and just, like, fix your economy. Pull, pull back the army to this hill right here. And, and let's fix the economy while we have a little bit of downtime. So what we need to do is we need a market. We need like 3 million farms, but first we get a market. And so we can check the prices. There we go. Uh, and then I'm next step. Economy. Yeah, next step, all those idle vills, just, just go shift in your idle vill button. Make farms, yeah. all of them. Um, we don't have heavy plow, but it kind of feels bad to not have heavy plow here, but I mean, you need the farms. Also, crossbowmen. We, need, we still need to be spamming crossbowmen, because if we fall too far behind in crossbowmen numbers, the, like, the knights will just clean up. Um, and, and you might as well add monks as well, just because, like, you have the gold, and they're going to be useful anyways. Okay, so here's where you buy 500 food. Just, like, shift-click the buy on food. Because then you can spend it instantly. You can buy... Well, you, you should get a TC. You should get more fills. Even Thumb Ring could be good here. But, okay, he's got a castle here. So now, now you have to change your place where you attack. The, the thing is, you don't have a ballistics yet, either. So right. that's, that's also pretty yeah. high priority. But, yeah, queuing fills. Honestly, at this point, you might as well just go up to Imp. Like, you have all this ball of crossbowmen, you might as well go Imp so you can get Arb. Which, uh... Yeah, once the university is up, you'll be able to... Actually, no, you have the Siege and, and Monastery. You're fine. You can click up. Should I get Thumbring now, or...? I would click up first. Just, like, click up now, and then get Thumbring on the way up. And keep... Keep spamming crossbowmen. You're gonna need some houses as well, pretty soon. And probably, like, two more ranges. 
would be good. Because I, I don't think you can go Chukunu. It's just like, you're too far behind getting a castle. It's just not going to happen. Okay. So, probably, probably Ballistics next. That's going to help, like, right away. Uh, those ranges are a little forward. It's it's fine, but I don't know. It's fine. Okay. You think, like... I, I would have built them just in the base so that all of the reinforcements are kind of safe behind the walls, just in case he takes control of this front area. But, I don't know. It, it might be okay. Not making crossbows again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what kind of... Like, yeah. Okay, we got... We got all the eco techs now. Okay, we're good. We're good. Actually, I would get a handcart now as well. That would be pretty nice. Although you, right. you don't have the wood anymore. Oh, you'll have the wood soon. Oh, you know what you need? You need a lumber camp on this. It's pretty far. Like you'll make the hundred wood back from the lumber camp very, very quickly. Oops. Um, so, I was thinking building like a, a castle on this hill and then try to take down his castle. He's gonna be up like a little bit faster than you. Um, I I don't know about the pikemen here. You need the food to get, um, to get, uh, bracer, arbalist. Like, there's all these things. I would cancel those four vills that are queued behind Imp. Um, because you're basically... You need to get Arb, or sorry, you need Bracer first and Chemistry, like pretty much right away. Like, okay. basically Bracer first. Oh, add, add farms as well. Add, add farms around this TC. That'll help a lot. There you go. And, and continue to queue um, units. Not Pikeman, the crossbowman. Um, so eco upgrades. Two man saw is a bit of a. Uh, it's too in big of an investment. I, I think that it would have been better to get Arb here, but, I mean it'll be fine. You can get Arb in a sec. Just as long as he doesn't engage in the next few seconds, then it's fine. Um, but yeah, you're about to be able to get a castle, so let's get some vills forward for that. I think like a defensive castle or. Yeah, it, you don't really see what he has yet. He's going Cavalier, obviously. I don't think he has enough, though. Oh, man. Unless you throw units. You need to keep your production queues. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad castle. You want it? L look where he's getting a castle. You need to get it, like, on a hill or back. Oh, he's raiding you now. You need to bring everything back to defend the raids. But we need Arbalist, and we need to keep those production queues running. Arbalist... Oh yeah, thumb ring as well. That'll come in in time. It'll be fine. Yeah, just just delete these palisades that are that are here. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. So we're floating still quite a bit of wood. What that can be spent on? Probably more barracks and farms. Like you only have thirteen. Well, you have more farms because you had a bunch idle, but. I would say just just get like a mi mill and three million farms around there. Not even a specific number. Just, just select a wood line and just yeah. send them all back there for more farms. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he doesn't even have cavalier, so like they're they're not as scary, I guess. They still have the same pierce armor, but he's he's gonna be trapped. If you could trap him in here. Nice. Can we get it? Maybe. Nah. He's gonna get out. It's fine. So, we, we don't have any production queues running. At this point, like, just run the vills away, let the units patrol in, and then keep units running. You, you also don't have vills as well. So, 80, 80 vills is on the low side. There we go. But yeah, we need to get that castle up so we can get conscription, especially. So, I, what's, can we control uh, a hill? gold somewhere? How about up here? Uh, okay. On this hill. Because oh, okay. yeah. that's going to control that side. It'll control the gold. He can't really push it down very easily. There we go. 
And since you have monks, if you can spare a little bit of APM, grab the relics. Like, we've got one relic here, and one relic here, and one relic here. Like, these three can easily be taken. This is one of those extra things that you can do. Okay, where are the idols? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, a, yeah, a bunch, bunch of idols. idols. Yeah, oh. just, just like, shift... Shift Idleville and just, yeah, send them somewhere. You have a, a gold miner that's forever idle, it's stuck. Ooh, uh, I don't know why you built farms outside of your walls instead of inside of the walls, but I mean, you did need farms, but it's just uh, kind of there's, won't find yeah, yeah. You could stonewall this. I was thinking this. like, um, building light caps to raid. Yeah, uh, you don't really have the wood though. I don't have you you like what you need to do is you need to just get some trebs and you need to get the halberdier upgrade for sure because right now he's gonna have a big ball of cavaliers and if you can get halbs and arbs you can kill anything like you just don't actually have the eco to throw up stables to actually like raid you need to spend your wood on other things and honestly selling 500 food right now would be great Because then you could afford... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get Halb here. And you need, like, three more barracks. At least. And conscription. Okay, and conscription is coming. But yeah, like, three more barracks for sure. Okay, here he is. Axeman died uh, to um, Arbs. You actually have what you need. Oh, too bad you threw all those, though. Okay, with the three conversions in behind, you take this. If you patrol in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, convert the Cavaliers. Yeah, don't even don't even touch the arbs. Just convert cavaliers. This will be a good fight. Okay, now. Now you want to move back the uh, the dudes though. You, you should have kept them in the in one ball instead of two balls. Like they're a lot better in a single group. It's still not bad, but did we get the halberdier? Oh man, we still only have one barracks. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Um. You definitely didn't want to have them in split formation there. You definitely should have had them just in one ball. Because <laughs> <laughs> they they got a lot of surface area there. The TC died to Trebs, but yeah, we need production. That's really the biggest issue. Like, more barracks. Three more barracks back here would be super good. This is a live game, Oyster, yeah. would have played better on his own. Oh yeah, well we were we were trying something different. It's good to work on different stuff. But I mean that's why the the replay option is open too. There we go. The halves are doing work now. Just need like 3 million of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is possible. You do have yeah. You do have conscription. We both are in shambles. You still have 86 bills though. It's not that bad. Like, a quarter of them are pretty idle right now. Or wood. <laughs> He's throwing quite a few units. These things are pretty tanky against archers. Yeah. Well, he's got the extra HP as well. Yeah, one thing... Like, you don't put your guys into uh, formation. You gotta keep your arbs together and, like, in a ball on stand ground. And they're gonna be a lot more effective. Just reducing the surface area of enemy cavaliers is very important. The halves are coming, but we didn't have um, barracks fast enough. Oh, and now it's housed. Okay, now it's probably over. Yeah, I think it's GG. <laughs> Yeah, we can GG. No army. I think the yeah. biggest issue was production, really. Alright, we'll call it. GG, well played. Cool. Yeah, yeah thanks. thanks. Yeah, um... Thanks yeah, we definitely did something that, as you said, wasn't really what you were used to doing. But that's why it's worth it to, to work on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, if you can just add more production facilities... Um, and also keep those production facilities running, then um, 
then you're going to have a lot more success. That, that's really what mm. it was, was when you were being pressured, you didn't add the production facility fast enough, and then he just kind of had more. So mm -hmm. it just came down to that, really. Yeah. But if you play your standard, like, booming and then adding stuff, it, it can work. It's just... I don't know. It, it's good to work on other things, too. Yeah, this is a new style. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, this is my... I think my first time building, like, forward Siege and then using onagers to, to pressure. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Yeah, yeah um... The main reason why that failed was you didn't have your crossbows in position to actually mm -hmm. kill the knights. Like, if you just yeah. get between the knights and the mangonel, like, with the crossbow, mm -hmm. he has to run into your crossbowman to even get the mangonels. And he just loses yeah. them all. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Alrighty. Cool. Thanks, Thanks sir. Surf. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll see you around. We'll get the next one in here. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ask what he learned. Maybe he'll say in chat. Flying Saucer, hello. You came just in time to possibly get in for another one. Yeah, we should do more recordings. The live ones, they go a little bit longer. And they also are more draining on me as well. Let's do it. Okay, one sec. Uh, okay, press one if you want in now. And I'll be right back. Influence the play. That's the worst part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I just let people play, though, it's like they might not do the, the best strategy at the right time. I don't know. Like, I can point out mistakes, but that's the thing. Like, if I go over replays, then I can point out mistakes that you make. Whereas, if it's live, I'm probably going to be like, okay, this is what I would do in this situation. Like, it, it's gonna, I'm gonna try and talk about strategy a little bit more. Atomic Sausage is here. Yes. <laughs> Re review the game that you just did in live play. I mean, I could. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put on some tea real quick. I need some hydration. roll it combat wombat yeah if you get selected I can do anything all right let's roll it purge fin you have been selected oh boy <laughs> <laughs> well, submit a replay. I don't know. You can donate your uh, your coaching session to someone as well. If you don't want in. Win it for someone else. Let's make it live. All right, let's go. Good, good, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got like a 1450 here this time. That should be good. <laughs> there you go. Ah, uh, yeah, whoever, whoever's like 1450, 1500 ish. Come on in. Oh, Maggie. There we go. We got an opponent already. The opponent's always here faster. Crazy. I 
All right. Okay, if you want to join voice chat, that would be good. If you're up for that, otherwise, listen in. I'm assuming you're in the Discord. Hey. Good evening. Hello. All right. Here, I'll turn you down just a little bit so it's an echo. All right. Um, what sieve do you want? <laughs> what sieve? Um, I'm an archer player. Um, okay. I can pretty much anything. I'd like to learn Tatar. Tatar. Oh, there's a good better, one. But... That's that's a really good one. <laughs> Taking advantage of the timing of free thumb ring is really good. Okay. Like we early cast age, you just own. Um, yeah, my favorite series, series is Mayans, actually. Mm. But, uh, I, I can't beat Mayans. I haven't won against Mayans in the past 10 games. <laughs> they're so good. Okay, well, uh, let's choose a color. What, what's your favorite? Um, let's go red. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Let's go. All right. Mm. 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 Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna try to focus here. I was playing Valheim all the time and watching you coach. Mm. Vietnamese, oh shit. Oh man, what? And this was a 1500? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 1500. It should be pretty even. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I'll trust your judgment on the strategy for the most part. I mean, at this level, you'll know what's good and what's probably potato. My um, problem usually is keeping theses running. Yeah. That like, I've seen you coach Mari as well. Yeah. Mari AOE. And I play with him a lot. He's like more more of an eco player. I'm like more aggressive. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Like it, it's been kind of 50-50 today with some people even at lower ELOs being just really good at macro. And then some people just kind of, they just go full production and don't macro. I don't know. It's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, you really won't find well-rounded players until you get into higher levels, because then you kind of have Indeed. to be good at everything. Yeah, now that I've been drinking, I won't be showing my full potential, but I'll try. <laughs> For the people in the chat, yeah, and myself, of course. I can watch the VOD tomorrow and be like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> 3 a.m. and drunk. Prime time to win some AoE too, says Hoka. <laughs> oh yeah, and I've slept for like four or five hours. I was, I had a work day today. Uh, it's been a rough day. Ah, uh, well, let's unwind with some AoE. <laughs> Indeed. So far, so good. I'm gonna pour my tea while we're in the early game. Yep, sure. Four just stopped for no reason. Mm -hmm. You're so lucky. You didn't even I'm garrison, good. it just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, DE. <laughs> wow, you have such an open front. This map, two stones forward? Oh man, at least you don't need a castle as this sip, really. Mm, I'm usually really bad going on stone as well. Yeah. Like, all right. 
This this gold um, is not too bad. It's pretty easy to wall. Like your your front main gold. Wait, where's your third gold? You know. must have a gold like you actually here. I'll turn off. Uh, uh, you you must have a gold like back here, somewhere. Probably. Yeah. 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 I think so. What am I doing? Hmm. Forgot something. Oh. oh man. Oh, that placement of boar is horrible. Although, I guess you don't have too many bills. You only have eight around it, so it'll be fine. If you ever go up to like 10 bills, you just can't. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. He's got a TC there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost not even worth it, just because that's still like 6 HP. Yeah. And I delayed his house a little bit. Yeah. Actually, delaying that's that house is something. huge because you. You do need that house to get the militia. So, it could be really good. Mm, I misplayed something. Yeah, I didn't have 5 on berries, as I should. <clears throat> 5 on berries? Alright. Man at arms. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I, I just prefer to put more on boar. Okay, a here lot comes of the, time. the crush, I guess. Because you, you could have had better saturation around the boar earlier, which would have given you more food overall. Instead of adding just like so many to berries, but either way. There are many so ways to, to get to the, the uh, men at arms. Okay, okay. <laughs> here come the men at arms. Don't lose this vill. Uh, I need to get some gold. You're gonna lose a bill. <laughs> Fucking sheep. What the hell? Uh, wait, are we clicking up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need loom and click up. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was horrible. Uh, this is gonna be tough because his militia are gonna go over there, right? Oh, no. He went left. Okay. No, oh, no. He didn't. He went right. Oh my god. He was over here. You could still keep two. Just wall them. Ah, whatever. It's too late. <laughs> Micro nerd. Freaking tryhards, man. <laughs> Give me gold, man. <laughs> just, I'm out of gold. Just take your main gold and just wall them in. <laughs> just just send like four now. and Or, oh, well, I guess you don't need that for men at arms, but still. Yeah, just wall them in. It's easy. Oh, your wood cutters are not even doing anything. Thanks, TE. She can't even work because yes. just the way that you palisaded. <laughs> this is not good. This is gonna be tough. This is like how I play my games. Lose two bills early. That's always how <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's possible to come back, but... No, 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 I don't think it's possible. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, paying attention. Uh, don't even fight, don't even, oh man, losing the scout. Yikes. Why is this villager over here? Yeah, the wood chopper can't work because um, it's on a corner. There's a, there's a thing here. You need to wall like this. Anyways, oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Kind of hard to go. Honestly, you kind of have to go to Castle Age. Because Man really? is going to be in. Like, this is Drush FC. Y you kind of can't really invest in a Men at Arms. It's not really going to do anything, right? I'm lit. You just have to go on food and just, like. You could even market abuse up. It wouldn't even matter. You just have to get up. Somehow. Just keep bills. Uh, Maggie is not in Feudal Age yet, so. Okay. Clean up a little bit. Get some wood. I usually do better than this. This is horrible. Like, oh, yeah. This I, is I don't really think bad. anyone usually u loses two bills in Dark Age. <laughs> yeah. Not for, not to a rush. Like, I saw it coming as well. <clears throat> I feel bad. Ah, it's fine.
It's yeah, kind of an FC now. Yeah, yeah. East Rush FC for sure. Basically, like, don't even spend your wood on anything other than your prerequisite buildings. So, like, maybe probably a, a stable, right? Instead of the range here. Okay, yeah. Because, like, you're not going to have that built-up crossbow ball that you really need, or the archer ball. Yeah, and, and, so we're yeah. not going to do farm either. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. you you basically just want to buy yourself up at this point. Okay. Because you, you're actually going to run out of forage because you don't really have uh, deer. You could you could try, actually I would I would take some of that deer out in the middle of the map with those straggler bills, like that that actually could be good. Oh, oh my no. god, that's yeah. that's futile. That's futile. Mm. So no no problem. <laughs> yeah, but it'll it's gonna be castle. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, let's meal as you said. Don't want to idle the TC though. True, that's my problem. <clears throat> okay, so range is coming up. Yeah, this is gonna be going archer. Yeah, exactly. Knights is the play here. Like, you, you don't really want to go up against Vietnamese when they are just gonna go like skirms or archers or whatever. Oh, like I mean, I guess you have the thumb ring but still. I don't have the wood for anything basically. <clears throat> Yeah, and then next 150 is just, yeah. Oh, I guess you don't really need the blacksmith. You just, you should be able to buy up. Honestly, just like sell, sell 100 stone and buy up. It's just gonna be worth it here. Yeah, or or sell and maybe sell the wood. Mm. Force drop mm. the wood and sell it. It's like, okay, what are we gonna do? Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go. I think we need something. Oh, oh, you didn't get the stable yet. Oh no. Yep. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> getting ahead of ourselves oh my here. god well we I need promise. walls that's for sure he, he... okay he's got archer yeah now. yeah hey, you probably didn't really need to mill the the mid deer it's unsafe it's more of like bring one in but it's fine stable it's just all about surviving here until you know what's gonna have to happen? You're gonna need siege because there's no way that knights are gonna do anything. Yeah. But it's fine. It, it's good to have the stable, anyways. How am I gonna wall this shit? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I would say roll, wall to the edge instead of like this. What are you? Why are you okay, walling yeah. like this? <laughs> delete all those. Shift delete. Just, just you can you can shift delete that. Okay, whatever. Or you just go full APM. I got that. <laughs> All right, we oh, need to click wait. up now. Let's uh, stop these bills. Nonsense. Okay, there we go. You need a wall the front too. It's, that's where you're gonna yeah. get hit. Let's build a few houses. I think I'm out of them pretty soon. Oh, the archers are gonna get in. Oh no. Oh, there's always the one hole. Sucks. Shit. That, uh, you need a tower. Like, uh, you need to buy some stone. Get a tower somewhere. Um, probably, hmm, or you could just retreat, like, to the other wood line, like, the second wood line. Still not, depends on where you guys are playing so hard, man. <laughs> yeah. Swallow this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 wall, wall here, like that, to the TC. Okay. Just in case they go up there. Looks like the archers are going He's... down to the gold, though. Yeah, there's no yeah. way you take gold here at all. True. I need to find gold somewhere else. Yeah, Use you're going to need to... Yeah. Sea shop is the only way to defend this. Uh, skirms would be okay, I guess, but... Uh, y you don't really have upgrades and you don't have a range and it's the skirms are a huge investment like actually just siege is way better here you don't have True, the and he has a lot of them skirms. right now yeah shit you can get oh yeah yeah this is kind of risky to send these up here how are you up oh, first shit. Uh, like uh the knight is a mistake cancel the knight you just need to get a siege shop Oh, okay. Well, you could go knights, but... 
Hmm. Uh, I feel like you're just gonna not have enough. Yeah, just go to gold and get a TZ on that gold now while he's up there. I don't have the wood. Um, you can have the wood if you rebalance. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, don't let him in. Don't let him in. Oh, you have these vills. Oh, man. Garrison. Wall behind? Oh, no. That's so disastrous. Shh. Yeah, yeah. You have to wall behind as well, but... Eh. It might be okay. Yeah, nice. Nice. Wall behind? No. Oh, actually, it's fine. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, he's trapped. Sick play. And there's the click up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this. Just keep doing that. <laughs> keep doing that. Keep going with the house walls. Oh. Okay, well, it's fine. All right. My ego is like really shit TDs right now. I wish I had that knight right now. <laughs> true, true. Okay, this guy's gold. You can still make a knight. It wouldn't have done anything yeah, before, like... but yeah. I mean, you shouldn't be losing bills here, but whatever. Y you actually have two TCs, which is okay. Okay, let's do. I, I don't have wood, man. I think I'm dead. No, no, no. I'm dead. It depends on what comes <laughs> after this. Okay, let's use one village just to close that up. Perfect. Okay, what the fuck? Yeah, well this... Why do I have... Nothing got walled. <laughs> this guy is better than I... ...thought he would be. So what's our plan now? Basically just boom. And if we see... Crossbowman? Seed shot. I think that knight needs to scout. That knight needs to scout the front. Like, still in feudal age. Right? So, oh, that's great. Th actually. Like we we are not dead. Just get another okay, TC let's... and just like oh, make shit, those bills back. Okay. We've got access to main gold. Not really the stone. Got a wood line in the back. I, I would have loved to have seen just a better wall though, like a wall here to here. Just just so that this wood line is more um, secure. But I have villagers here. Oh my god. Oh wait, what? <laughs> He can see that. How did that happen? <laughs> oh my god. You, I just... should have made more army though. Well. Yeah. But I, I think you can just get TCs get here. It's fine. Just turn it into a longer game. Right oh now. man, there's an enemy knight, I think. Uh, they're gonna find. That's a fucking wolf. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But I, I. You probably didn't see, but the, there was an enemy something here. Probably just a scout, oh, yeah. actually. I, I don't know. Anyway. Crossbow. Those vills are actually carrying like 70 food. <laughs> it's probably worth it to just like get a. Get like. A, I would get a mining camp on this with all of them. <laughs> just like have some okay, income. Let me think for a minute. I'm gonna get a blacksmith first. Okay. Yeah. Then we go food. Yeah. Constant vill production is the priority overnights, I think, here. Because I think. Like, you lost a lot of bills, but you can catch up since you're up to Castle Age faster. But building knights, you're not going to do anything with unupgraded knights. Realistically, true. anyways. Yeah, yep. true, true. Why did you build farms on the middle of the map? <laughs> Why are you building farms? I want farms food. There? I need food, That's man. so dumb. I'm desperate. <laughs> the, the scout, Shut up. The scout sees it. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even believe it. Oh man, okay, there's the big crossbow ball. Good thing you built four knights. Oh, we're gonna need a sea shop now. <laughs> He's gonna go straight for those uh, those farms in the middle of the map. I guarantee. Leave my farms alone. <laughs> He's going I there. Think he's, he's stream sniping. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Sea shop coming. That's exactly what we need. We need some big bada booms. Okay, Got two two upgrades. Don't lose bills here. You're gonna, ah! you're gonna lose like oh my! I don't know why you didn't lose any bills there. Oh, that's too good. Okay. Nice. 
I still didn't get plus one. Oh my god. Yeah, the knights are useless. Just make some mangonels and boom. You're not even building vills. Sorry. <laughs> this is why you can't just like go knights though, because you, you need to invest into something useful like villagers. Yeah, I need food badly. Because mangonels are great because they don't require too many resources to get and they don't need any upgrades. Farming. Farming under the crossbow. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. I like it. Oh, oh, these Vietnamese extra HP are actually so tanky. We need the repairs. Nope. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, right. they will two shot you <laughs> with these numbers. You have to keep them at max range and just like when you shoot with the mangonel, pull it back right away. So he can't kill you. Yeah. Okay, what's going on over here? <clears throat> I don't like to idle my villager like that, but I guess I have to. Where's my second mangonel? It takes forever. Yeah. Yeah, you can get another mangonel. I would. Like on or or a couple of scorps in there. Would be good. If you're gonna go knights, I think scorpions synergize pretty well. Oh, here we go. Yeah. But you need one mangonel just okay. to be really scary. Come on, not enough range. <laughs> See, you're you're fine. You're on 3TC. It's just like, don't lose vills. The, the one mangonel prevents them from really killing you here with the crossbowman, so you just True. you just invest into eco, and then eventually you add the knights later. Okay. Yeah, you're at the point where you can add knights now. You can just spam knights. Where is she? Oh my god. Oh, he's there. there. What the hell? Yeah, well, no, no, that's a second group of archers. Like, there's another group of crossbowmen in, in the right side somewhere. Yeah. This is Good where luck, it's guys. nice to have a castle. So you can't really cover everything with mangonels. Eco upgrades would be nice. <laughs> In before these die. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh, they're not dead yet. <laughs> Alright, well there goes five farmers that didn't need to die. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> You're still 78 vils. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's pretty bad. Okay, he's coming there this time. Okay, let's see what his, this mangonel can do. Killing the mill. Town watch would be good. Well, we don't got resources for that. We got about a boom. We got a booming coming. Oh, let's see it. Look at this. Never expect this. Oh, uh, why didn't you attack ground? But it's still good. One more. One more. Shoot it. Shoot it. Don't attack! No! What the fuck? Okay, that was a bait. Yeah, you gotta shoot the back ones. One more, one more. Boom! Oh, you could have gotten a, a like even more. <laughs> Die, bitch! <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Sorry for the vulgar language, <laughs> but uh, that felt pretty good. <clears throat> well, that was a pretty good trade. I'm sure glad you made manga now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have another. <laughs> Beware. Boom! Easy. Easy game. Alright, we need more farms. We need to spend that wood. What the fuck is that castle in my face? Come on. Yeah. It's um, gonna be Imperial Age soon. You need to get farms and get up to Imp. And you need a castle. You need to, like, get a castle on some gold. You don't know where your third gold is. Like, where is it? I don't know. Let's you actually have to have gold like here. It has to be here. Or or it could be here. Uh I guess I have to use a knight to scout it out, I guess. Top priority. Oh man, there's some there's another juicy bada boom, maybe, if you pay attention. Oh, you don't even need to pay Ooh. attention here. <laughs> they just auto bada boom. Oh, look at <laughs> auto bada booms. Nice. I'm going in. Okay, you need to not lose these knights. You lose these knights, you lose, so... You need to build up numbers and get up to imp. And spend your wood. Oh, there's the gold. Yeah, it is there. Amazing. 
Like, imagine... You could get a castle. You probably want it defensively, like here. Okay, I'm soon about to get a castle. Yeah. I don't know about trading these knights, though. This is pretty bad. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Holy shit. Like, th those knights... You just really... Need... Okay, you have way too many manuals now. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are they? Okay, here. I mean, I guess you will go on here, obviously, but it's a lot of uh, a lot of mangonels. Okay, 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 okay. Let's build a freaking castle. Yeah, castle. Honestly, you're gonna be up slower. Like here is fine. Trebs are gonna come in, kill your forward TCs. That is way too forward. That's gonna get tread from the hill. Don't build it there. That is okay. that is so bad. Like it, it needs to be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to buy up. Honestly, just buy 300 and just go up. Like, it's... <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> I don't even have a monastery yet. Oh, man. I think I'm dead. No, no, uh, no. You just mass... I felt... Mass knights. I felt dead for, like... Oh. After Dark Age. Here come the crossbows. Luckily, I have the mangonels, right? All right, let's click up. Oh, he's got the arbs. Yeah, he's yeah, you can't fight this anymore. So, but, but you can delay. Um, what you need ah. is you need four more stables in the back of your base. Four stables. Okay. Do we have gold mining upgrade? Okay. Honestly, I would consider gold shaft mining upgrade at this point. Because that's what you're gonna lack. Y you have enough food. Income, anyways. <laughs> the gold shaft mining is actually the play here. Okay. I think we should get university as well. Uh, yeah, it could be okay, but. Siege engineers. Yeah, oh, that's way that's down the best. line. There's no way you get siege engineers anytime soon. Like, you're gonna get onager first. Because onager, onager kills everything that the opponent has. Like, that's... you need to get another siege shop though, because that's gonna take it out. Okay. That's like top priority. That's the next target. Nice. And we just need 800 food for C or Onager. And once Onager's up, the reason the castle you built it back here is so that um, the Trebs have to come out of castle range, so you can just use Onagers to clean up. This is so messy. <laughs> I don't like this at all. What is he dripping? Anyway. Farms. Leave me alone. Oh, can I get in? In his base? Let's see. Okay. Mm. Yeah, instantly you need monitors. Oh, man, like have You have... Yeah, you have knights. Don't lose your mangonels here. Instant the onagers, you say. It's like the most important thing. Okay. Knights will be able to to clean up light cav, no problem. I wonder where the arbs are. The I'm actually so confused where the arbs are. Probably coming back home. This shouldn't be. Oh yeah, they're still there. Shit! It, don't don't it's reseed so these farms. <laughs> Why are you reseeding these farms? <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, do we have auto reseed? Oh no, we don't even have auto reseed on. I guess you just click. Gives the trebs something to shoot at. Don't. Okay, okay. Now, now the trebs are unpacking. Now go with the R or go with the onagers. Onager! Let's see it. <laughs> the, the trebs aren't in position. The trebs can't shoot. Oh, oh, okay, one onager on the trebs? One on, oh no, your your guys are out of position. No, 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 just kill the trebs now. Just kill the trebs. Oh my god, oh, what is this engage? What is this, no, no, oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh. oh your knights my were god. so out of position, the they needed to protect the onagers. Oh no. This is disaster, man. Disaster. It's all about the engagement, that could have gone either way. Ah. 
I'm gonna call it. Yeah, I think <laughs> <laughs> losing those honors is just it's just too much. GG. I was trying to get better boom to the arbor list and kill the Yeah, yeah. Cabin, you you were uh, traps with my nice. I, I would have put one onager killing the trebs and then the, the other three trying to shoot the um, arbs. Then at least you get all, and then you have the knights protecting the onagers, anyways, against light cap. But either way, it's a lot to <laughs> micro. That game was pretty crazy. I, I mean, you lost two vills in Dark Age, so what can you do? It's pretty tricky. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, well, thanks for the. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh, Indeed. <laughs> GG. GG. Alrighty, let's. That was that was a fun game. Let's get another one. <laughs> he should try to attack around instead of right click. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of things that could have been microed better. But he got some pretty big bada booms in the mid game, so it was not bad. Alrighty, press press one when you're ready. And we'll get the next person in here. in there and win thanks for the sub let's roll it sneaky turtle aoe there's another name i've seen lots of recently all right yeah purge you had th all three golds in pretty decent spot. You just didn't know about that one gold that we, we kind of knew that was there, but didn't really have scouted. If you had scouted that earlier, you would have easily been able to take that. Just floating so much wood in the mid game as well was really bad. You need to spend wood on farms earlier. And that's, that's why Imp came in so late. Yeah, horrible early game, but then... Didn't really make up for it in the late game either. Hey, how you did some ranch? Nice. All right, uh, sneaky turtle. What are we doing? We doing a replay or are we doing live? What do you want? If you have a replay. Replay? Alright. You know where to post it. Why don't I play some piano in between? Let's take a, a quick break. Quick five minute break. To rest the eyes.
that's enough PM. Let's get back. back to replay analysis. My fingers feel like so slow right now. They're not warmed up. Don't get warmed up like when I'm actually playing. Uh, there it is. Okay, uh, what is the elo about? I'm sure it says in chat somewhere. Can't see it though. 1070, alrighty. So, we've got Mayars versus, what is that one again? That's a pretty common one. I should recognize that by now. Uh, the enemies. Ah, <laughs> what we had in the last game. All right. So Magyars versus Vietnamese. It's going to be kind of like what we want to do last game with the Knights. Hopefully. I mean, this is a replay, so. <laughs> you don't really want to go Archers. Because Magyars, remember, the Magyars have options. They've got Arbalist with Thumbring. And we've got all the upgrades. They've got full Blacksmith for Cavalry. And Paladin. Like, they, the, this Civ has fully upgraded Arbs, fully upgraded Paladin. Um, They got good champions. They don't have the final armor upgrade on them. No Squires, but, I mean, you can go them in certain situations. Like against eagles, but yeah. How do Britons not have thumb rank? Well, they have extra range, so it's uh, <laughs> kind of they would be broken if they had thumb ring. It would actually just be disgusting. They already are kind of uh, on uh, their borderline. Okay, so for some reason, you have way like you have two more bills than your opponent, so that's a good start. He has Loom already. Oh, man. He forgot his house or something. Oh, oh, it's like he wanted to get his first houses as part of his walls. But the reason you don't do that is because you need your first houses up quickly. Or at least you need one of them up quickly. Anyways. Yeah, well, players are just, like, inconsistently good at different things. Different players are going to be good at different things. Like, I've seen replays today of people with very, very good macro at 1k rating. But then I've seen people with just horrible macro at this rating, so... It's kind of a mixed bag. So far, so good. 21 pop. Going up. Nice. Nice. Four on berries, that's good. Two lumber camps. You're, you're setting yourself up really well here. So far, so good. You even ha know where he is. <laughs> he didn't try and snipe. You don't want to lose too much HP on your scout here, because like you're going to have the extra forging in the next age, so you're going to be able to actually do a lot with even just your starting scout. But yeah. We're going to have the stable coming up very shortly. There we go. Beautiful. These two golds, if you get a castle here, just secures. It's not too bad. Because you have back gold to start, and then later on, you have this stone. I'm just imagining getting a castle here, because it's kind of in a good spot, too. In terms of pushing the opponent. No wall. Ah, well. Yeah, walls could have come up earlier, but it's not a big deal here. For whatever reason, Mothy doesn't seem to have anything, really. Just a scout. Vil wins here. Vil beats this. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Sick play! Sick play! Waited for the upgrade. The, the big debate. You couldn't react. Nice. That was actually big brain. Basically, the villager didn't auto-target the scout because they fixed that in Feudal Age. 
Okay. Whoa, the overinvestment of spears. So basically, like, you see a bunch of spears running around. Y you decide, okay, do I really want to actually add more scouts into this? Or maybe I just let my opponent have all these spears doing nothing and try and go up to Castle Age. That is also a plan. Okay, here, let's put it on Fog of War again. What are these walls? They're just like... This is kind of what Nymus was doing earlier. Just really not not quite right. It's like you build them and then you send them to this tile and then they go this way. And then this never gets done. You always want them to build right from the corner because then they'll do it in a line. Otherwise, kind of dumb. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, the best thing to do is just to go up, which is exactly what you're doing. You're not adding more scouts. The builder was killed. Yeah, well, the builder was killed. Wait, did you lose another builder? I know this builder was killed. Why are you eight bills up? Like, what is this? Okay, I think your opponent is lower level. See ya, Ace. Uh, what kind of upgrades are we looking at? Both of them. Nice. Solid. I would have loved to have seen Wheelbarrow before clicking up, but it's too late now. Oh, wait. No, you're going to get it. Okay. Yeah, I guess you don't have the gold. Uh, in this situation, eh, it'll be okay. I think it's like one bill late. I, I think you should have gotten Wheelbarrow one bill earlier. It would have lined up a lot better. You're going to have extra food and gold. Should he upgrade the scouts now if he's not fighting? No. No, scouts should have no upgrades. They have no upgrades, right? Yeah, no upgrades. Um, Magyars get free forging, so. Um, all that resources should be going into Castle Age. Now he can start. So so basically what happens, so you click, you click the Castle Age with your 800, 200. Instantly, you need to know what you're going to be doing when you get there and balance your economy at this stage in the game. So it's like, okay, I'm going up. What's the plan? Am I going to go two stable knights? Am I going to try and get TCs? Am I going to do some weird crossbowman switch? How about forward siege and monk? All of this is going to require a slightly different eco setup. So if we're going to go for two stables, knights, basically just keep what how it is. This is basically set up for two stable knights. We got like eight on gold, maybe even like two more on gold, probably fine. We don't really need any wood for two stable knights other than getting the actual stable and then some for houses. And if we didn't have horse collar, we would have needed some for um, farms, but you don't need to reseed in early castle age if you get horse collar right away, which is what happens. So look, we, we have tons of food in these farms. Um, so I'm assuming the plan is gonna be knights here, just from the way it's set up. Wheelbarrow suggests making a food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually just like to get it once I have a bunch of farms too, but yeah. Shouldn't he get TC in early castle? Not necessarily right away. He can open with two stables and even a forward siege and then add the the TC in after. Just just kind of... Because he's going up at a, a pretty quick time, which means that there's no eco for military and economy here. Here, let's, let's keep it going. Um, but yeah, the point is, once you invest into castle age, then you invest into what you're going to do in early castle age. So at the moment... If the plan is to go knights, time to get upgrades for knights. Um, especially bloodlines because... Oh, well, pick that farm off, man. What are you doing? Pick that off. Whatever. Um, getting bloodlines is good because it requires stable time, which you want to be using for knights once you get up to Castle Age. So you want to get bloodlines on the way up. Also, getting gold mining upgrade right after you click up to Castle Age is really good. I don't, I don't think we have it. No. So yeah, gold mining upgrade. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Gold mining upgrade, bloodlines. That's exactly what I said. Look, this guy knows how to play. He 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 knows. This is <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> and the second stable. Look at this. Look at this. This is not live. This is from a replay. <laughs> the prediction. The big brains. Big brains from Sneaky Turtle. 
Like, I mean, I, I just said exactly what was good, and then he just did it. So, that's really good. The good part about going knights off of this is that you don't have to rebalance, like, the farmers as well. Like, if you wanted to go for TCs, he wouldn't want to have um, this many farmers on the way up. Because, look, once, once we're up to Castle Age, watch this. Okay, so we're up to Castle Age. And, okay, well, I paused it too late. But, anyways, we had, like, 700 food and enough for, like, one TC. So, imagine you want to go three TCs, but you keep all of your farmers on farms. You're only going to be able to make one TC, and then you're going to have just way too much food floated. So that's why it's always good to transfer a few villagers off of farms to wood if you want to add th those three TCs. You just never want to have like 18 farmers on the way up to Castle Age if you're just going TCs. This is the right number of farms to have when you're already on three TCs. But yeah, he can support two stables, one TC prob uh, or one TC no problem here. I do like the second TC here. Because the food income is there. Um... Gonna be able to afford quite a few knights. I, I would have liked to have seen a few more on gold. And also better gold taking. Like, I, I would have split them a little bit better. There's a lot more bumping when you're just taking from two piles. Anyways. Fast imp would be wrong if you... Yeah, yeah, you don't really get anything from imp. You'd rather spend 1,000 food, 800 gold into knights than trying to just go fast imp into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> husbandry would be useless yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah husbandry maybe coming in a little quick although no i like it i like it he's got five now he can run around and mothy's not even up yet so honestly like going for forward siege this game would have been really good as well if your opponent's not up and you're up start making that siege you're always going to be ahead in the siege count and you just take out stuff. Okay, well, you see two two barracks. He's going to be going for pi pikemen. So you have to have something against pikemen. I mean, knights actually work. This is what I was telling the other lower level players today. What to do. It is, like, a lot of people were trying to invest into crossbowmen and knights or, like, multiple things. Whereas Sneaky Turtle here is just going full knights. And this is the way to play it. Although, I mean, don't lose knights, but you see the cro or you see the pikes, and now it's like, okay, well, knights aren't going to do anything, but he just invested into like 20 pikes. Let's just get a quick counter. Um, is it going to be, yeah, scorpions could be good here. Yeah. Go was going in a mistake? Uh, yeah, yeah, kind of. A little bit. Not a big mistake, he only lost one unit, but, I mean... Once you see a million pikes, just don't even go in. Because he could have, like, he could have just walled you in and lost everything. Wait, do you throw these? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, just don't even fight. Just don't. Just run away. You're on multiple TCs. You're on three TCs. So, worst case scenario, you're, you're just a little bit ahead in eco if you just invest everything to eco here. Well, the worst thing you can do is throw this army for no reason. There's no way of losing it. Yeah, you're set up so hard. You just need something to deal with pikes. Scorpions this game would have been really good. Uh, you could add in crossbows, but they're, they're, like, you don't even have a range. They're kind of expensive to get all the eco, or sorry, the techs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for crossbow in here. Like, I, I would love to see just scorps. Um, forward Siege this game would have been so good. The great thing about Forward Siege when you're going Knights is that if you see Pikes, you can just add Scorps. And, or, or just Mangonels with good Micro is also good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poking the walls is good. Oh. Big house. It happens. Okay, Stone, yeah. It's not bad. Not a bad timing to take Stone. You're not really using your wood for a ton at this point anyways. So, it's fine. Uh, I mean, you should get more farms, though. I would say these 12. Make another mill. Make a bunch of farms. Okay, not so bad so far. 
Is Militia line good here? Uh, I wouldn't go Militia's here. It, it, it's good if you have a Civ that has good bonuses for them, but Magyars, they have worse than average. Well, they don't have fully upgraded champions. They are missing Squires. And also the final armor upgrade. So, at this point, you want to be planning for what you're going to do in Imp. Or at least you want to be making the unit. Because because basically, we're, we're already boomed up. We're reaching max boom. So, it, it's actually time to start getting ready for Imperial Age. Because there's not going to be any aggression. Well, there shouldn't be too much aggression here in Castle Age. Oh, man, what is this? Get it, get everything. Oh, This is what Pikes love, is just single units to kill at, at a time. Yikes. Oh, why? Just commit to the fight. Ah, oh, don't like half. Oh. No, that Mangonel wasn't doing nothing. He was tickling your TC, and now you throw all your knights to try and kill it. <laughs> Yikes. That's such a, that's like the worst thing you could have done. Uh, okay. Okay. Learning experience. Your, like, your TC was not in, da in danger of dying there. <laughs> um, just relocate the bills down here or something for a sec. Don't throw your entire army to try and kill one Mangonel. He's just going to have another Mangonel. You're going to need another army. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you actually were taking an okay fight over here until you decided to disengage, and then you got a bunch of free hits. When you're fighting pikes with knights, you just have to you just have to trust. You just have to go in, trust in your unit's ability to win the fight, and maybe pull back weak ones. But don't disengage with the whole army. Like, unless you just accidentally engage. I don't know. All the pens, though. Another cup of tea. There we go. TC. All right. Keeps it protected. That's okay. You're so ahead in Bill's skirms. Ah, I like crossbowmen. Just switch to crossbow. Don't even add... Like, add knights when your opponent adds something to kill your crossbowmen. Just, just like, stop adding knights so you have gold for crossbowmen. That's, that's what I would do here. You also need to take control. Like, this is what I'm saying. You need a castle here. Raiding time? Yeah, yeah. Um, if there's extra APM, go here. Maybe, maybe go here. Uh, this is probably overchopped. Go back here. Okay, I bet it's overchopped. It's over, Chop. Get in there. Dance song! Two months. Keep up the awesome content. Always a great learning experience for me to catch a stream or YouTube video from you. Thanks for the kind words and the sub. Uh, ooh, fighting pikes uphill. No, 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 no. Don't even fight it. Just run. You have mobility. There's no reason. What is the Mangonel gonna do? He's gonna break in. His pikes are gonna go in. The pikes are gonna die to the TC. <laughs> There's no, like it doesn't matter if he gets in with pikemen, they don't do anything. Unless you throw your knights into them. <laughs> Literally the one thing the pikes are here to do is to kill knights. And you're throwing knights into the pikes. So it's like, <laughs> more is coming. <laughs> well, I'm sure you learned a lot from this though. Well, we're learning more, but uh, yeah, yeah. Like just, just, Picture this, like, what happens when he comes in? He brings his mangonel here? Okay, well, he ranges some farms or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, you'll be able to clean that up easily if he's in here. But if he's on a hill outside your base, it's just disaster. Okay. Now's the time where, okay, we've thrown the army. We don't know what to do. Just, like, look at your eco. Yeah, 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 exactly. Look at the eco. Well, you, you built the market. Just sell a thousand of that. Get up to imp. So important. And just go arb. If you're a civ that has arb, just go up to... If you don't know what to do, just go imp, go arb. And you'll be in a pretty good position a lot of the time. Plus, you were just going knights, so going arb will throw them off. Yeah, um, the... Overall macro from Sneaky Turtle has been really good this game. Su like superb. This is like 1050 Elo, right? Like this is this is like 1800 Elo macro. The the unit control and decision making maybe not, but 
Like, your macro is great. You need a castle here. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Why didn't you think of crossbow? Yeah, well, Magyar's is... Is it the only Civ to get fully upgraded Paladins and Arbalist? Something like that. They're fully upgraded. Like, there's actually nothing wrong with them. Yeah, you can go Cav Archers as well. Because they get the unique tech recurve bow with the extra range and attack. Yeah, honestly, Cav Archers would have been probably more standard at this point. You just run around. Like, your opponent is so boxed in. He he really has nothing. If your gold unit is fully countered, you should switch to another gold unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually a good... That's, that's generally going to be good. I mean, don't switch to monks here, but... Yeah. How does this coaching thing work? Uh, I think it is explained all in the... The command coaching. Uh, but yeah, basically... I choose, or I get the system to choose at random from a bunch of people. And yeah. It can either be live or from replays. It just depends on whoever gets selected, whatever they want. So replays are usually, I feel like you can probably get more from replays. Like I feel like the actual live stuff is better maybe for higher level players where I can point out little things at certain points. Whereas the replay is going to be fine for most people. How many more games? Uh, we'll probably go like 10 hours. Probably like 3 more hours, I would say. I have food. I have food lined up. I made a bunch of like different meals. <laughs> I just have like... Uh, I have like some sausages and some bread and croissant. How high? Yeah, yeah, like 1600 plus. Maybe even... Yeah, yeah, 1600 plus probably. I would say. It it's kind of hard to say. But, yeah. That's usually where it's uh, it's not as easy to find the little things. It's it's usually like one little thing at, at certain point in the in the game that goes wrong. Okay, so yeah, imps coming. Oh man, yeah. Oh no, you love to attack uphill against. Helps like what? You you just like decide to go to the bottom of the hill and then attack. <laughs> uh, what I learned at Viper Coast for you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> if I could think of that, then I would think of that on my own. It's just the engagements are just so bad, and I mean it's hard to engage against Halves with knights, but yeah, you just need something. And these units are fine, but like just stop making knights, man. Stop making knights, man. Patrolled into the vills. Ah, yeah, patrol just sometimes doesn't really work properly. He doesn't even have fletching. That's why you're not getting hit here. You're at eight range. Because <laughs> he killed these two. Oh, oh. Wait, what? Like, what are you doing? Why? Okay, okay. Okay, we need houses. You're, you're gonna be maxed. Your eco is actually good. You can kind of afford to just throw units. But you definitely need something in Imp. Don't fight before Imp upgrades. That's like the, the rule of going up to Imp is don't fight before you have Imp upgrades. You just invested everything into technology. And that technology doesn't do anything if all your units are dead. Just give up the castle. Just Oh no. Just give up the castle, man. It's not going to work, man. <laughs> It's not going to work, man. Ah! <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, we know not to do that anymore. <laughs> just just give it up. It, this castle doesn't even matter. This is the castle that matters. This castle does nothing. It's just like, it's the front. It's whatever. Let him down here. This is why in the game with Purgefin, I told him to get the castle further back. Because if your opponent gets a castle in the middle hill... You want to have a castle in a position where he has to get out of range of his castle to attack it. So he has to go down here, and then you can pick him off. Anything within this radius of, uh, like, his castle, it, just give it up. If you're not up to him, just give it up. It's all dead. If, if there's stables, rebuilt behind. If there's a castle, well, you can repair a little bit, but... Anyways. You can't 
overcommit like that. We're 160 bills. Oh man, you're addicted to macroing. Addicted to villagers. You don't have Flemish Revolution, so it's kind of kind of a little too much. I think we got a lot of eco happening here. Wait, I have Fog of War on, and you have the whole map explored. That must have been an auto scout. What? Amazing scouting. Player with more villagers wins, right? Yeah, to some extent. Not when you go to 161. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it happens to me too. At some point, you just gotta, yeah, just throw vills. Actually, you know what? These vills to tank the halves while the knights come in and kill the trebs. That is actually, like, good. Oh, sick castle. Yeah, yeah, kill the trebs. They're distracted by the vills. He's got them on defensive stance, though. Yeah, whoever <laughs> whoever trebs first, yeah. That's usually how it is at high level too. If you can get trebs out. Oh what a, oh my god, what are they doing? Oh just like this castle, you're queuing everything into his castle, which is kind of kinda of yikes. Big Burgundians in revolt. Well, yeah, in this situation. He cancel. I think the cav upgrade got killed or something. It could have gotten killed in one of the stables. I don't know. I don't know. But these queues are gross. We need more. We need conscription. I doubt you have conscription. No conscription. Um, yeah. So conscription is 33% faster. So basically, like five stables becomes like seven stables, seven eight stables. So it's pretty good. Mine stop working. Yeah, yeah. Well, you get into those long games and it's like you're just kind of going through the motions. At some point, you needed to collect the relics. You had such good scouting, but you still didn't actually like use that scouting for anything. Which one first? Conscription or trap? That, that is like the epitome of it depends. <laughs> if you need trebs to actually take out a castle, then trebs. Yeah, otherwise, conscription shenanigans would be better. Ooh, that was a nice double kill. The mass house threw you off. Yeah. Yeah, the obvious answer this game was either crossbowmen or cap archers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The critical point was when you scouted that he had two barracks. You didn't even need to see the pikes. You can kind of just assume. Like, that's the only thing he's going to have two barracks for. So... Like, you can just prepare a counter before before he knows that you know that he's going pikes. And then he, he shows up with 40 pikes instead of the 20 pikes. And you have a counter. I mean, you're still kind of fine. You GG, but you're, you're actually fine still. I think you still win this game if you cancel all these and just make arbs. Because your eco is so far ahead. But you lost this. The Cavaliers were enough to stop raids. Yeah, looking at it from here, like you're still 50 pop up. Why were skirms bad versus pikes? They don't do enough damage. They fire too slowly. Like they're fine against pikes, but not in small numbers like this. Blue's eco was just here. Let's see his resources. Yeah, he was spending, but he he didn't have as many vills the entire game. Better to make Magyar hussars. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. Magyar, Hussar, and Arb, or Cav Archer. Probably Cav Archer, they just synergize really well. But if you can get to Magyar, Hussar, Cav Archer with Magyars, that's that's like the actual unbeatable composition. Beats Mangadai, Hussar, from Ma uh, Mongols. You can outmaneuver Halb Siege on an open map like this, where you can just run around. So... We had potential with the Civ. We got to late game, but didn't quite utilize it. Unless you can't micro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to be able to micro. I think Magyar is a good Civ for low elo. Uh, if you open scouts, they can be good. They don't really have an eco bonus, though. So you have to play solid. Sneaky Turtle played solid. Just didn't create the right units. Like, like was just too... Too set on the concept of just spamming knights. 
and then just and too much on the concept of just going like one gold unit sometimes you have to just go two gold units or transition out of one gold unit into another gold unit anyways like look at this eco so far ahead you you would see this and you'd think that sneaky turtle won so far ahead started to even get relics in the end like look at this timeline it's like how can blue win <laughs> anyways gg yeah you you will improve a lot like you're not even close to where your potential is better player lost due to a few bad decisions yeah yeah, yeah exactly uh okay here let me set up the next giveaway because i have to set it up each time not a big deal all right press one in chat if you want in Alrighty, it's like we're on in there. Let's, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I misclick on the microwave and I have to enter it in again. Uh, yes, conscription it increases. Oh, uh, wait. No, it just increases units. Casba increases everything in the castle. That's what I was thinking, but yeah. Conscription is just units. What should we do when the opponent spams camel against knights? You can go for pikemen or monks. Those are sort of the two good options. Or you can go crossbowmen. That's another one. Because camels have low pierce armor. So they're at, like crossbowmen are actually pretty good. But it depends on your sieve. It depends on what the opponent's sieve can do as well. Conscription does research. Wait, does it, does it increase research or decrease research as well? I thought it was just units. Here, let's check the check tree real quick. I, I guess it doesn't say, right? Yeah, no, it says units. Units at barracks, archery range, stable, and castle are produced 30%, 33% faster. It's units. I don't know. Pretty sure it's units only, but I mean, I could be wrong. All right, let's roll it. Flying Saucer is the winner. We're getting all these, these subs in here now. Now it's rigged. It says the in-game description is wrong. Okay. That could be tested pretty easily. Where is Flying Saucer? Flying Saucer! Where are you? Hey! Alright, what are we doing? It's not rigged. <laughs> yeah, not rigged because you won. <laughs> uh, are we doing a replay or what do you want? Got a replay for me?
Live game? Alrighty. I'll set it up. Let's go. Uh, that's not the one. These are so slow. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. 1430 should be good. Good elo, though. Maybe I'll put a, a like a minimum elo for live for next time. Because yeah, like lower level players, it's it's usually pretty easy to point out mistakes from like any replay. Um, but yeah, fourteen hundred is fine. Fourteen, like trust me, fourteen hundred will be like, oh yeah, this guy knows what he's doing, but he makes a few potato decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to put in a restriction. It was just a, it was just a, uh, an idea. I'm not saying I'm going to. Just an idea, throwing it out there. All right, uh, yeah, whoever's like 1300, 1400, come on down. I'll post this in the Twitch chat. Makes it a little easier. All right, I need to eat. We got someone. Anyone can join. Who is 1300, 1400, 1450? Around there. Hey, Papa Smurf. We're doing coaching. We're doing a live game now. So basically, I go co op with Flying Saucer against someone. Whoever's around this elo. Let's go. It was easy to find opponents earlier. <laughs> Should give your spot. You want to donate it? Most are 1200 average. <laughs> oh, who's Fire Lord? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a little one sided, but it could be okay. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yes. Oh, he left! Flying saucer! Alright, I guess flying saucer's out. Uh, uh, I guess I'll re roll someone. Alright, flying saucer, I'll give you a, a replay next time for free. How about that? On a, uh, what is it? On a regular stream. All right, let's roll again. Tugga, tugga, tugga. He's been around recently a lot. Oh, whoa, that guy was high level. <laughs> let's go. You got a replay for me or you want to get in here? I can't really change the name, but whatever. I'm good for either. Let's do live. All right. Just join in. Join in this flying saucer game. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's your elo, by the way? We might need a different opponent if you're a different elo. Oh no, this will be good. Twelve fifty. That's perfect. Nice. All right. Uh, hey, Greed. <laughs> Greed might be the highest player in chat right now. 
highest ranked out of all of us. Yeah, yeah, this is even match now. Um, tugga, tugga, tugga. If you want to join Discord, you can. Otherwise, you can keep the stream open. Whatever you want to do. Grab another bite of food while we're waiting. All right, what civil are we going? Just do a T90 and let us low ELO legend slog it out. We had a few lower ELO, kind of. Not nothing like 500 though. I think we had a we had a 800 though. Random, whatever you want. <laughs> we can go random. Alrighty. Let's go. Maybe. Cast a viewer team game. Yeah, I don't know anything about team games, so. It would be. It would be a little bit hectic. I guess I could find a lot of different ideas, though. Could probably find little issues with everyone's play. <laughs> okay. Let's see it. Oh, I want to drink some tea. So 1250-ish ELO for both players. We've got Indians versus Malians. This should be interesting, I suppose. We, we're both camel sieves. So, Indian camels are kind of garbage though. Like, I don't know, they, they, they're good, but the fact that they don't have knights, like, uh, I don't know. They just feel like bad because they don't really get anything. They get like one pierce armor, but that doesn't matter against Malians. Yeah. Like, what do we even do? We've got... We've got champion... Oh, but we we lacking the final armor upgrade, so... Hmm, that's kind of bad. We don't have ARB, so it's not like we can really go fast in. Like, could try and get hand cannons fairly quick. Yeah, cab archers actually might be the play. Like, actually. If we see the longswords... Probably camels, if we see... Enemy camels. Hassar, Hankon, and Bob Bomber Cannon. Yeah, eventually. Eventually, that's good. But the opening. It's going to come down to scouting. We need to see if the opponent is going stable. We need to go camel. If the opponent is going for like anything else. Archers to cab archers. Yeah, exactly. That might be the best thing to do here. Because at least we can go crossbowmen, like fully upgraded crossbowmen in Castle Age. And then transition out later. So we can open archers, build up a ball of archers. And then do sort of one attack with crossbowmen. And then add cav archers in later. Possibly. That's the idea. Imp camel pretty beast. They're, they're good, but like, I don't know. I, I think I would rather have Farimba Heavy Camels. I'm pretty sure that Farimba Heavy Camels win. Like, I'm pretty sure they do. I, I could be wrong, but I feel like they do. Someone in the chat probably knows. No? Wait, do maybe, do Indian Camels get like a, an extra attack bonus over? Heavy camel? Because that would make sense then. Farimba calf is okay. For, farimba camels kill all. They don't have the final attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we do for Indians, so... Okay, okay, that makes sense. 
Like, lacking plate barding armor is so weird. Like, why do we have m minus one melee armor? <laughs> and the Imperial Camels don't even have any base melee armor. They just have less melee armor than heavy camels. Of, like, every other Civ. I don't know, man. Kind of weird, man. To nerf them against Paladins in, in team games. Yeah. I guess. Well. <laughs> at least the board didn't go back. Yeah, so far so good. The build hasn't been too bad. Yeah. Yeah, everything's working fine here. The HP makes the difference. Yeah, you, you get another 20 HP. And two more attack or something? Bill lived. Exactly. You don't actually need the second one underneath the TC. Because you're not really force dropping at all. So, it's actually fine if it's here. Although, you do need to force drop to go up. So, But it's only one time. Not a big deal. How dare a unique unit to Indians actually counters. Yeah, yeah. Indians just feel kind of bad. I don't know. I think I think our plan is good though. Archers into cav archers. But then if we see knights, then we probably want to go out of stable for some camels. This game is probably going to have to go into the late game though. To actually like I don't think I don't think we can really push hard in castle age with anything. It, unless the crossbowmen do just crazy amounts of damage. Okay. Barracks is a little early, but I mean, there's not a lot you can really do with your wood at this point. So, it's fine. It's just that it just means that this fill is going to be hanging around. Doing nothing. For a little while. Elephant archers. I got killed by elephant archers the other day. Skill yourself made 3 million elephant archers. And I died. I was Britons. And my guys did nothing. It's the ultimate counter. <laughs> no, no, this bill is weak. Just bring her back. You shouldn't be walling with a weak bill anyways. Skill yourself is a legend. He, he always beats me. Like, I don't know why he's 1800. He always wins. Except for very... Except for once or twice. Elephant archers are situationally very good. But they're usually very bad. It's easier to mass numbers of imp camels with cheaper vills and HP helps against archers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they have the extra pierce armor from their civ bonus. Although, that doesn't really matter because they lack the final armor, but still. Levanto archers demolish Britons. Yeah. I feel like Britons has to go mass halberdier. Just, just like 80 halberdiers and just send them in. That's the only way. Maybe a few monks in behind. He he should kill your archer. This uh, this archer out here needs to fall back because he can kill it with that one scout. You have to be careful. Let's keep the archery range pumping. There we go. And blacksmith as well, somewhere. Yeah, get that spear on the field. Nice. Oh, we got a hit. That's sick. Nice. Walls are coming up a bit late, but it's not a it's not too bad. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I like eh, six six on gold is maybe yeah, yeah. We just need five on gold. Five on gold is gonna be the right number. You should keep archers in the range until you move out. You can do that. I really don't like having the archers in the middle of the map like this and no fletching, though. This is really bad. You need to go behind your walls. He's going to have four scouts and he's going to kill everything. Like, you need to retreat this army. Um, Yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to die. Yeah. We need to click fletching as well. And uh, also constant vills here. Constant vills. 
We've forgotten just a little bit here. Okay, walls are fine. Here, I should make some pings here. Oh, here he comes. Walls need to be up earlier, but uh, you have the spear. Oh, man. Yeah. He had... I think he just invested into four scouts, and then he's going to try and get up to Castle Age. Later on, getting a castle here is going to be really good. But yeah, yeah, go attack. It looks like he just added four scouts. You could use your scouts. No, no, you need to go forward. Don't, don't attack his scouts. Although, you do need to get your walls up. It's kind of tricky, because, like, you want to attack here, but then you don't want them to just run in. I would wall diagonally to the stone. It's faster. It's a shorter wall. It costs less and does the same thing. Oh, um, you're also open in the back here, too, by the way. If he runs in here, that's going to suck. And do we have houses coming? Yeah, we do. Good, good, good. What's the elo? This is like 1250. Here we go. Okay, he's adding. Oh man, you need to run. He's adding more scouts. Where's your spear? Why is he not here? Actually, wait. No, you fight this. Yeah, you fight this. But if you had a spear, you would crush this. You still win. What? Oh, oh, you sent him back. Okay, yeah, no, no. You need your spear forward just with these. It's fine. Yeah, no vills for three minutes as well, by the way. That is right. So that's a, a bit of an issue. I know that we were focusing on a lot of things, getting the walls up, microing the units, and then also TC idle time on top of that. But, uh, yeah, the, the villagers is like the number one thing. This is good damage, and you can actually deny this wall because he's walling really big. If you send your archers around, yeah. Oh, oh no, oh no. But you're splitting up. You need that spearman with this. Actually, he has a bunch of... No, you fight this. He, all of his guys are weak. Except for the one guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Target the weak one now. Sick fight. Amazing. Imagine if your spear was here, though. He, he, he is here, but he's hanging. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, run to the spear. There we go. You'll have one left over. And then... Oh, you kill the vill. Nice. Uh, cancel these last two vills and go up after Wheelbarrow. Once you can. There we go. Uh, what's the archer count? We only have we only have three. Honestly, it's probably better to just go cav archer, like straight cav archer, then instead of go crossbow. Like I, I would just add another range now. Just go straight cav archer. Because you just don't have the numbers of archers to actually make a, like a good timing attack. Which is what you're kind of going for with the crossbowman. And there's just no point in investing into crossbowman upgrade. You just invest it into other things. Yeah, so far so good. I think we're at equal vill count. We lost one. He lost one. More viewers than NBL. NBL playing WoW. Yeah, well, that'll happen when you change games. Uh, I love this one archer. Find find like a weak vill if you're not doing anything right now. Try and try and look for one of his luring vills. That would be sick. Or at least put him on um, stand ground somewhere. Too much food? No, it's fine. You only have yeah. yeah now it's it's good. Because you, you have, like, 13 on farm, which, which is going to be great. In the other game, when I was saying to transfer off, it's because uh, there was just, like, actually 18. Yeah, you actually transferred three off, which is, that's good. Perfect. Um, Yeah, you're going to want to get Cav Archers right away. Wait, what do we... Oh, stable? I don't know. You don't have the wood for that, really. Yeah. Uh, I would say... Wait, did he have a stable? Oh, he has a stable, though. Actually, yeah, the stable's probably good. The stable's probably good. But yeah, cab archers and a few camels in there. Get the stable in the front, though. Not in the back like that. Yeah, delete. No, 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 I'd get it, like, up here, though. Or, or closer to the gold, something like that. Q 
Keep massing cav archers though, and yeah. Oh, we got a little select all issue. Yeah, uh, the TCs are important. Because the thing is, is like you don't really need the stable. It's nice, but you can rely on the cav archers to kill the knights. Or, oh, he's going camels, so yeah, perfect. Cav archers is the play. It totally is the play. You just have to not ever let him touch your units. So you actually need a stable for husbandry. Oh yeah, Bosaw. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Just stay on two TCs for a while, honestly. Yeah. Bloodlines, husbandry. What kind of upgrades? We're missing armor. We should just get armor. It's not very expensive. We've got lots of food. Don't reseed this farm. We need more wood, though. That's the thing. Like, you, you could have transferred farmers to build that TC instead of um, lumberjacks to build the TC. Would have been a little better. We need to use the second TC as well. But yeah, constant constant cav archer production is number one priority here. Well, that, it's probably tied with priority for bills. I wouldn't go out. No, no, no. Going out is suicide. You, like, you need to get husbandry before you do anything here. Uh, this is this is sketchy. This is sketchy. Like, imagine he comes with like six camels. It just kills everything. Um, yeah. Before reseeding anything, get a stable so that you can get husbandry. Oh yeah, we have auto reseed on. Dang. Uh, yeah. Probably should turn that off. Well, maybe it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We've we've got everything that uh, we need. Although. Not really, because we need Thumb Ring. Yeah. Yeah, auto reseed, well... We could definitely, like, like this is going to get reseeded, right? And then we're not going to have enough for the university, which needs to come up pretty soon. There we go. Yeah, good, good, good. Thumb Ring, yeah, Thumb Ring for Cav Archers is good. Husbandry. And then Bloodlines right after as well. Yeah, he has second armor and forging, so... He's going to have a pretty big army of camels, I predict. So it's all going to come down to the micro here. You have husbandry, which is great. Husbandry just allows you to run away, which is kind of important. It's kind of <laughs> what cav archers do. There he is. Sick, 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 sick. Yeah, just fight it. Just fight it. Yeah. Get a univer... Okay, okay. Pull back. Get a university now while you're pulling back. Good, good. And get a second TC. Or, uh, sorry, a third TC somewhere. Um, probably on the gold, like, like here. Or actually, no, 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 probably on this gold against the wood, because you're going to need the wood anyways. And then you can, yeah. But yeah, just pull these back. Just back behind your walls. And, yeah, he can't really do anything. Or, or you can camp this hill. You can camp this hill as well. Both are good plays. Yeah, thumb ring... Well, Thumb Ring gives accuracy as well, but a different kind of accuracy. <laughs> oh, we're finally housed. You made it pretty far without getting major house. Um, yeah, cancel all the cab archers and just get ballistics now. Because you need the gold. Oh, yeah, you want to camp the front of that hill. Just just stay there, basically. Oh, we need ballistics. Yeah, 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 good, good, good. And we need to spend all that food. Or, sorry, on the, all the wood now. This is, this is where you have to, like, grab a wood line and spend wood. Buy a bunch of farms. Get, get that wood count down under 100 and then control your cav archers. That's basically the goal here. Just throw up as many farms as you can to get that wood under. And, and then even, like, time to take stone as well at this point. Just, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send a bunch of these to that stone as well. Might as well. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay. Um, basically, the eco has been taken care of. Uh, may maybe add a few more houses, I would say. Just, like, you still have a bunch of wood. Just spam, spam click someone on houses. Real quick, before you micro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them attacking that. Spam click some houses somewhere. There we go. And now, yeah. We just use the select all hotkey to select buildings, and we can basically just micro. Going in is maybe a bit risky, but it's it's not a bad play. Yeah, yeah, yeah kill everything. 
It's just... Oh, he's going to attack you now. Okay. Ah, uh, well, depends on what you want to do. Do you want to go home or do you want to try and kill Vils? Either way, either one is a good choice here. Yeah. Going home is pr probably like, I don't know. I, I think just attacking his Vils is probably good here. <laughs> you need to not lose your villagers though. Yeah, you need to... Basically, the idea here is to kill more of his villagers than he kills of yours. Even if you feel titanic, as long as you also titanic him, then you're fine. Yeah. I like that you're queuing them inside the archery range now. It's a really good play. Oh, he has armor, though. This is where the macro falls apart. Oh, no. He's going to get in there. That's bad. Where's the market? We don't have a market. We need a market. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice. I don't even know who's in the better position here. Like, both Ecos are destroyed. <laughs> both Ecos are just... Mm. Goodbye. But although, the thing is... Okay, so he has... He, he's going Skirms now. So you know what you want to do is you want to... You need to switch. Uh, yeah, he's, he's walled you in. Uh, what needs to happen... Is we need to switch to like Hussar even would be fine here. Uh, but but what needs to happen is we need a bunch more farms. We only have eight on food because everything is idle. So everything needs to go back to farms. We need we need to eventually get a castle here, but we need farms back here as well. Oh man. He's, he's getting in through... Oh, maybe that guy was just still in. But yeah. Basically, he's going to have 3 million skirms expecting you to stay on cav archers here. And you're just going to have a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of light cav... Oh, you know what you're missing is bloodlines. Oh, no. Bloodlines is pretty important when you're actually fighting with your units. Okay, what are we spending the stone on? I think you sold it, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. But, uh, I mean, getting a castle here is pretty important. Not right away, but you're going to be running out of gold pretty soon. Uh, but, but number one priority was not to get up the stables. It was to get the farms eco happening. So you still need to add farms. Yeah, we still need a ton more farms. Because you can't even use the stables yet, really. At least not effectively. I don't think we really have technologies. We don't really have techs for those. It, it's kind of hard to to go for light calves before clicking up the imp. We might be able to make it work depending on how slow Fire Lord is to imp. But yeah, it, it, you're already kind of committed to making them. So get get bloodlines, get a few, and then just try and raid. Like, you know what? You know where you can get in? Right here. If you can attack there with some cav archers and some light cav, you will get in. Right on that gate. What's the wood price? Oh, not very good. Camel bonus on buildings. Oh yeah, we have a camel bonus on buildings, right? Plus four attack, dang. Oh man, that might have actually been the play. Camels? Bro. Yeah, I, I think we just make a few light calves and probably transition into camels. I actually didn't even realize they got an attack bonus against buildings because I never play Indians. Welcome everyone. We're doing coaching. This is 1250 ELO right now. Replay analysis. It's been a long one, though. Yeah, he's got a bunch of knights. Honestly, just... You need to go up to imp. Okay, okay. You can spam camels. That's fine. Either way, but we need to get to imp at some point. Only 76 vil... Or 78 vils. Gonna need more. Definitely. Like, you're on 4 TC. You might as well be spamming vils here. Battering cams. There's a good one. But if the opponent gets up to imp... 
a lot faster than you, it's going to be a bad time. Yeah, you can fight this once you build up a few more camels. You have to bring everything together, though. Yeah, make him... Make him have to work to get through that, those walls. Nice. He can't get in. Honestly, you could trap him up there. Just let him attack your walls in the in the top where the blacksmith is and bring your army around the side. He just clicked up. So, yeah, you, you need to not... Ooh, man. This is going to be tough. Oh, nice, nice. The light cab are doing what they need to. Honestly, you just need to go up and make... Possibly heavy camels, actually. I don't think you fight this because you don't have enough. You killed his skirms. I think getting up is probably priority now. Because... Okay, yeah, th yeah, that castle is pretty good. It's not a bad castle. That'll buy you time. Yeah, I guess you didn't need it. Oh, man, imagine a single tile of stone wall. Just one stone wall right there. Then he can't go in. Camel's better than light calves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this situation, it definitely is. Okay, click up. Oh, wait. Yeah, you needed the monastery. Beautiful. Yeah, I guess we're spamming camels. The light cav are good if we're raiding with them, though. Like, they, they should be running around. All the skirms are dead. Light cav need to... Like, really, the light cav need to hit here. Because that's where the palisade gate is. If you can somehow get around that castle. Oh, no. Okay, it's not denied. This is actually good if you garrison all those vills. He's going to take a bunch of damage from that. Uh, ooh, can you wall him out? Ooh, this lumber camp, though. I mean, he's still in castle range. He's still in castle range. Fight that. Fight that. Oh, okay. No, well, now he's out of castle range. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that, that 8 plus 2 range is good. You can't fight this... If he decides to fight, you have to run. Oh, nice. That's decent. That's a lot of damage that he did not need to take. He's up faster than you, too. I think you have to commit to camels. I, I don't think you add cav archers here. Because you don't really have the eco for both. The trick is if he adds... Well, I, I guess he can't go hell because he's mullions. Nice. You need to get heavy camel first, obviously. I would love to see some more farms. Yeah, yeah, good, good. You are placing them. Beautiful. Beauty, beauty. So, it's kind of tricky. Like, you could build up trebs here once you're up. But I think you have to see what he's doing. I, I think instead of going trebs, you just go mass camel and you kill his trebs with your camels. Yeah, exactly. If he's going champions, then you lose. It's kind of hard without scouting information. Oh, sick raids. Nice, 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 nice. The light calves are doing work. You could even get them to do even more work. Yeah. That's really good. So, yeah, he's got Farimba, so he's going camels. Um, You just need to get your own camels. This is a camel war now. Wait, Imp Camel's really expensive, isn't it? It's just... 1,200, 600. E. It's gonna be a heavy camel battle, probably. I would think. Hmm. Yeah, we need to spend this wood. As always. I would say take relics, if you have the APM for it. Oh man, your light calves are so good! They're doing work. Oh, man. Oh. He doesn't even realize that his camels aren't doing anything. He wants to get the conversions off. Oh. Nice conversion. Okay. Uh, Yeah, his camels are way out of position. I wonder if he has... His... Oh, no. Never mind. He has just a ton. Uh, 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 maybe could... Oh, you don't have... Bl... Yeah, you don't have Blast Furnace. That would have been really bad if you had committed there. All right. Good. Good time. That was a fast conversion. Yeah, he had two monks on it, and one of them got really good timing. Nice. Okay, we need to spam units. Like, how many stables do we have? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Imp Camel. Um, conscription, though. Conscription, very cheap tech. Very useful for what you got. Mustang! 
yeah, he should definitely try and get this relic. Like, the, the relic that's in your base, it's worth it to just get a monk for that. Um, you have a bunch of weak camels as well. Like, it's, it's worth it to just have a monk passively healing while you're standing around. Because right now, you're just waiting for upgrades. You're, you're kind of waiting for him to do something, because you don't have trebs. Well, oh, there's his trebs. So... Ooh. No, 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 don't go in until heavy cam er, camel's up. You need to repair that castle with all the vills around it. Once Imp Camel's up, that's when you go in. You you have to be patient here. Well, if he's going to force a fight there... Yeah, just fall back. Just fall back. Just fall back. Don't even fight yet. Ooh, try it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's probably okay. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, that's bad. Honestly, like... Yeah, just, just give it up. Just give it up. Wait for Heavy Camel. Or wait for the... Oh, now we're fighting uphill. That's That's horrible. No, 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 don't even fight on this hill. Why fight on the hill? The castle's gone. Just retreat, like, way back. There's no there's no point in fighting on the hill. Not uphill, anyways. Okay. Do we still win this fight? Like, Imp Camels are good, right? These are full upgrades. Oh, yeah, Imp Camels are... Okay, even with a bad engagement, we still ended up winning that fight. But... Could have been a lot better. Oh, oh, the knights are actually killing all. Oh, we got raided during that time. Yeah, the vill count, not looking good. We need TCs? Probably, oh, you know what we missed was he's on this gold. Need to send like two units there. And two more TCs need to go up. Ah, he's got camels. Got camels here as well. He's everywhere, man. But yeah, yeah, more TCs really just to replace those bills. Honestly, yeah, now is the time to... Oh, oh man, you're still being raided here. You need to make sure that you got oh, everything on food. Yeah, ungarrison your TCs. You have a, like two TCs with garrison. Oh, we, we still have garrison here. Get the food running, make light calves, and just raid to get back in the game. Because I think that... You have quite a few camels now. Don't throw them under a castle or anything, but raid with light cav. If you go with the the camels, he's just gonna fight you under a castle, and it's gonna gonna kind of suck. Oh yeah, we still we still need a unit up here though. Oh man, so he's making more trebs. That's fine. There's nothing really for him to treb. That's easy for him to treb, I should say. Yeah. Basically, what needs to happen is you need to spend all of your gold on camels and then all of your other resources on Hussar or uh, Light Cav. Wait, Indians get Hussar? They get Hussar. Uh, I'm not sure if it's even worth it to go Hussar. I think more camels is better. Light Cav are going to do the same. Like, they just need to raid. But yeah, you really do need to, to get a raid happening up here. Oh, the dead camels. Yeah, yeah, look at this. This battlefield. Reese. What? No one is Burmese here. It's Indians versus Malians. Pike? Ah, uh, no, no, no. The camels are fine. Wait. Indians have full upgrade. It helps, though. Not bad. They're not bad, actually. But, well, hmm. That could be actually really good. So we're floating a lot of wood here. Yeah. That's actually probably really good. Oh, yeah, houses. Houses. Nice. Okay, that's kill. Good. Do we have relics yet? We have, oh, we, we have a partial relic. This guy's holding a relic right here. Hanging out. <laughs> the Indian yellow smear looks like the Burmese yellow smear. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you actually have a better army of camels than him. Yeah, I... Okay, you're going... Uh, do you have the gold to ever go cav archers? Is that going to ever work? I'm not so sure. 
I think you need to, oh man. Okay, well he has pikes, so yeah, actually maybe you have to. Oh, I would pull these away. But anyways, you'll win this fight. It's not gonna be cost effective though. Maybe. Those few pikemen actually just did the work though. Okay. The problem is, is that are you even gonna be able to mass cab archers at this point? Like, is there enough gold that you can take? He's on this gold, so you need to take him off of that. Ranges? Okay. I don't know, though. Like, in this situation, skirms would be good. Oh, he's raiding you to death. This, See, this is what you need to do to him, was light cap raids all back here. Because that... You could have gotten in. Like, I'm sure he's got some kind of hole somewhere. Yeah, Halbs actually would have been good at some point. It's kind of too late to switch into anything other than... I think Skirms is really the only thing that you can do against the enemy Halbs. Or just your own Halbs. One of the two. Raided to death again. But at least we have four TZs, so we can replace. Oh no. Do we have five TZs now? Five TZs, beautiful. That's that's the way to get back in the game. Uh, but we need to send some camels back. Oh yeah, they're happening. Nice. I do like the castle in the food eco. That, that should help a lot. All right, time to get the bills back to work. Need to close the hole. You can't really close the hole at this point. I guess, yeah, it could be walled. It's kind of tough though. There's Light Cav running around. He's just gonna break another hole in a little palisade. It's really tough to, to close this. Even though it seems easy, it's kind of tough. Oh man. What kind of upgrades do we have? We're, ma we're lacking Bracer, which is a pretty big one. She fills and floating. Well, yeah, but we're only at 76 vills, so if if purple attacked right now, he, he would just win. Even if he traded armies, he would be able to replace his army. We can't replace the army now. Because that's what happens. Like, when you raid, you basically temporarily kill his economy. And you can use that timing to kill the opponent's military and then do another attack. But he's... He's not quite ready to attack. Like, he doesn't really have... Well, he... Yeah, Malians don't get helps, but... Like, he doesn't really... Have enough yet. Oh, yeah, they're Ferimba Light Cap, too. So, they just actually just destroy everything. 17... Or, 7 plus 7. Why Skirms when they have extra pierce? What do you mean? Skirms are for the... Oh! Oh, yeah, they do have extra pierce. Wait. Do we get any attack bonus? No, there there must still be an attack bonus, right? I I did I actually forgot that they got um Pierce Armor on the the Pikeman. Are we still on a 0% win rate for live games? Uh we must have gotten one at some point, I can't remember. This is actually such a tricky matchup. Ooh, man. We're losing a lot of gold or a lot of bills. We don't have any map control. That's the problem. I think this one is uh, it's pretty over at this point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's call it. Let's call it. It's been fun. This matchup is really tough unless you can get a cav archer ball rolling for this stage. I I don't think it's really possible for Indians to do anything against this. Yeah, it is really difficult to play when someone's talking to you at the same time. Isn't the attack almost like three? Yeah. But what else is he going to do against pikes, really? Really, the only the only other option would have been full help, which would have been decent. <laughs> You're nervous. Ah, oh, yeah, well, hey, no problems. What needed to happen was we needed to take some map control. Like, this, this needed to have a castle on it at some point. This had a castle on it. Um, when you took the fight, 
it was like uphill which was really bad you needed to fall back to like here let him just keep taking damage from the castle and then engage and you want to get a surround with your dudes so i don't know it, it's kind of hard to micro but still the base trade was better for him yeah yeah exactly um you didn't quite find the damage that you needed to and then when he came up here to that wood line and took out like 10 up there that's that's where it was like oh yeah he did a lot more damage um yeah purple probably could have expanded out on the map a little bit nah he was actually pretty good but he was really out of resources in his space other than the farms but yeah we need to break in here with some light calf at some point anyways gg gg purple dots at the top oh oh yeah yeah well he has stuff up here yeah and he had stuff here too uh yeah long game yeah purple is just way ahead in economy from not getting raided the entire game he had the relics as well same villager high though i, I think this was a pretty even match this these two could probably go either way okay um let me set up for the next one we're going hard today um okay keyword all right press one in chat if you want to go next let's go pa pause the game before something important yeah yeah well i go over replays as well though so if people want me to go through it like that it's it's probably better to just go through a replay that they've played Alrighty, let's see it. Blitz 674. Looks like uh, he followed me last week. Got a new member. Let's go. Rigged. See, it doesn't always give subs. The non-subs do have a chance. Uh, yeah, okay. This croissant is amazing. It's fresh. Well, it's not super fresh. It was made yesterday, but it's fine. All right, Blitz. What do you want to do? You got a replay for me? Did I make it? No. <laughs> I don't know. Baking. Live game. Everyone's going live today. Live. Okay, let's host it. Uh, what's the elo? All right, we got like a 1K. Let's go. Who's 1K? Anyone 1K?
1985, I would recognize you. <laughs> Anyone 1K, join. First one in gets to be the opponent. One K ish. Who is women? Wyman. Oh, he's Blitz. All right. Let's close some of these slots. Hurdy gurdy. With the pit. Oh, we got two fish. We had two fish. There we go. Actually, it will keep an extra open. Just in case. That was you? Oh, come on in. I didn't kick you. Oh, you, 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 uh, you left. Um, yeah, Blitz, if you want to, oh, if you want to go, um, if you want to go voice chat in the, what is it called? Uh, in the Discord, you can. Otherwise, you can just listen to the stream. Uh, there we go. There we go. Evenly matched. There we go. Beautiful. Whatever. Whatever color. 1K is the size. Well, yeah, everyone starts at, at 1K. Uh, oh, yeah, well, I guess uh, sub 1K. I guess. Yeah, you're right. Consistently just slightly under 1k. Alrighty, what are we doing? We're waiting for Blitz. Oh, he's in. Oh, I guess he's just setting up the... Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. All right. Let's go. What, what kind of... What civ do you want? Uh, I usually play as Franks. Franks, alrighty. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> <laughs> We've been yeah, seeing Franks every game today. <laughs> it's a good sip. Uh, okay. Uh, you have to choose the color as well. What color? Uh, red, I guess. All right, sweet. All right. Let's go. Franks picker. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Let's see what sieve. Tatars. All right. Well, this should be tough, I will say. Tatars is a pretty good matchup. They're missing the castle and imperial uh, infantry armor, so that makes their. Do they even get halberdier? They do have halberdier. Even if they get yeah. halberdier, that's super weak. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you do get camels though, right? Yeah, they can make camels, and then halberdiers once they start running out of gold. So they they do have the. Uh, you do have what they need to stop Frank knights, for sure. Um, but Franks don't have to go knights. They can go crossbowmen oh, in Castle Age anyways, scary. if the situation calls for it. But then Tatars have better crossbowmen, so it's like, hmm, we're kind of stuck. <laughs> knights is probably still the way. Uh, knight, knights and some monks to convert camels. That's probably, like, the best thing to do. It, it's tough if we go up against cav archers though because cav archers just run although at the sea lows there's probably not any crazy micro so knights are probably still fine yeah don't make a multitask look at the sheep yeah this this first sheep was a little bit of a disaster it happens yeah that was not a good sheep <laughs> i started and i moved my scout like the opposite direction of the sheep for some reason so then i had to go back and grab the sheep and at that point my house is already been building yeah at that point, I like to just send one villager to grab the sheep if the scout's just completely not there. But, I don't know. It's not a big deal. There we go. Good, good, good. Uh, how long have you been playing the game for? Uh, Just over a month, actually. Nice. So, yeah, a really new player. Awesome. There's there's a lot to learn. Did you, like, play any other RTS before this or anything? Uh, StarCraft 2, actually. Oh, nice. That's where I came from as well. <laughs> I played StarCraft 2 for, like, four years. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, a yeah, lot of the... talking about stutter steps, so my guess is he plays Terran. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I remember the days. But yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, happen. I was a, I was a Zerg player myself. Oh man, Zerg. Oh man. <laughs> what rank? Uh, I was just below Grandmasters, Howard. I never reached it, but I could face Grandmasters here and there. Um, and that was like four years ago. So. Yeah, uh, the macro in AOE is a lot more difficult. There's a lot more to focus on. That was that was close. <laughs> that bill. Yeah, nice. I like that you're taking the sheep first and then go to the boar in this situation. The sheep's like half done, so might as well. Uh, get your house here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. You didn't forget. Beautiful. Four resources, but then also they're not in the same locations. Like, there's no random maps in StarCraft as well. How often do we do these type of streams? Like, once a month-ish these days. I can commit to it. Once every month or two. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, so, have you learned, like, a few basic build orders, I guess? Uh, yeah, right now I'm going for the 21 Pop Scouts. Oh, no, pop I was the one arguing for a 21 Pop Scouts earlier. Nice, nice. Yeah, everyone's been doing 21 Pop Scouts today, so it's, it's pretty common. So it's just a solid build, sets you up. Uh, the boar's gonna come in late. You're gonna have to take a sheep here, oh, actually. Oh, yeah. God dang it. Yeah, just take a yeah, sheep. I forgot about yeah, that. it's fine. It's, it's easy to forget the second boar. Boar waste faster. Low elo, no one. But, if the sheep is, like, half done, it's just better to finish it off so that it doesn't waste at all. Because it's done. You. Nice. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. You're lucky you're weak. Wait, where did you send your weak bill? You had a really weak one. Uh, oh, you sent him to berries. Ooh, that's risky. Having a weak bill on berries yeah, is no, just asking to get him picked off. Well, it is, it is uh, backwards berries, so I guess it's not. Uh, well, still, his scout, his scout his scout will be there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um. Whoa, the... The town positionings are really close this game. Scouts are gonna be pretty good. Harris snipe right. incoming, yeah, exactly. Those sheep are gonna get sniped. Yeah, yeah, the sheep could get stolen in the bottom. It's probably not gonna happen, but it's probably okay. There we go, yeah, move them a little closer. I don't really like Frank Farms in Dark Age. I mean, you can, but... Oh, also... Huh. Um... Oh god, I don't have enough food. Oh, that's annoying. Should I, should I have just gone for another vill there instead of uh, having like 10 seconds of TC idle time for not having enough food to go feed a Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that... Okay, so it's better just to take that extra... Uh, just take that extra vill than to waste a few uh, seconds. Exactly. Um, but you know what you should do when you're force dropping is force drop the berries first because it requires a little bit Ooh. more micro to get them back to work and then force drop everything else. Because you can just um, use the go back to work hotkey for um, everything else. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, and a lot of builds, you will have to force drop berries as well, because they're just really tight. Because, um, cause like, 21 pop is actually slow. Like, at higher level, we do 19 and 20 pop scouts. So it's just even smoother. Um, and, and the higher you go, the faster you have to get your units out. At, at this level, 21 pops is going to be... But the 21 pop is going to be fine. Um, I, I would have liked to have seen the second lumber camp on this wood line. You can kind of see that there's a wood line there. It's just like... Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been scouting horribly this game. That's okay. It's okay. You know where the opponent is, but yeah, just a back wood line would have been a lot better <laughs> than in the middle of the map. Yeah. But should be fine. Nice. Your barracks is coming out up at a really good timing. Perfect timing, actually. You obviously know the 60% thing. Yeah, 60%. Yeah, perfect. And you do have Vils kind of close to here, so if if you do get attacked by a scout, then you can always just send another Vil. Um, double bit, though. There we go. Good, good, good. Do you use, a, like, hotkeys for your upgrades, or do you click them? Oh, uh, I usually just use hotkeys. Yeah, good, good. Uh, it is good to use hotkeys. It's just, like, you have to set the hotkeys, because th there's no defaults for them. Because, actually, like, uh, before DE, there were no hotkeys for upgrades. You had to click them. So, a lot of people oh, just really? click them. Yeah. It was actually, like, horrible. <laughs> so, 
So he would have to click every single hotkey, or every single upgrade. You could use hotkeys for units, but not upgrades. It was weird. Didn't really matter. Oh, and I'm housed. Yeah. Oh, well, no, 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 but the house is coming. It's fine. It's close enough. Your house on your oh, own. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten... Okay. Yeah, it, it's Four not a big point. deal. Oh, I'm confused. I tried to get wheelbarrow, but I guess I didn't have enough bread. Oh, oh, yeah. No, no, you don't want to get wheelbarrow at this point. Wheelbarrow... Wheelbarrow should be based on your farm number, and usually, like, when you're at 10-plus farms, that's, like, the earliest. Usually, I get it right, right before okay. clicking up to Castle Age, actually. Because, it, it basically, right. it takes 75 seconds, and villagers take 25 seconds, so it's, like, three villagers worth. And three villagers will just bring in a lot more resources than Wheelbarrow. Um, okay, so you need to spend your uh, wood right now. Right now, all of your straggler tree um, dudes, they need to go to farms, and you need to pull back your scouts so you don't lose them here. Alright. Here we go for scouts, yeah. too. I mean, technically, you could fight on the hill. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Just just fight. Just patrol. And I have yeah. Frank scouts. There we go. Better. Uh, focus your economy now, though. Floating 400 wood, you can't really do that. You have to just get a bunch of farms. Because this is the secret to going up to castle age fast. If you find that you're always to castle age so late, it's because you don't get farms early enough. So yeah, you, you need to like like make the wood basically zero. <laughs> just just keep getting farms until you're zero, pretty much. Should I, should I move uh, berry fill? Berry yeah, yeah, yeah. Fill yeah, yeah. Keep like just farms. two on berries okay. is fine. There we go. And I would love to see a wall here just to prevent scouts from oh, yeah, coming in there. Sense. It's a pretty easy wall. And when you're scouts versus scouts, you actually really do want a full wall. Like, you should be working towards a full wall. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, wheelbarrow is fine, because you would have gotten housed anyway, so it's... Yeah, yeah. yeah this this is actually a pretty good timing for wheelbarrow. This is, like, the earliest you want to get it, but it's still going to be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, the gold oh, mine as well, like having go forward gold, you, you definitely want to wall that. You could have taken the back gold this game, though, even though it's not the main gold. Yeah, see, this is what happens. Your opponent's walled and you're not walled, so you're just kind of exposed. But you should be okay. You could add... Well, probably five scouts is fine if you're up against five scouts. Because you do want to get to Castle Age. I've got six scouts. Oh, six? oh sorry. Yeah, I mis miscounted. That's enough, though. I wouldn't add any more because your opponent's full wall, most likely. Like, you don't quite have scouting of that, but I just kind of assume... This fight's fine. You, you have... Oh! He's got armor. Okay. Oh, really? That's, that's like the, the least and more important upgrade on scouts. You want to either go forging or bloodlines, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I still win one because I have Frank scouts. Yeah, exactly. And one more of them. Yeah. You still win that fight. But yeah, armor is the, the third upgrade if you're going to get them in Feudal Age. Um, I, I would love to see this side wall. Yeah, you're doing it now. Nice blacksmith. You didn't even forget the blacksmith, which is really good. That's something that like I even do sometimes when I open scouts. It's like, oh, I need to go up, and then you try and click up. No prerequisite building. Armor on scouts is good yeah, versus archers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you still rather have bloodlines to tank extra hits. This is solid so far, yeah. And you're gonna be able to click up like perfect timing here. I would cancel that vill and force drop the gold miners and just go up. Yeah, you can hit a better timing here. There we go. Because now you're going to have knights quite a bit faster than your opponent. You going to go second stable now? Uh, yep. Nice. And, and gold mining upgrade as well. Don't forget about that. Perfect. And just, just one little house wall to finish off that, uh, <laughs> that left side there would be just so good. And you can always just build... TCs to protect the right side. Yeah. Yeah, be active with your scouts now. Because basically, you're not really doing anything on the way up. You you have everything set up. Yeah. You got the two stables. Oh, you're gonna need more gold. Nice. Nice walls. See, look at this. You can't even get in. Beautiful. Nice. You, you got another scout. He was really overcommitting here. Yeah. And upgrades. Forging as well. You need to get, yeah, you need to get your upgrades as well. Forging and armor. I always get them up to the next age. Yeah. The attack upgrades. Yeah, that's the way to do it. And, and yeah, I like that you got attack first because now you're doing more damage to the wall. Just a little thing. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but yeah, you could have gone more on gold. You're not going to be able to spam very many knights because you only have six on gold. Oh, I should I make a few spearmen here? No, you don't need spearmen. Okay. Okay. Um, you need to get two TCs. So one TC... Ooh, okay, I got a bill. One TC should be here. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. You got in. Okay, but you're about to be up to castle age, so you got a macro in just a sec. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, knights, get your TC, two TCs, for sure. Basically, spam knights until you run out of gold, and macro. Yeah. I would get another TC out here, just to secure this side. And then you take the gold. No, on the gold. On the gold and the wood. Because you need to take gold anyways. The stone's not that important. Nice. You could even get it one tile closer to the gold. Like with the TC, it's fine if it's touching. But it, it, that's fine. That's fine. Don't delete. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. Otherwise, you lose the stone. <laughs> um, oh, you have, like, wood choppers that should build. Nice. You actually killed all the scouts. I, I wasn't even paying attention to that. But I don't even know how that happened, actually. Oh, he had the mono attack stance. Oh, or stand ground or something. Oh, and I just run my. Okay. How many scout? How many knights do we have right now? Oh shoot! Oh, we don't have any knights. Oh, oh my it. god! <laughs> we we should have oh, like six god. or seven knights, or eight. Or sorry, six or eight. Like we've missed like yeah. three production cycles <laughs> because you were Ooh. microing those scouts. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Imagine you have eight yep. eight knights. If that would have been. Way more damage than whatever you did with your scouts. Alright, and he's being forced in the spearman right here. Yeah, but you're set up. It's like, you, you have three TCs, just use your TCs, spam knights until you run out of gold, and then, yeah, add more to gold. Yeah, 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 perfect, perfect. There we go. And the, the problem with big walls is they cost a lot. So your opponent's actually not even in castle age yet. You're, you're so far ahead. So, what do I do here? Do I press it with the knights, or do I sit back and build up? You want to, yeah, you want to attack with the knights, because, um, like, blue doesn't have anything. Just clicked up now. That was what that lag spike was. <laughs> it's kind of cheating, but, yeah. Um, you're, you're so far ahead, you have two, you have the second armor upgrade, so if you get in, you got in. Actually, just spam knights, and you will win the game. Like, just spam knights into there. Make sure that it doesn't get rewalled. Run around, kill Vils. Yeah, it's, it's just GG. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. We know it. Because you're on three TCs, so, well, if you and if you were spamming Vils, then that would be good. But uh, basically, anytime you're on three TCs, you can feel confident that even if your attack doesn't go well, you're still going to have um, good economy to back it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I even forgot Bosa. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, so, because you were focused on microing your scouts, which is not worth your time at that point. Like, if you can't get bowsaw, get knights pumping, get two TCs up, get extra farms, um, if you can't do all that and micro, then just don't micro. <laughs> like, the mi microing the scouts, yeah, you might get a few kills, but you just, you won't be able to actually use your castle age if you're using your scouts there. I don't know. Like, higher level yeah, players, yeah. yeah, will micro the scouts, but they can do everything. You just have to get used okay, to the there, macro first. Is there a setting you can turn on so you can see your APM? I'm curious. No, no. I use an external program okay, okay. called Desktop to APM, so I can see mine on stream, but there, there's no way to see APM. Um, there is a website that will display eAPM, um, but uh, there's no way to do it in-game. Yeah, actually, which yeah, okay, website okay. is that? Is it AoE Nexus? Uh, someone in chat will say. But uh, yeah, well played. Your opening is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, like, thank you. Uh, yeah, I think like if you've only been playing the game for a month, you'll improve really, really quickly. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, you'll be able to get up to like sixteen hundred without too much issues. I would think. <laughs> oh wow! Thanks. That's like you, you, oh, you I have. You have the fundamentals, and you seem to actually, like, take the information. When I'm telling you the information, like, you're actually processing it and using it right away, which is really good. So, yeah. 
Just keep with it. And you were like 13 fills ahead and had huge military, so well played. Yeah, yeah, thanks. He was adding he was adding uh, archery rangers at the end there. Yeah, for cav archers. That's what Tatars do with the thumb ring. Free, they get free thumb ring, oh. so the cav archers are really good. But not going to be enough against the Frank Knights <laughs> in that situation. Yeah, right. When you're that far ahead. Alrighty. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Thanks for the coaching Yeah, session, no problem. It was, it was great. Yeah, I'll see you around the channel. Yeah, yeah you too. Thanks. All right, uh, let's roll someone else. All right, anyone who wants in, let's press the one. Thanks for the gifted sub to, to Chupta Atomic Sausage. You are awesome. Who's getting coached? That was, um, oh, here, let me bring it up here right now. That was the uh, Wyman guy. <laughs> Mr. Blitz. There we go. Sound like a child? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm 28 years old. Anyone's going to sound like a child? Well, a lot of people. Actually, you know, most of the community is probably older than me. <laughs> Got a lot of oldies here. <laughs> Let my cat out. Now he wants out. This is night time. Yeah, Chup, the, if the person getting coached is uh, is around your elo, you can join in. <laughs> A lot of 800 to 1k. Yeah, I know. What is this? It's madness. It's almost like that's the average elo. <laughs> This is, like, if I do a lottery system, then I'm not selecting them. So it's more likely to give, like, average. That's the thing. <laughs> let's see if we can get... Let's see. Oh, I can see the list of people who entered. We got Yellow Jacket. We got Lock Tube in there. I think Yellow Jacket's probably the, the highest ranked out of the list that that i recognize anyways okay let's go oh wait i gotta give subscriber luck let's go oh blitz gets the subscription yo atomic sausage with the give good karma man whoa amazing <laughs> rigged i did give sub luck but still, totally rigged. All right, you got a replay for me? Replay or live? Either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post it in the coaching channel. Um, if you got a replay, that's great. We've been doing so much live. It's a little bit more taxing. All right. I am going to real quickly do a little piano tune. So that I can rest my eyes while we wait for a replay to be posted. Uh, this one's going to be a little longer. This will be like a seven minute one. We'll take a good long break before we get into the next one.
fingers are like so not warmed up. Oh man, so many mistakes. <laughs> it was good to get a little break though. Okay, let's get to it. The next one in the list. Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> uh, nothing crazy like that. Honestly, I don't know if I even enjoy the, that that tune. It's just like the chromatic scale, just up and down and up and down. Hidden Cup Arabia. Ooh. All right. Nice, nice. How many people in here? Yeah, I bet there are some some real musicians in chat. I'm sure. But uh, okay. Whoa, the vill spawns like way up here and you can get pigs up here. They don't always spawn like right here on this map. Amazing. This map's already better than the regular Arabia. My cat wants in again. So needy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, what's the elo here? So you start with one sheep scout. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's always good. That's how it should be on the regular one. Like, just Chinese without no, without any sheep scouted? Oh man, that's the worst. Cool, cool. Oh, negative seven feels bad. Yeah, so more like 1200 to 1300. I don't play any Tchaikovsky, actually. I, I just play Beethoven, Mozart, and Handel. The wood line is a bit thinner on this version. Okay. Yeah, let's let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the wood lines are not super thick. That's good though. It it forces you to actually expand around. Map is super flat. Oh yeah, there's no big hills. There's only like two level hills here. There's not no six level or whatever. Oh, but your main gold is on a hill though. That's not good. I guess it's uphill. Well, no, because you'd have your bills here. You would never use this hill. Hmm. Up against a far stronger opponent. All right. Whoa, the positioning. These positions are like the last game. Kind of. So, so what do we have? We have Persians versus Malians. Now, Persians get the trash bow, so they have an answer later on to the. Or sorry, sorry, uh, no, no, Trash Bow isn't gonna do it. They have Hand Cannoneers, sorry. So we've got Hand Cannoneer option for the, um, for the tanky, tanky champions, tanky halberdiers. On a serve plus Viper, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe in the far future. But what do we really do? Because no long swords, well, not gonna go long swords as the Civ, it's just why honestly like heavy cav archer we got all the upgrades that's not even a bad well actually no it's bad because we don't have bracer i forgot about no bracer uh scorpions maybe no but we don't have siege engineers do we with persians yeah no siege engineers so you're kind of stuck it's like if the game goes late hand cannoneers you actually need them. Full chonkers. Actually, yeah. You know what chonky boys against the two-handed swordsman? I did that once. A few days ago against Yellow Jacket. Didn't win me the game, though. Well, that's why Mollians get picked. They're, they have a lot of really good options. Any Civ that has an infantry unit that has high pierce armor is just really tough for some Civs to kill. Yeah, who, who's idle? Someone was idle. HC and Ellie's, yeah. The elephants just still don't really, don't really perform. They're just too slow. Too expensive. Although they only cost as much gold as a knight. It's really the food. So in the super, super late game, when 200 food doesn't even matter, 
Could be an option. What should be the Persian plan? Probably open with knights and camels. Would be good against Malians. You could go for crossbowmen, but it's kind of tricky. <laughs> the random ping. Lost this exact same matchup. He just made hand cannons a trash boy. Yeah, exactly. The Basically, you just need to get to hand cannons and trash bow in the late game. Getting there is tricky. And actually, like, that's not an uncounterable... Uh, unit comp. You just need Hussar. Like, Farimba? Or, uh, Farimba Lightcap, I guess you can say? They, they're 7 plus 7. Uh, there, there we go. Yeah, not Hussar. Um, we got Bloodlines, we got Husbandry, we got all the, the techs, except for Blast Burns, but we have Farimba plus 5 attack. That's actually how you do it, except for Persians can also go help, so... It can be tricky. But yeah, going... Like, you, you want to turn it into a long game as Persians anyways. Like, Persians is great because they have town centers that work faster. So, your plan should be around getting TCs eventually. Like, getting three TCs right as soon as you get to Castle Ace. It's just a good plan with them. I know I like to go Drush with them. Because I have a special build that goes barracks before lumber camp. But yeah, usually you want to just... You want to get to Castle Age. And you want to build TCs. And like my Drush FC build, it, it leaves me exposed, but it can be good. But I think Scouts is more standard with them. To open with. Having a stable is good. Just gives you, it, like, it allows you to husbandry and bloodlines when, um, like, if you decide to go cav archers. And then you can add camels as well. Why are these gases coming from the TC? Yeah, it's some mod. Some auto-installed mod. Oh, so we got, we got 20 pop scouts. So we got the, the better build than what people have been doing today. The 20 pop scouts and building the stable with the two bills will allow us to get the scouts out faster and oh no 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 finish it finish it yeah 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 just finish it and then go back there we go there we go <laughs> you got scared wait why is he not attacking the bills all right i i guess i can see it you have a hill and he doesn't want to lose hp like he's obviously going men at arms trash bow Ellie's versus fire in a community game. Well, yeah, in a community game. If it's like a free-for-all, yeah. <laughs> you can get there. That is true. They, like, once you have enough elephants, they're kind of unstoppable. I actually died to them in 1v1 one time. My opponent just, he must have been a smurf or something, but he got super far ahead and just made, like, 40 elite chonkers, and I died. Okay. Oh. oh, sick dodging by this guy. 2k smurf. Yeah, they exist. There are a lot of them, actually. What was the name of the piece played on the piano earlier? That was Tempest Sonata Movement 3 Beethoven. There's a guy named Willem Kemp. I think he's the he's got the best recording. I like the way he plays it. <laughs> 40 Aztec monks. Yeah, yeah. True. Little early for gold? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, wait. Yeah, we're not going archers, right? We must be transitioning to archers, right? Still too early for gold. Before the mining camp goes up, you want to get the range. I'm assuming you're going to get a range here once you focus on it. Once you're done cleaning these up. I'm assuming you're going to spend the next wood on the range. You're going to get it, like, right here. Eh? Maybe? Maybe? When are we gonna realize? What's the best play when you see men at arms? Ah, uh, archers is good. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, archers is great. You don't really want to fight them with scouts. You can, 
as we saw there. You can fight them once you have like five scouts, as long as he doesn't add a, a spear. <laughs> yeah, everyone's loading up your negative seven streak. <laughs> mm. Go here. Go here and attack right away before you can send bills. That's one thing you can do. Oh, well, he already has stuff now. No fletching. Ooh, you lost a lot of HP on one of these. How do you know when to push for a castle, when to stay in feudal wars? Um, Basically, like, if you get your walls up and you have scouts out like this and you know that he can't get in, then you should go to castle. Like, instead of adding skirms here, you should make sure that the walls are up properly and go up to castle age instead of adding skirms. But the walls aren't up. So, we have to add Skirms, otherwise, if he sends Archers, then we're gonna die. So, yeah, you gotta make sure that you're walled. This wall is gonna die instantly, so. He's a friend, he's better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm assuming that's why there's all this pinging going on. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, still no fletching, but yeah, you need to... You're over committing to um, Skirms. You see he doesn't have Fletching, so you know he's not attacking you right now. His archers are at home. Like, the fact that you're building a bunch of Skirmishers and attacking with them means your opponent's going to be up to Castle Age so quick, he's going to get Crossbow, and then it, the Skirmishers don't do anything. Skirmishers are defensive here. Like, they should be used defensively. Basically, only build Skirms if you have to. If you don't have to build Skirms... Use the food to go up. Farms are good. Only 12, though. You're going to want a few more. Yeah, good. Where's our far Where's our house? Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you still haven't realized that this is open. <laughs> Straight from SE2 to AOE2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you've only been around for like a month on AOE. So there's no reason to ever play HD anymore. <laughs> DE is just considerably better. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like your fuel, the wheelbarrow timing. I mean, it's, this is as early as you'd really want it, as I'm saying. Well, not, like, you could get it at t 10 farms or so, but really, you don't want to get it much earlier than this. Okay, we're not queuing vills. Oh, there we go. Y your vills have been okay. You had a few house issues here and there, but, man, you guys, neither of you have fletching. Like, this is so weird. Skirm Scouts can be... Well, yeah, you'd rather have Archers. Because if you go Skirm Scout, you have no food. Like, watch. Green is going to be up so much faster. And then your Skirm Scout does nothing to Crossbow. Crossbow kills both of these units. Whereas if you go Archers, you can turn them into Crossbowmen. And then... And then it's Crossbow versus Crossbow. It's fine. Or you can actually, like, pick off Vils. Skirms do one damage to Vils. So... You can't really actually pick them off. Not easily, anyways, in Feudal Age. Hmm. There's the click up. We're close, actually. Yeah, Skirm and Scout really can't get into walls. Um, even though archers do one damage to walls as well, they fire faster than Skirms. What you be doing here? Getting up to Castle Age. You see the two range? So you know crossbows are being committed into. You could commit it to Skirms. I wouldn't recommend it. Especially because you don't have any wood. Like, you, you actually have to go knights here. This is the big play. Yeah. Because your eco is set up for knights. Look at, like, look at all these farms. 22 farms. So, actually, yeah, this is sort of what I was saying earlier. Yeah, yeah, but he can take this back gold. So, if you're going to go knights, yeah, keep all of these on farms is fine. Add some more to gold. If you're going to go TCs, take off a bunch of these, send them to wood, so that you're going to have enough wood to actually get the TCs up. And then you can always transfer them back to farms when you need food income. Um, if you're going to go crossbowmen, send more to gold from food. Uh, yeah, if you're going to go knights here, you don't need wood. So you can transfer, like, just, just send, like, six off. 
just make another mining camp. Send, I, I would probably actually take like four of these and send them to gold as well. But it's one of those things where like you probably won't rebalance your economy unless you think of it this way. And it is good though. Okay, good. You're going nice. Uh, that's the right call, I think. Yeah, elite skirms and knights. Well, they're gonna die to camels, actually. But yeah, pure pure knight as well. Seven gold miners per stable. Yeah, that's if you want constant production. If you add gold miners earlier before you're actually using it, you're gonna build up a bank. And then you don't need as many. Like, you're not going to have 14 gold miners at this stage. It's not worth it. So, you want to have, like, 10. And then just build up a bunch. The skirms are actually a huge waste of resources here. I bet that they do basically nothing. Because they have no upgrades. And they're skirmishers. Anyways. With her, oh, yeah, you want to get... Oh, do you not have gold mining? Gold mining, if you're going to go for knights, is like a must. Oh, yeah, you did get it. Basically, you click up to Castle Age, and then you get gold mining with the next 100 food. That's pretty much standard. Um, you see that he doesn't have any upgrades on the Scout Cavalry. It's always good to click it. Just to confirm that he's not going for some kind of knight push. I mean, he could still add un unupgraded camels, that's fine. But the fact that you killed that without using a knight means that he might not know that you're going knights. You can kind of assume. Okay. You need, yeah, plus two armor, good. Don't lose vills. Well, you lost one, but it's fine. Don't lose these. How's the grind going? We're, we're going! We're almost nine hours in. <laughs> We are grinding. I reached 1247, or 2047 yesterday. It was good. Oh, nice. This is going to go up. I beat Halas. And I beat, uh... I beat Scotty as well. They both randomed into Sicilians, though. Back to back. So it was really easy. Alright. Plus two knights. Don't, don't throw these. No! What do you think is going to happen when you send, like, seven unupgraded skirms into a ball of crossbow? They're just going to die. <laughs> Yikes. These, like, look, these things do nothing. But guess what? They would do something if you had, like, eight knights in front, but not with two. So you were just not patient enough. You have, you have everything you need to kill this. But they're not all in the same place at the same time. You need you need to bring everything. You need to go you need to go like this. Select all military, bring them back. Just engage with the scouts, engage with the knights, and then and then if you had like eight skirms in behind just doing passive damage, they're not bad. But if you just send them in by themselves, they do nothing. So ah, uh, you're being you didn't engage all at the same time. See now you got like one coming in. Oh, he kills one. And now, those first two that came in basically did nothing. Like, they, they couldn't even close the distance. And then the other ones were still way behind. It's kind of tricky. You see, look. Once they get in there, they, they wreck. But you have to engage all at the same time. Either plus... Yeah, he, he went for plus two knights, but not enough. You have to wait until you have enough. And that's the issue. So you have to be very patient. Oh, wow. This man has ballistics, too. He's just going to walk all over you now. But 17 on farms, which means two stables is still able to be spanned from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the bills pumping. But I would say that at the moment, you, you do want to keep your knights pumping as well. Like, I, I would prioritize knights over villagers here. But obviously create vills, but only when your knights are, or only when your two stables are also working. Just so that you can get enough knights to at least kill this. And then maybe launch a counterattack, like at least put pressure, see what he's up to, and then add the third TC. You basically need the third TC at some point. And I, I like that you have 22 on farms though. This is good. You aren't actually full Titanic here. Nice. You will just crush this now. No problem. You know what you do here? You send the front one to go this way. He, he basically should tank 
and you send them up here so that all of the arrows miss, and then you don't like almost lose a knight. Molly and crossbows. Uh, yeah, it seems kind of weird, but it's fine. Basically, the idea, if you have crossbows and then camels, I, I bet the Malian guy has a bunch of camels behind this. Um, but if you have a combination of those two units, you will kill all. Yeah, they're fine at this stage, exactly. Yeah, that was a PowerPoint night. That was kind of weird. Malian's no bracer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's, it's kind of like Frank's. It's like, you can build them to a certain point. And then, in the late game, you just don't. But in Castle Age, it's fine. Oh, he's open. You see it. Oh, I don't know why he hasn't retreated yet. Okay, well. Oh, he has a TC there. There's the camels. That's predictable. And yeah, you need to run. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going, man? Where are you going? That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Well, those knights are ripped. They, they would have easily gotten away. Like, camels will do a little bit of damage, passive damage, but they won't they won't all die if you retreat them. You might lose one. I guess you're getting a couple of kills. It's not worth these knights. This is like... Like, six knights is pretty... That's like double your army. You could have had double. Imagine having 14 knights. Then it's a pretty big ball of knights. Yeah, crossbows... Like, I, I think actually camels are the way. Persian camels are just as good as Malian camels at this stage. You go for a mix. This is sort of what I was imagining Persians doing in this matchup, is going for a mix of knights and camels. You, you just go heavier on camels when you see a lot of enemy camels, and you go heavier on knights when you see enemy has a lot of crossbow. Monastery is a great idea. Yeah. Uh, but a third... Okay, we got a third TC. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monastery, monastery like right here would be beautiful. You're good at adding farms. Your macro is okay. Uh, you have been housed a lot this game, but that's not a huge issue. That can be fixed. Uh, I guess there's a hill. Trash bows. Uh, you don't even go trash bows. You actually just go f like full cost bows here. Although, uh, no, I think that just adding monks is better, though. Oh, you're, why are you attacking uphill against these camels? Why? Why, man? Why, uh, you know what? There is no reason to actually go out of your walls to fight a bad fight on this hill. There, there's zero reason. Basically, as long as he doesn't get in, you're fine. Yeah, exactly. You definitely don't want to trash in a, or, um, tech into trash bows. Um, like, maybe you tech into it on the way up to Imp. And then you have, like, knights and trash bows or something, but... Okay, what is he doing? Okay, anyways, um... So this engagement didn't need to happen. You could have just been patient, built up more army, and then engaged. But you, you went and chased him, and he, he actually just had a better composition. Like, full camel is gonna beat camel knight. I like that you're fighting with the bills. It's like... I mean, it, it allowed you to kill this. Although, you are losing a lot of bills, but... Anyways, at least you have an army left over. And Persians, I mean, you still have a pretty good vill count. You're even on vills, so it's fine. Like, if you had ran with the vills, they would have just gotten picked off anyways. I don't know. Yeah, a few monks is, would be huge here, though. Vills are pretty even. He's down by four, but it's not a big... Oh, he's losing more. Wait, how did they get in? Oh, they just broke the walls. Yep. That'll happen. Imagine if you didn't throw those knights, though. You would have had, like, a decent-sized army. Okay, we're, we're even upgrades, though. Hmm. Not a good position now. Starting to overrun. Like, he should never get this kind of damage done with camels. But it really comes down to noticing when he's attacking in two places at once, and then building house walls behind. So he's full camel. Um, Malian camels will beat Persian camels in the late game. So you do have to tech into something else. And that something else might actually be pikemen. Like imagine you go get up to Imp. 
Like, I I'm assuming you go up the imp, add, you have five barracks, and you're just producing pikes. And then he shows up with his heavy camel armor uh, army, and you destroy it. Wait, what is this castle? He, he, he has a big army of camels out here. This is gonna get denied. Oh, man. I, I think you should rethink this castle. This castle needs to be... Optimally, it would have been here, but you have a wall here. Maybe here? This, like, this... This would be way better. I think here, still. Maybe. It was broken earlier with the crossbow. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. And it never got fixed. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Gebetto counter. Yeah, Gebettos are decent against pikes. But you need to get enough of them. They fire kind of slowly. This is this is such a bad idea. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. How is it not denied yet? Yeah. Well, you got a castle where he can get trebs on this hill and shoot it down. And it's on the flat ground. If you're going to get a castle, like, build it in a place where he can't treb it from the high ground, at least. I don't know, here. Or or in your food. Like, delete this farm and get it here. That would actually be super good. Uh, you need to get these working, though. There's another mining camp on this side. Delete the palisade. Elite war elephants. Actually, elite war elephants beat camels, by the way. Chiku. Oh. So, pretty far behind. Eco is okay. Opponent has double the camels, though. Or double the military. I'm assuming they're camels still. I'm assuming he's just going to show up with a bunch of heavy camels. So, like, you have to think. He's going to have heavy camel before me. He's way ahead, so obviously he's up to imp faster. I need a hard counter unit. I need a YOLO into a hard counter unit. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And that hard counter unit is pikemen here. 100%. It's got to be. That's the only thing that works from this stage. Because if you try and go camels, he's just going to engage you before you have heavy camels. Because he's so far ahead. You need like 160 bills to justify it. Yeah, yeah, actually. That's, that's kind of right. I don't think you're dead at this point. You're in a horrible situation, but... You can come back. But not if you just go for camels. Which is what you're going to do. Oh, you're getting a barracks though. So it's like you, you kind of consider pikes. All right, let's speed through it a little bit. Nothing's happening. Look, there we go. He got the castle on the hill that I was thinking. He's going to make a treb, and then he's going to treb you from the high ground. Uh oh There we go. Pike time. You know it. That pikeman upgrade needed to be... Or that pike upgrade needed to be up a long time ago. You're also adding camels, though. Uh... Hmm... I like your expanding to the map. This is really good. Take this zone. Take this. Oh, wait, that's a bear. It's not a gold. Take this. GG. Okay, yeah, GG. Um, you still have 112 bills, though. Like, all right, you had nothing, though. You weren't prepared. Wait, how do you have 112 bills and 111 population? All right, whatever. Thanks, DE. Um, okay. Did you get halves in the end? Yeah, you had it. You just never produced them. So, you know, you couldn't come back in this game because you didn't think to go halb fast enough, really. He didn't have Ferimbo, so they're not that scary. Oh, he was getting it, though. One of the villas is pregnant. <laughs> I'm sure it has to do with, like, a villager dying in the same frame. Oh, yeah, this is GG. <laughs> I didn't see this raid initially. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. But imagine this castle's like here, then it's not as bad, or like here maybe I don't know another castle here or or stonewall this, stonewall this and then get this in somehow I don't know. It's kind of close to his base though. Just add Gabetto. Yeah, the opponent could go full champ. 
against Persians, it would be fine. Once he sees that there are hand cannons in, he just adds something else. Like, he adds Light Cav or something. Anyways, GG. Um, should have just gone forward when he brought the Men at Arms. Yeah, yeah. The, the great thing about Men at Arms is when the opponent engages them with scouts, that means the scouts aren't in your base. So, if you are going scouts against Men at Arms, just make sure... Oh. Make sure that all of your resources are walled in. And then go forward with the scouts. Just small wall. You have to pay attention to repairs. It's a lot to pay attention to. Because if if you try and repair and he gets in, then, well, it kind of sucks. But I bet the walls weren't up when your scouts were... At least, the, like, the first two scouts out. If you can send your starting scout and the first scout you create forward... There's a pretty good chance you can de deny, deny a wall. And then you can just, like, keep sending units in. And then they die. You just make sure that he never gets the wall up. And then you can just keep adding scouts. That's the situation where you keep spamming scouts, is if your opponent is open. Um, yeah, Green's base is... Uh, he's got a lot of stables. He's got the right amount of stables to just spam continuous ha heavy camels. Nice idea to stonewall this. Although, still kind of open. Still kind of doesn't really matter. <laughs> Range at home? Um, Yeah, yeah, to kill the men-at-arms. Yeah, just get a range, get like one or two archers, and it's fine. It's kind of tough against Malians, though, because they have the extra peers. Yeah, relics are... Relics could have helped in this game. Because it, it did go pretty long. It would have gone longer. You could have stayed in it but yeah relics are definitely good to have not the most important thing to focus on but it's good to just add that in there like when you see you're floating a lot of wood and you haven't taken relics yet just go for the uh monastery okay getting tired guys i'll make it to 10 hours it's fine <laughs> Is a 14-minute castle agent a boom on arena a good time? Uh, I don't really play by the times. I just go by the villager count. Like, I usually click up to castle age, like, 27 vills? Or 20, 26 vills. Or 27 vills or 26 vills plus loom. Up to castle age. So, like, 24 or 25 up to feudal. Anyways... What civ do you recommend for beginners? Uh, Franks is good. Ethiopians is good. These are basically like the Hera. The Hera civs. But they they are definitely good for beginners. Um, What's another one? Mayans can be good if you want to do something a little different. Byzantines? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Is it good to add a spear for your men-at-arms push? Y yeah, if you're up against scouts, like just add a spear and then he will never take a good trade against your scouts. Okay, guys, press press 1 to get into the next, uh, possibly get into the next replay analysis. While I pour some tea and stand up for a sec. Seven. There we go. H have you been here since the start? Because <laughs> you finally got in. <laughs> After all that. It was inevitable. Alright. Yeah, the mezzo sieves are just a little different. 
It's not that they're any harder. They're probably easier to learn. It's just there's only three of them. They're just different. <laughs> okay. Are we doing a replay? Do you have a replay for me? You have a wreck? Wreck would be good. Live is kind of a uh, big brain. I'm getting uh, getting a little tired. All right, I'll play one more piano time while you find the replay. It's not quite too late for piano. the scene back to that cat is he seems to be a little bit of a chonker all right Franks again all right <laughs> okay so we got our friend 57 as the Vikings in the blue. And we got Snowman Rick in the red as Franks. Yeah, what's the ELO here about? Thirteen hundred, alright. And that's just with a plus one streak. It's probably probably around there. It's a lot of games played too, so nice. Cool cool. 
Berserk time? Uh, yeah, I mean, if Berserks with Chieftains in the super late game happen, then Franks actually just die. But getting to elite Berserks with Chieftains? It's kind of tough. It's kind of very difficult. So, how are we going to get there? Go crossbowman with some pikes mixed in, maybe? That's a good play. Almost 1,400, and then 11, and then 13. Yeah, I know the feeling. I go up and down like that as well. I was like, I was 2.1k, and then I fell back down to 1,800. Or 18-something. 18 free wheel bear and handcart. Yeah, well. Free wheel bear and handcart is pretty good. Franks have good eco too, though, so it's kind of hard to say that you're just super ahead. All right, let's speed it up just a little. Four on wood. Ooh. Okay, she's not gonna get stuck just the way that they're taking this, but um, if you don't drush off of this, you're gonna be float. Oh no, she is gonna get stuck. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it seemed like. They always get stuck like this. Always go two and two. If you're gonna go four on wood. Two on one side, two on the other side. Because you basically just have three. Am I Canadian? Yeah, I'm from the west coast of Canada. From Victoria, BC. Um, she's still not working. There we go. But she just basically didn't work for an entire one and a half cycles. So that's like 15 wood that you just lost. So far. Watch, she's gonna get stuck again. Oh, he's attacking you. Oh no, she didn't get stuck again. Anyways, that's pretty bad. Um, same thing with the berries. Like, you have three on one side. I would even put two. I, I would get three on this side. This is what I like to do with this orientation of mill. Two taking this berries, and then one and two. And then maybe this guy would go here. So you'd have like two on the outer one. That's gonna be best. So far, it's, it's fine, though. <laughs> um, yeah, we need to push some those deer would be nice. There's this just so pushable, like it's so tempting. Did you miss a boar or something like? Or you took it really early. Didn't find your boar for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's just way too much. Wait, where is your boar? What? That's cheating. <laughs> well, it happens. You can see the broken things in my house. What? It's trebuchet picture breaking this castle. It's very small though. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, so we're opening men at arms or archers or both. Looks like men at arms and archers. If I was going to decipher this build. It's, it's gonna be late though. That's the problem. It's not a big deal though. You're clicking up the same time as your opponent, so it's fine. You're both late, so it's kind of the same. Yep, let's get those men our, our militia started right away. There we go. A new house. I like that you're getting the second wood line here. It's good. If you're going archers. Good, good, good. Good, good. Should be up at about the same time. Good. Don't reveal them yet, though. I don't know. If you reveal them and he quick walls everything before you have men at arms, it's kind of bad. Okay. You need to scout better, though. Like, you don't really know where you... Well, I guess you know about this. So that's kind of the obvious target. But it's, yeah, it's... Oh, wow. Well. You need your scout here. Where's your scout? Where is your scout? 
Why is he here? Ne oh, he didn't even quick wall. You need the scout to step on the house foundations or whatever that he's quick walling. Like you, like you send the scout here so he can't just wall this villain. Well, he didn't wall the villain anyways, but he should have. <laughs> oh, you're not even going to get her. She just squeezed out. Oh, are you? Nah. Uh, yeah, just take out the scout. Yeah, good, good. It's all idle time. Now take it. No, 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 no. Like, like get, get to here so that the scout is here. And then the vills are just like bumping around it. Don't fight in the open like this. You want to scout, or you want to fight on a corner where he can't get units on this side. So you bait him into here. The scout is faster, so the scout is going to run here. Then you fight the scout. And then you get a surround on him. And then you just like run this way. Or just run around more. Um, but instead, you, you fought in open area where you got surrounded by the vills and died. It was still fine, but you can get a lot more value out of your men at arms if you just position them properly. It's the same with spearmen as well. Am I cat wants out again? Alright. Go on. Go on. Get some fresh air. Where'd the snowman come from? Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the best mod. Yeah, he's Snowman Rick. We need Snowman. We need to show him. Nice. Uh, what? <laughs> uh oh, that's open. That's gonna suck. I don't think there's any way you ever look down here. Unless you're actually double checking your walls. Which you should do. Like w when you click up to Castle Age, that's that's when I like to double check everything. Just like double check upgrades, double check walls, clicking up to Castle Age, pull back army, stuff like that. Um, so far you're up a vill. I wonder, did your opponent get? Like he's getting Town Watch now, so it's like basically up two bills. I'm assuming he doesn't have Wheelbarrow here. I want to check. I gotta check this. He doesn't have wheelbarrow. Okay, so you're actually really far ahead economically with the free wheelbarrow. Although he has free heavy plow or um, horse collar, so that is also pretty good. Hey, movable. Welcome back. <laughs> I should say. I'm still here. Oh, you see it because he just ran out. Oh, but it's a bait. It's a bait. Oh, run away. There's four scouts in your base now, man. You gonna get a Viper quick wall in the corner? Oh! He, he left it. That's pretty good, though. Too bad you're not full walled. You you actually need to small wall everything now. Before he get. Oh, okay, well, he's gonna throw a scout. That's good. You need to small wall this. You need to wall this. You have the spear, though, actually. And he has a almost dead one. No, no, fight this. Fight this. Yeah, good, good, good. You're gonna lose a Vill, but... Taking damage... Or, or taking damage uh, or HP off of these scouts is really good. Nice, nice. Now fight this. Nice. He shouldn't get anything more done then. So you lost one vill to kill those four scouts. It's probably worth it. Oh. Unless you go full potato. Oh, you're going to lose another one. Oh, no. That should never have happened. It happens, though. Oh, get him. Get him. Oh, he's gonna go for a snipe. Oh, you have a scout. Oh, okay, well that works. All right, let's go up. Ooh, that's too many farms. Think of it this way, like you're about to click up. Do you really need farms? Also, why get them at triple layer? They should be around the mill. These farms are very inefficient. I mean, you will get free hand cards, so it's not as bad, but still. Definitely cancel these ones. Because this is like 20 farms. That's like knights. Fairly good micro at defending. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Fairly good. That is true. No, why are we reseeding here when we could reseed here? And also, why are we even making this farm? So we have to think, like, what is the... What is the strat? Is it going to be crossbowmen? Possibly. It should be. 
probably. Crossbow and Pikemen, really great. I like it as Vikings. The extra HP on the Pikemen just make them really nice against Franks. Um, you could go for TCs, which looks like you might. But you're going to be floating a million food forever this game. That's my prediction. This is going to be like, you don't have anything but food. You don't have to get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had enough farms, but then you added these two and these two. If you didn't add these four, you would have been in a lot better position. That's 240 wood that could basically be a uh, TC. But now you're not going to have enough um, of other resources. Also, like, the way that you're taking gold is really bad. You're not even taking this one, and this is the most most efficient. Okay, this guy is now. But these guys, or these two women, they're taking the back gold, which is horrible. Like, you need to actually pay attention to this and click here. Send, like, two of them on this one. It'll just reduce bumping and just increase the actual resources that you get. Yeah, nine hours so far. We're going ten hours. Should have made more snow. <laughs> yeah. Stop making a few farms after a certain number. Oh, attacking. Oh, oh yeah, you're here. Um, yeah, after a... Well, it's not really a certain number. It, like, it depends on the stage in the game that you're at. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, you got in the one tile. That's really nice. But, yeah, he's up, so you know he's going knights. Denying that stable is really nice, though. That reduces the number of knights that he has in his army by a couple. Good, good. Look at this. 500 food. Let's see that number go down. It can't go down because there's nothing to spend it on at this point. <laughs> you already have everything. That's what always happens. It always is like this. So, even if you accidentally make these extra farms, it's like, okay, well, maybe I didn't need to make those farms. At least send some vills off of them just while up to castle age to wood or gold. So, like, imagine if you sent five... To gold. Or, or, like, think of it this way. Imagine if you had, instead of 500 food, you had 500 more gold. That's going to be used in archers. Obviously, you don't want 500 more gold. You'd want, like, 250 of this, 250 of this. Then you get another TC. It's going to be better. 16 farms when clicking up should be about right. Yeah, yeah. It depends on... It really depends on a lot of factors, though. But we, we've got wheelbarrow, though. It's going to be just too much. Like... It, it allowed us to get Pikemen here, which is good, though. Hey, Xavier. So, now that you're on two TCs, you're spending it. But you could have gone three TCs, honestly. And it would have been fine. I like your strategy, though, here. The unit composition. I really like adding Pikes as Vikings. Or any Civ that gets some kind of bonus for Pikes. Alongside the Crossbowmen. Like, you can go mangonels and monks and stuff like that, but I feel like just having a mobile army is really nice with the crossbow. Then you can hit different sides and try and actually get in. Whereas with monks and siege, you're kind of just attacking the front. Um... But you do need to get that third TC. There's really no reason to not have a third TC now. Ooh. See, all of these farms, you need a third TC before adding these farms. A <laughs> 2k one. Uh, no, this is, uh, what was it? A 1300 elo. 1300. Um, so now you're going to be able to actually go faster imp. If you, like, adding these farms is like if you want to go imp. Not a bad call here. You are kind of ahead in score, though, so you can just expand that advantage by adding eco. Thomas Austin awesome with a gifted sub. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Shiny new sub. You don't know where his army is, though. This is kind of scary. You don't know what he had. Well, you know he's going to be building knights. He had, like, three stables. Obviously, he's going knights. But you don't know how many... Like, imagine he shows up with, like, 40 knights now. You have five, six pikemen. Go, go in. 
Although you don't know, yeah, I like that you're going in with this guy. Uh, I guess that was unintentional, but send like one guy just just like around to see if he's got siege. Because if he has siege in here, then it's a bad idea to go in. This is like how you throw games. Oh, no ballistics yet. Uh oh. Well, that's something you need. I wonder if you get the university now, because you see that you don't have ballistics. Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, you could be doing so much more. <laughs> There's the siege shop. All right, well, you've already done pretty much what you needed to. Force him to build siege, which is a bit of an expense that he didn't want to really make. Don't go anywhere near that siege shop with your crossbowman ball, though. Because bad things will happen. Yeah, I like that you're making holes in his palisade walls. Like, you could have even made a hole up here, too. Give you a little bit more maneuverability. All right. Uh, what's his upgrades? Yeah. It would have been better to keep them together. Yeah, no, you have to run. Ay. Oh, no, the misclick. Oh, you have... Oh, get these this wave. Just sacrifice the pikemen to save the crossbowmen. Just bring them down here. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. Kill, kill the two that are on this side first when you're running like that. Don't even fight here. This is bad. Just, yeah, get into here and then watch out for Mango. There we go. This is beautiful. Now watch out for Mango. <laughs> Viking Pikes are no joke. Yeah, they're good. Oh, man. That was that was okay, though. Don't no, never, never go for the Mangonel like this with the Pike. Uh, you're not even going to get it. Oh, you got it. Okay. But you could have had like three more knights, which would have been a lot more useful to kill than the mangonel. You just you just kill the pikes and you retreat. You don't need to kill the mangonel. It's like how you don't go for spear kills with your early scouts. You're you're there to kill vills, whereas here your pikes were there to kill knights, not mangonel. Um, it w would have like reduced his number by like three, and then maybe you could have taken the fight. Because he's never going to catch you with the Mangonel. You just keep retreating. So you never have to fight it. Uh, until later on. But still. <laughs> uh, you need to get up to Imp. Wait, are we only 2TC? Ooh. Okay. Well, the opponent is only 2TC as well. Judging by the Vill count. So it's probably okay. I, I think you want to click Imp and then add a TC. Ooh, upgrades. Upgrades. Uh... I think going Imp and going Arb is going to be your best power spike here, instead of adding Castle Age upgrades. Like, you have enough. Like, these pikes are fine. He doesn't have that many units. You saw how many he had. He had, like, six knights left. Okay, seven. Yeah. Get Imp first and then upgrade. Exactly. That's going to allow you to power spike with Arb. Now you're just going to be late. You're going to be, like, up at the same time as him. So then he's going to have Cavalier, and you're going to have Arb. It's going to be kind of even again. Okay. Yeah, he's doing a lot of damage just by idling you. The only one that plays Viking in Japanese is the same. What, like Pike? Pike and Crossbone? Or Men at Arms into Archers? They are both very similar. Like, um, yeah. Yeah, Vikings and Japanese can play very similarly, actually. Very, very. There we go. Noise, noise. Need chieftain. The... Yeah, 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 you need the Chieftain tech, but but that's only once you're in Imp. It's very expensive. It Like, it would cost him all of his resources. It's 700, 500, is it? 700, 500. So it's like, it's like kind of a mini Imp, almost. Or it, it's even more expensive than Halberdier upgrade. It's not worth it right now. Obviously, Vikings don't get Halberdiers, but um, it's more expensive than that. <laughs> it's worth it once he gets up, though. Basically, the idea is you click him, and then you get chieftains as soon as you can. If pikemen is your, or, or pikemen or berserks are your units, or champions, I guess. But since our units, our real units here, are crossbowmen, it's better to go up for arb and um, bracer and chemistry. 
All right. How much longer am I streaming? Uh, a few more. One or two more. I am getting a little uh, tired here. <laughs> oh, oh no. Ah, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Microing into that. Um, yeah, that's a lot of weak units now. Might be worth it to just throw them in the castle for a little while. Units do heal faster in a castle than in other buildings. Herbal medicine is very not worth it, <laughs> but just putting them in the castle, just, you know, heal like 10 HP off of them is fine. Uh, chemistry is great because it unlocks Bombard can well, not Bombard Cans for Vikings, so they don't get them, but it unlocks, well, actually, they don't get any gunpowder, do they? Like, they, they don't have Bombard or Hand Cannons. Well, yeah, it is just plus one damage, but plus one damage when you're doing such little damage is actually very important. It's the difference between doing one damage and two damage a lot of the time. Yeah, very crucial. It, it's not about the ranged units, it's about low damage units. So it's the same for something like uh, Karambit Warriors. Every upgrade that you get is just so good because their base stats are so low. Vikings don't even have herbal medicine? Okay, well, I, I would never... I don't know who gets it and who doesn't get it. <laughs> That's, uh... That's one thing that I never research. It's just because, like, to make it useful, you have to have units sitting around. And usually at higher levels, you don't really sit around with units if you can't. Or if you don't have to. Okay, well, he just killed three of his own um, knights, so that's kind of good. Okay, we need arbs. Like, this is the thing with arbs, is that they're good against everything. Whereas if you just go full pikes, he just makes a counter. Because that's the thing, with building a counter unit, they... They hard counter what they're good at, but then they kind of aren't great against anything else. Or at least they, they have a lot more bad matchups than they have good matchups. But then the good matchups that they have are really good. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Where's chemistry? Can, you want to click chemistry quickly because it takes so long to research. Yeah. Arbalistos. Or your toast, amigo. Going up to Imp is taking longer. Nope, that's just you. You're playing the game more intelligently, maybe. Now you're actually, you're thinking of more things in, during that time. Maybe it seems like it's longer because you do more. I don't know. Uh, if, if you're up to Imp faster and you have ARBs, you have to get Trebs as a priority. The fact that you're not building Trebs here means, yeah, it means that you're missing your opportunity to actually attack. Berserk through a misclick? Okay, well, still. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you're building Trebs. And you're still not building Trebs, you don't have wood. Because you're reseeding farms. <laughs> oh, auto reseed coming back to bite again. Hmm. This is, this is why high level players just don't turn it on for a while because like there are certain timing things where you just can't afford to have three million farms expire and have no wood so much gold floating yeah yeah it's fine though you're gonna spend it on arbs wait how are you gonna spend it on arbs when you have two archery ranges yeah honestly just fought buy that's what i would do as well uh what's the market price it's not good but whatever just do it it's just yeah you need you need Trebs? Oh, wait. Oh, you have two in one? Okay, we need a Treb coming from here, too. You've actually, like, totally missed your your window, though. Oh, man. He's got Frank's cast. He's got three Frank's cast on a line? How are you going to push that? At least you have... No, you don't have the hill advantage because you have a hill here. This is ugly. These castles are just so good. He's got both hills that are important. This hill and this hill. Like, the only way you really easily kill that is if you get a castle here and treb down from here. Are you going for this one first? Oh, no, you're going for this one. Uh, you're still not on the hill, though. He's, like, three tiles. No. Wait, is that two tiles? Yeah, that's only two tiles up. I guess you're on even ground there. I think that's two tiles. What a flex with those castles. Yeah, well, they're good. This castle was kind of unnecessary, but these two were good. This castle should have been, like, in his economy, maybe. More production. Yep. Okay, we're getting them now. A little late. This is what I say. When you click up to Imp, 
That's when you add production facilities for him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need to push fast. Although, I think that the Frank Paladins will still die to pikemen with chieftains. Like, they're still fine. Or if you go Berserk. Although Berserk's not really on the table now. Maybe, actually. If if you had better scouting and you knew where the neutral gold... Like, if you knew where this was and you had relics, like this relic, this relic, this relic could be yours, then maybe you could make a transition to Berserk's. You have gold here, too. Uh, but at the moment, you just need to work on this arb ball. It actually, it's pretty big. Viking has no mobility. Yeah, yeah well, that is true. But... I don't know, you just have to have Pikemen in position. And honestly, like, Champions, pretty good raiding unit. That's, that's a lot of Cavs, but it's not unbeatable with this army. If you don't have map control and you're fighting a horde of Paladins, all it takes is one losing fight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, basically. And then they come and ruin your economy. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I see what you're doing here. Like, he's repairing this, so you attack this one. Actually, you might be able to sneak it. If he doesn't notice, you might be able to sneak this. This is actually good. I, I actually really... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Finish it off, though. Finish it off, man. What are you doing? All right. Well, you have five traps. You, you need to get the pikes in front, because he's going to attack you. See, this is the timing for him to attack, is when his castle is about to fall. This is, like, the longest that he can wait, is right before... Like, he should attack you now. So that he might be able to save his castles, but he's not he's not gonna. Um Yeah, if you can get this castle out, I would say just attack from the downhill. Yeah, try work on that. Just don't send these guys in first though. You need to send the pikes in first. And you're maxed. How many barracks? Only six? Only five. Um, so more production. Wait, do we do we have the unique tech? No chieftains. Ooh, ooh, you need chieftains. That's like, you cannot do anything until chieftains. This is a horrible wood line that you have to contend with. I don't know why you haven't killed this castle yet. Because it was like, a thousand HP a minute ago. Oh, now that, yeah, no chieftains. GG. It's such an important tag. Otherwise, your pikemen are garbage, actually. Chieftains is what makes them good. Yeah. Yeah. So, what kind of killed you was, you didn't add trebs fast enough, so it took you too long to push the castles. Oh, not view lock, fog of war. It's over, I'm not even going to look at that. Um, if you were able to push the castles, you could have maybe gotten a position here. Not having chieftains is also pretty important. Always two, two to one. Well, yeah, but chieftains though is kind of a weird one. I can't remember how much bonus damage it gives. Is it plus five? Isn't it more? I don't know. Anyways, it's pretty good. It helps, anyways. Not just focusing one castle. To yeah, yeah, exactly. Focusing one castle at a time would have been good. Having three traps on this side and two on this side was kind of bad. This was a really bad spot because of this wood though but you know what you knew you were up against paladins there's no reason not to just make a little stone wall like that the stone wall here just force him to funnel whereas where you fought he kind he was able to get like a big surround even if he was fighting uphill he was still surrounding stone wall just a little bit pikes are coming in way too late i don't think we ever got chieftains did we oh we did okay but at this point, you can never fight him with one pike at a time. Especially because they're not even attacking because of the rally point. So it's pretty over. Yeah, Halb is, uh, Halb is better. But Vikings just don't have access to it. Yeah, like 30 pike scares. And I think the issue was... Just not pushing fast enough, and then not having enough pikes, and, and then taking a bad fight as well. It's hard to position your units properly, but it is important. You have a bunch of resources still. Well, kind of. But once he's in, he's... Yeah. 
Prank Paladin. They can just create one unit and kill you if you're not completely prepared for it. Yeah, yeah. A couple of monks is still good, because you can heal your units, and then also, you, you should be able to get, like, two conversions, and then focus on microing. Two or three, depending on your APM. But, it's not gonna make a huge difference in the fight, but it, it will still swing it a little bit. You really should have had the relics. When the game goes this long, it, it's good to at least start thinking about it. I do like that you expanded up here, though. Um... Yeah, it's really tough. Like, you could have tried to go Berserk. If you could have gotten to Berserk... Berserk kill all. Berserks are just so good. But that's only with Elite, and that's only with Chieftains. And Berserker Gang's obviously really good too, so... Yeah. Yeah, the losses... Yeah, definitely, we were starting to fall behind at one point. Berserkers are faster as well, so you can raid a lot easier. Just the problem is you need castles. It's a good game. Berserker, Pike, Mango. Yeah. Well, Vikings do get Siege Engineers, so their onagers are pretty good. That's a pretty good death ball. Look at that. Like, we were ahead and then died of Franks. But we missed a big timing window. What happened here? Must have taken a bad fight. I can't remember. That was... Oh, that was when... That was when uh, we went in. And there was that one mangonel. And we threw a bunch of pikes against that mangonel. That's what happened here. I'm pretty sure. Alrighty. It was good. Okay, one or two more, depending on how long the games are. Let's, uh, let me set it up. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, we get everyone in there. Keyword is one. All right, guys, say one. If you want in to the possibly final game. Alrighty. See you, Atomic Sausage. Thanks for joining. Let's roll it. What? It, how, how can Nightbot win? What is this garbage? Alright, let's roll it again. That doesn't even make any sense. It's hammer time. I didn't even realize Nightbot could win. When did Nightbot say won? Hammer time didn't enter? What is this garbage? What? I'll roll it again. Unless hammer time wants in. Wait, yeah, you're not even... Wait. You must be in the list. Yeah, put you in the list. Uh... I don't even know. Maybe it didn't, like, take, in to take the thing into account. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I'll, I'll roll it again. Uh, Gray B. Who dat? <laughs> I feel like it just rolled random people. There we go. All right. Yeah, I have the keyword in there and everything, so. Whatever. Um. Yeah. Do you want to go... Do a live game, or do you have a uh, replay? 
Either way. Send a replay. Okay, cool. Are you in my Discord? You can send it in the coaching channel in the Discord. Almost 10 hours. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. I think I can play one more tune. I'll play one more tune while we're waiting for the replay. It's not quite too late. It's like almost 9. But it's Sunday tomorrow, so it's fine. Uh, what should I play? I didn't play Rondo Isle of Turkey yet. Let's do it. started when I was younger oh switch to this one basically started when I was younger um, but I didn't really play much until I was in high school there'll be another round ah uh, maybe how long is this game great I can get a few more of these replays done maybe like in a couple days if they haven't patched the game like, I'm probably get Yellow Jacket posted on there. There's a few who uh, posted in their Discord as well that didn't get in, but about 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll do one more. Maybe I'll do one more after this. Because we can we can speed through it. Because it's Arena, so we can get through... What's the ELO, actually? 
This is not fortress. This is arena. <laughs> Slightly different maps. Actually, very different maps. They just both have walls. Uh, 1,000 to 1,100. Okay, cool. That is a different gray. <laughs> Can't see a one. I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, Nightbot won it, so I I have no clue. Like, I, I think it was just detecting people who had chatted during that time, but I had one. Or I, I had it set to supposed to only select people with one, but I don't know. <laughs> you fell asleep while watching the stream? Yeah. I'm getting it that way. I'm gonna be sleepy. I am sleepy. Someone typed ELO. <laughs> oh. Oh, and then the night bot probably had like a one in it. Yeah, yeah, it's probably picking a one anywhere in the message. Do I ever get coached by a higher level player? No, no, I never do. Okay, so far so good. This arena is um, pretty standard. The early game in arena doesn't really matter too much. As long as you bring in your boars, you push your deer. It doesn't really matter too much the order in which you do things. Because, yeah, you just have to click up the right time. Like, obviously it matters at a higher level, but, like, it's it's not really a big deal, actually. <laughs> okay. Delete, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a good thing to point out. You should delete all these walls in the back, because they aren't doing anything, but they are blocking farm space for later. Yeah, honestly, if you can't control your scout, just auto-scout them. It's gonna be better. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Split them up. I like that. It's good, good, good. Ooh, we're going up to feudal a little fast. Can you get to Castle Age? I, I think you needed one more vill. Maybe. Maybe with the Lith bonus. I don't ever really play Lith here. So... Maybe with that extra 150 food, you might be okay. It'd be great if DE generated arena without the walls in the back. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes maybe you'd want them. Probably not. There, we get the delete. Good, good, good. The entire base, the tower maze of farms and houses. Yeah. I mean, that would be cool. <laughs> it would look cool. Towers are pretty expensive, though. To be functionally good. Oh no! That's actually really bad because you're you're actually stretched for food here. I think you went up one bill too early. To feudal, I think you needed to be up on twenty four pop instead of twenty three. Wait, four towers around a town center is way more damage than a castle? I don't think so. Pretty sure a castle does more damage. Unless you garrison the tower, but... Anyways. Yeah, that made you create the extra vill. Exactly. You'd rather have the vill, vill working throughout um, the time that it takes to click up to, to Feudal Age, though. So, you could have had an extra... I don't know, like 40 resources, 50 resources from having that vill earlier. With garrison, yeah, yeah. But it requires a bunch of vills, though. I don't know. You have to, like, garrison each one. and It's, it's a lot of effort. It will look cool, but it won't be functionally good at higher levels anyways. Okay, we're going up at a pretty good time. The opponent hasn't even gotten up to Feudal Age yet, so your build is more solid than his. Lith, Lith build uses less gold miners? Uh, they shouldn't. You only need two gold miners if you skip Loom. We skip Loom, so two gold miners. But if you don't skip, or yeah, if you get loom, then you go three. But you don't need loom if you're just booming on arena. Oh no. They always like to do this. It's so annoying. They're, they will never get fixed. Okay, they got fixed. Never mind. But still a lot of idle time. They're going to chop through this now though, and then it'll be fine. <laughs> okay so it's really hard to take the relics when the opponent still has his scout alive 
So what you could have done is, since you're up to Feudal Age faster, try and find a scout in Dark Age and just chase him. And then once you reach Feudal Age, you get the movement speed bonus and the attack, and then you can actually kill him. But now, it's kind of sketchy to actually take a relic, because when you send the monk out, he just dies to the scout. You only have a scout, so you actually can't kill his scout fast enough. But let's speed it up a little bit here. Yep, TC good. TC good. Okay, so far so good. Force Caller, double bit should have come up when you clicked up to Castle Age, but it's not a big, big issue. It's not gonna really change the outcome of the game, I would say. Okay, we got six farms. We definitely need to focus on that farm count, but honestly, as Lithuanians, I think you should have delayed one of the TCs and got a Monastery to try and take Relics, because you're up so quickly. Oh, so you didn't go for the Relics. Ah, okay, I thought... I thought you chose Lithuanians here to get the Relic bonus. Anyways, either way, it's fine. Um, you're going to be way ahead in Villagers pretty soon. Because your boom was started way earlier. Your, bo your build was a lot smoother than your opponent's. Especially if your opponent goes for Relics here, then it's like he's super far behind in his boom. And then you just kill him and him. Cat is just indecisive here. Come on, go outside. So indecisive. Lith not contending for relics. Yeah, it happens. It happens. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a thousand to a thousand one hundred elo. It's gonna get worse. Yeah. Well, so far it's actually been really good. You have enough farms to keep your three TCs running. That's great. At this point, like twenty farms, you don't actually need to add any more right away. Like I, I think you should invest into a monastery here for sure. Adding the farms means that it's like, okay, I'm going to go to Imp. I'm going to boom to Imp. Lith needs Relic to hold against Malians. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be a really tough matchup. Because Lith, they don't get Arb. Like, they're kind of just... Cavalry and Monk? Yeah, so that's basically a Cavalry Sigilization. Because you don't mass Monks. <laughs> no supplies. We're also missing the armor. So you can't really go as Champions. You basically have to just choose one of these or do both. We don't have Siege Engineers. We don't have Scorpion, like Heavy Scorpion. Got Bombards, which is fine. And Hand Cannons, but still. Molly and Siege, without Siege Engineers, it's like, it's kind of bad. They can go for... Yeah, they can go for Onagers, but no Siege Engineers. Um, Yeah, well, yeah, we have fully upgraded house, so... Or no, 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 sorry, we don't have the final armor, so they're not even fully upgraded. Like, you can go for helps, but kind of bad. I am still here. I think I'm going to do one more after this, and then I'm going to be done. I started the stream at 11 a.m. so that I could finish up before it got too, too late. They only missed one melee armor, because... Oh! Oh, yeah, I forgot about the unique tech. Extra pierce armor. Oh, okay, okay, so it's not as bad. It's like Indians. All right. And I guess their guys are a little bit faster as well, because it's Lithuanian's bonus, so... They're actually probably worth it, then. One melee armor off of Halbs. It's whatever. Okay, yeah, we got, like, we even have houses coming. Your boom is good. Like, when you're not being pressured, this boom is good. This camp, it pains me to say, but it would have been better, like, here. <laughs> right next to the gold camp. You're not even taking gold. I, I think you need to transfer to gold now, otherwise you're really, actually, you need to transfer to gold, like, a minute or two ago. Because you're not going to have enough to go imp now. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. This needs to be not touching. It needs to be here. One tile away. Touching is only good when you only have, like, four on that. But you're gonna want, like, eight. Is the fourth TC worth it here? Uh... Maybe... I wouldn't do it, though. I would just stick three TC. Four TC, you're gonna be up so, so late. Yeah, your opponent is taking relics, too. I bet you're... Yeah, look. You're, so, you're like, 20 vils up. 
because the opponent invested into Monastery and he was up late. And he invested into Stable too, so. One camp for both, like here? <laughs> it's not bad actually. Could have been here and that could have been for both. But he got this mining camp earlier to get gold. Although, he should have gotten a mining camp on this one first, probably. Although, actually, I guess taking the forward gold is not bad. Why pros always go for the relic stable? Uh, well, because pros will be up earlier, and they'll they'll go for relic stable, but then also boom properly behind it. Um, whereas Ace, he he add, he probably invested like too much into his military. Pros know how much is uh, enough to invest. Wait a sec. Oh yeah, we got pikemen. Wait, why? Uh... Like, why did he... Why did he get pikemen? He's not Ethiopians. He had to research that. So, yeah, pros... Pros would not get pikemen for two pike... Or, sorry, pikemen upgrade for two units. For no reason. They would invest that resource into the boom. So... Yeah, like, like, it's worth it to fight over the relics. But if you're not going to fight over the relics, then you have to do a big attack in early imp. Because that's your timing where you're actually ahead. And then if you don't kill your opponent, he has five relics. Well, you're going to have a bad time. 3TC plus stable monastery. Yeah, you will, what you do is you go stable in Feudal Age as one of your prerequisite buildings. You add the monastery, and then once you can add the TCs, you add them. So, so you, you can't actually get all of it right away. Um, but you get the two TCs as soon as you can after adding the Monastery. Which is, like, you don't have to wait too long. Supplies. Supplies. What? Wait, for, oh, that was for, for blue. What? <laughs> well, that's kind of weird. That's, uh... Is he going to spam units now, or is he just getting the upgrade? One relic. Yeah, one relic is actually worth a gold shaft mining miner. It's They're pretty good. Because they give you 30 gold per minute. Like 0 0.5 gold per second. And that's how fast a gold shaft mine um, worker works. Sea Chow Longswords. Oh, yeah. That'd be big. Imagine some longswords in the base right now. It would just be GG. I love that you're actually walling against that, too. These walls are beautiful. Scouting is banned in arena. Yeah. Supplies is so expensive for what it does. And you don't want to get it this early because you want to be investing into your economy. Yeah. It takes a very long time to pay for itself. And then that's just breaking even. And resources now are much more important than resources later, to an extent. So if you spend your resources now on something that helps you later, then it's uh, it's not always a good investment. <laughs> Ten some survivalist energy so I can reach 1500 a day. Oh, I don't know. I don't have much myself. <laughs> Like real life. So, we're floating a lot of food and clicking up to imp kind of late. Just because you want to click up when you have a thousand food, but you're basically like 3,000 food now with the imp upgrade. So, like I was saying, you needed to go to gold earlier. Like your boom was good, but you didn't know when to actually stop producing farms and send to gold. So that, that needs to... You just need to go to gold faster and you'll be up way, way faster. I like the petards. Just, just like bust in and see what he's doing. Not a bad play. Wait. where Where's your castle? Oh, it's here. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. It only requires two petards to get in. Both click imp at... Yeah, basically the same time. <laughs> That's funny. Crazy eco looks way cleaner than yours. Yeah, honestly, this eco is looking nice. This is looking pretty good. 
too many farms, honestly, at this point. Unless you're gonna spam cap, like you should not be spamming light cap here. You should be spamming knights, because you have gold and you have gold income. Yes, you have a lot of food, but your knights are a, a much better use for this food. You know what you should do is you should sell some food while you can. Oh, what's the price? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sell like two thousand of that food right now. Well, not two thousand, maybe a thousand five hundred. And then, just go Cavalier. You're both up at the same time, so the game continues. I like that you're getting a castle to secure these. Uh, what do I do to my mini mount? There we go. Okay, you see he's going long swords. Um, yeah. Like, actually just go Cavalier and you win. Because he didn't go Camel. If you go Hussar, you're throwing. Because <laughs> champions are really, really good at, at killing trash units. And there's no reason to open a trash unit. You haven't spent your gold on anything, really. So, you, you actually are just relying too much on the food. Like, you actually have to send these 14 bills just to take this. All of these need to go here, to this gold, and just take so much gold and go Cavalier. Or, or go Lightus. You don't have enough castles for Lightus, but still. Not a good idea to open with a trash unit. Yeah, exactly. On Arena, especially. Just, you have all the gold in the world to make an army of good units to start. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they don't get halves, so... Or wait. Yeah, 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 they don't get it. Cause they have to get um, heavy camels. Here, we'll go to the Malian's tech tree. So, like, they get Farimba extra attack on their heavy camels, so they're kind of... That's just their option for this. They're kind of, like, Malians are weird. They're a good sieve, but they're a bit weird because of that. Yeah, if they kill knights, they especially kill Hazar. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can't worry about throwing away gold units in the mid game. You only try and, you should only try and conserve your gold in the super late game, really. Like, at this stage, there's no reason to have cues of Hazars. Wait, do you, do you have conscription or no? Oh, you have conscription. Okay, good. Yeah, you, you can't raid. Oh, uh, actually. Oh. Is he actually full wall? Yo, this is sick. This raid is so good. At a higher level, um, people are gonna have castles and stuff on the sides, though. Yo, next level strats. Let's go. <laughs> Look, and, and Gray's economy is insanely better than Ace's already. So this is actually, like... This is devastating. This should not work, though. Like, imagine if you put one more house here. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's just dead. This blue guy is just dead. It doesn't even matter. You can throw unlimited hussars into this. He, he can't replace his army. You kill it once, and he loses. He kept his back walls. Yeah, yeah, but at the cost of having no farm space. I guess he had space back here, but... Yeah. It, you usually want to move the... Like, the reason he didn't need the farm space is that um, he, he only had 80 bills and not 110. So, yeah. Wow, uh, Blue is dead. He has 13 bills. I hope you don't GG, because you can't kill this army. Because you can kill this army if you just mass up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He needs Cavalier. He needs to stop producing Hussars. Just just full Cavalier against this. Even if these were Halves, it, it wouldn't even matter. You'd still rather have Cavalier instead of Hussars. I mean, yeah, you can never really get back there. 3,500 gold, yeah. Like, like, yeah, you could make anything but Hussar, and it will kill this. You can make Crossbowmen. Castle Age Crossbowmen. It's gonna be bad. Actually, no, cross, Castle Age Crossbowmen would be worse, because of his fierce armor, but still. Um... <laughs> yeah, we need production inside. Yeah, you know what you do here is you go, you go hand cannons. That's really the way. Hand cannons. 
We need a university, we need chemistry, and hand cannons. Because he has no economy. You're killing TCs with that little Hussar raid. Does Blue just have a million banked up? Here, let's see. Oh no, he's at the limit. Except for gold. He's at the limit. You need to you need to kill these. Like you have Hussar. Well you had Hussar. Snipe these. Go Scorps? Yeah, 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 exactly. Hand cannon would be the best option, but uh, like oh he's doing it too. What? Nice. Okay, well this game's easy then. Unless he gets in, actually. Actually, we don't have production. Still only like two. Okay, so you have a million resources, just like Make, make like 10 archery ranges. And me fool. Extra pierce armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scorps are still bad here, but they would still be better than nothing. Lithuanians don't even get heavy scorp or siege engineers, so they're, they're actually horrible. <laughs> but, I mean, they will do some damage. <laughs> I've been streaming for such a long time. Yeah, it's been a very long time. I'm going to do one more after this and then go off. Hussars again, more Hussars! We need more Hussars! Yeah, it's just the unit composition choice here. Like, that raid, if that raid didn't absolutely destroy Blue, then this game would have been over. But since that raid actually killed Blue's economy, Red should still win this. Like, he just needs the hand cannon. He needs more hand cannons, really. And then it's easy game, easy life. It's getting overrun, though. These champions aren't even here. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sad. This is... This is getting a little dicey, guys. Okay, the, the hand cannons are doing work. We need to queue up more, though. Don't lose the hand cannons. Yeah, pull them back. Just let the Hussars tank. Good, good, good. Nice. These, these things will die. Just don't lose your hand cannons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight them. Alright, looking good. Oh, nice. We Okay, I, I bet GG, or I bet Blue GG's when he loses these trebs. Yeah, there's no way that Blue can push this now. There's too many hand cannons. This is so GG now. Like, he actually just can't win. Nice. Well played. It's over. That was looking a little dicey there for a sec. If you didn't add those, add those hand cannons, you would have actually just lost. <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's so dead. You, yeah, you can take this out with Hussars now. <laughs> that was close. It's over. It's over. There's nothing Blue can do here. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty dicey, though. Like, if Blue had just sent his guys in, instead of just had his champions go around this side for no reason... The game could have ended. He could have gotten in on these archery ranges and just, like, Red would have lost if um, Blue had just gone in instead of had his champions here. <laughs> he didn't even try to defend the raid. Yeah, he was just focused on the push, which, all right, it's fine. Nice game. Um, what did we really learn from that? Uh, I think the main thing is that when you're booming, you have to eventually realize, okay, I need to go to gold so that I can get up to imp. That was the biggest issue. Yeah, he did try to reboot. Yeah, yeah. Don't open with, Yeah, don't open with trash. Open with a gold unit. Like, you're floating so much gold. You, you, you were so far ahead in economy because your your economy was good. Um, But, yeah. Like, more production facilities as well would be really, really useful because even when you were building mass Hussars, you, were, you had like five in each production queue. Just, just make, like, double the stables that you had. Make, make like, 15 of them. Um, yeah, that was solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, at higher levels, you, you just can't get the batards to the gates. Because the, the enemy just sees all. And, and the enemy would just quick wall that out real quick. But, uh, I mean, that worked really well. GG. Okay, I'm going to do one more roll here, guys. And then we will sleep. Okay, get the keyword. All right, 
say one if you want in. I'm going to roll it. Let's roll it. Whoa, yellow jacket. Amazing. You've been here for a while, too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I know you already posted. Let's get right to it. <laughs> How long will it take to get the YouTube? Uh, it usually takes like a couple of days to actually upload it. It's kind of weird. Oh my god, what did I do? I double clicked it and then it like wouldn't let me get out of opening it in Windows. Oh yikes, it's all Microsoft. Or it's all I'm trying to open my AOE records in Firefox now. Hopefully that doesn't kill anything. It should be fine. Alright. Nice. Is my internet good? Yeah, it's good here. Should be really good. All right, Rexon. Okay, so this is the highest level match of the day today. These are players that I actually fight on ladder <laughs> quite frequently. Should be a good one to end the stream with. <clears throat> Malians, Persians, it's just the same, like, five sieves today. There's there's only five sieves in the game. Is that just a common thing in Canada where it's populated? Uh, not, not necessarily. I'm in a fairly, like, a medium-sized city. So, that's why. Like, I'm not in any rural area. I'm in the capital of BC. Like, it's the capital city, so it's, it's pretty big. My cat's scared of the wind. It's like, he can't hear the wind and then he wants to go out. And then I open the window and he's like, I don't want to go out anymore. 666. Six, six. Number of the beast. All right, let's go. So, I mean, there's not really going to be too much um, happening here. But... Uh, are we drushing? What? Isn't that what that kanji is? Or am I stupid? Oh, I'm, I'm studying Japanese. That's why I know. <laughs> I was wondering why you posted that. I know I know quite a few, uh, like, common kanji. I, I know, like, 1,100 now? Something like that. So I, I know... I know at least, like, the common ones. I know my numbers, at least. <laughs> uh, anime fan? Yeah, I like anime. Anime's good. Oh, what is it? Okay. Yo, Yellow Jacket. Why are you walling like this? You know there's a gold here. There's literally no reason not to just wall this. What's my favorite anime? I don't, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. Soul this, eh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's good to know. Yeah, you really needed to actually just wall here. Like, having another safe gold, and then it would save your wood line, too. Like, <laughs> Subarashi. 
We all know Japanese now. Have I watched Claymore? No. Actually, like, is this? Wait, let's let's see. Oh, yo! Imagine a wall here. If you had better scouting, like, this would have been so good. I guess it's a bit far away. Like, you can you can wall behind easier here. Still, I, I still say this would have been way better. Anyways, uh, let's get back to it. I'm trying to pass Japanese N three. Oh, so we're at about the same level then. That's you, you're probably a little bit ahead of me. Oh yeah, I'm kicking my cat out because he's like he's dumb. <laughs> Just throw him outside. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So it, the reason why I knew it was going to be a drush is uh, he went four on wood. Going four on wood is pretty standard for a drush. Imagine microing your militia and having <laughs> so many idols. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, it was necessary. Oh, you microed and you didn't even do anything. Oh, <laughs> you lost that fight so hard. Aya. Omae wa mo shindeiru. You worked for J in Japan for a year. Oh, well, that's that's pretty cool. I've never even been there. I'll have to go after Corona's done. I at least I at least have one Japanese friend who visited my city, and I met him then. Okay. Uh, so what's the plan from here, as Malians? We gonna go archers? I guess we must go archers, obviously. Having six on gold, this is 100% archers. Oh, he's going towers. This is the first tower rush we've seen all day. Lower, lower elo players just don't even tower rush. Oh, oh, the Dark Age walls, yo. Coming in clutch for Puerco Black. Yeah, I like, I like this, this is good. This is the way to stop the tower rush. Oh, but he has two more coming in. This is a disaster. Whoa, he went crazy with the men at arms. Oh, you could have gotten a wall there. There was a small timing where you could have gotten a wall up. And I think you really needed to. Ooh. Oh, it's not in range. Okay, you can fight this, though. Just just don't lose Vils. Yeah, he knows, though. He's going to back up. Was that a delete? Oh, you deleted. Oh, okay, never mind. I wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> this is like eight, ah, uh, sorry, like 1900 ELO. It's higher level. 1900, actually, actually, Puerco Black goes up to 2k sometimes, I think. It's like 1900, 2k. We tried Tower Rush, but it makes the opponent so salty. <laughs> well, <laughs> opponent just needs to learn to stop it. It's... Pretty much just super commonplace at higher level. Nice. The fact that his men at arms are down here, that 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 made it so that Yellow Jacket was able to safely take out the tower and not be attacked by this. So so actually, Porco Black should have kept his men at arms here. Cause or, or at least he should have full walled the tower in. He was like kind of doing it, but he didn't do it fast enough. All right. Um, ranges are up kind of slow because you had to deal with all this, but it's not bad. At least you're spending. Horse collar, I like it. Honestly, like you feel like you have to skip horse collar for a lot of archer builds, but I don't know. I don't think I don't think it's actually all that good. Men at arms mod. Uh, it is a 2020 winter mod. It makes men at arms into snowmen. I don't know. I like it. Four men at arms plus towers against the 2k. It can work. It can work. Yeah, 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 they're they are snowmen. 
It doesn't really make sense because we're playing on Arabia, but eh, whatever. Two degrees takes a while to pay off for, for horse collar. Well, the thing is, is that if you don't get horse collar, you're refreshing farms at a very important time when you want to get town centers and you want to spend your wood on other things, which is basically like early castle age is when you have to replace them. So instead of getting TCs, you're getting a bunch of farms. Snowman warriors are historically accurate. Yeah, of course. Of course. Played a game the other day where forgetting horse collar literally costs you the game. Yeah, yeah. It's like you don't have the the resources to refresh the farms, but then you need the food, but then you need the wood, and it's like, ah, dead. You need horse collar for heavy plow anyways. Yeah, yeah, well, that is true. Heavy plow is a good upgrade. Getting the plus one carry capacity, but the thing is, is that it's actually the least important upgrade for economic techs in castle age because that one takes a while to, to pay off like i think if you skip horse collar in dark age maybe you should try and rush out heavy plow and then have like better farms for that cycle is that a forward on the minimap no it's his archers actually yeah, i should be paying more attention to these sneaks for both bit axe and horse collar yeah <laughs> Ooh. This should do a lot of damage. Yeah, go down here. I like it. Oh, you gotta get closer, man. Oh, he knows now. You're only gonna get like two of these now. Okay, you're gonna get three. You could have gotten like four though. At least. If you'd gotten in close. Because you didn't even know. I don't know, go over here. What are you doing? Why are you going back here? Oh, she's open here? That's so yikes, but you need to go over here. Like, what does he have? Okay, he doesn't. I mean, you could have forced him off of more farms. I don't know why you're going this way. What MMR am I? Uh, I'm like 2k40 or 2 2047 right now, I think. Something like that. Pretty okay. If you're archer build, you just have one TC go to wood and the other golden castle. Uh Wait, what? Like, like go go for two TCs or something? I don't know what you mean. Um. Well, if you're going archers, you you can usually afford to just have three TCs, because the idea behind going crossbowmen is you cr create all of your archers in feudal age, and then you spend your built up food and gold on upgrades for them, and then you add the TCs right away. So you basically have this huge ball of crossbowmen, and then you're also booming behind it. Obviously, you're adding crossbows as well, but they're, they're not super expensive. You, you kind of want to have three CCs, though. He's getting a stable, though, so it's going to be hard to go knights as well. But one more TC is still going to be fine. Oh, oh, like for farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to just have... Like, like, 12 farms is fine. Something something like that. If you're going archers, 18 is a lot, but he's adding knights as well. Oh, he's actually switching. He's doing a tech switch to knights. Uh, actually, I would know that if I was looking at the researches. So, this amount of farms is good. Um, So, what he's going to do, he really wants to keep his army alive here. Because then he's going to be able to hit with knights and just a few crossbowmen in the back. And what the crossbowmen do... Okay, crossbow camel, yeah, yeah, whatever, same thing. Um, what the crossbowmen do is they pick off vills, they pick off monks, and they pick off pikemen, which are sort of the three things that you need them to do. Um, and then the camels are there to kind of kill everything else. Basically the knights. Oh, what? what? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you were going to just, like, give that up. Wait. What? Oh, you needed the stone for a TC. Oh, man. Because you were collect, you were long distancing stone. Because you got the watchtower. Fair play, fair play. Uh, where's the TC going? <sighs> Not a fan of that TC location. You already have a lumber camp here, although it's kind of worn out. But I don't know. I would have gotten it like here. Because you know, where knights are back here, you you probably would have had enough time to get it up. And then you also have this ball of crossbowmen. 
But getting it here is kind of not very good. You already have a bunch of woodcutters, so when you're queuing fills here, you're just gonna have way too many here. N near the golden wood, like like here. Oh, then he goes forward. Yeah, then he goes forward siege, and then you uh, <laughs> then you lose that right away. Um, I like it here because even if he goes forward siege, it's it's kind of far away. Getting ballistics when adding camels. Uh, yeah, I don't know about the ballistics here. Like he, you're not committing. I kind of dislike the ballistics. It's very expensive. Like, if you were going full crossbow, yeah, it would make sense, but you're switching to full camel. So, getting ballistics for, like, 16 crossbow, I mean, it can be okay, but... I don't know. Yeah, I, I think investing that into more farms and taking this gold... You need to take this gold soon. And just having more camels would have been better. Hello, Champion Rev. The, it, like... If you think about it, so ballistics is 200 plus 300 wood. So 500 wood, 175 gold. Like that's that's 675 resources, which that's like, what? What is that? Uh, I guess it's like six or seven, seven camels? Something like that. I'd rather have seven more camels. I'd rather have twice the number of camels here than ballistics. Like, like, imagine you had 14 camels. You could actually take this. But now you have ballistics, which, duh, you don't really need when he's going siege. Yeah, it's good against the knights, but you really don't need ballistics here. I, I guess if you go on raid, it's fine. Ballistics is essential for t picking off bills. <laughs> what easel is this? No, I swear, they're actual 1900 players. Building discount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mollings have the building discount, too. I forgot about that. That's big. That actually allows you to just kind of get production facilities and not really care too much. I guess you get a building discount in the university as well. It's not huge, though. Oh, wait. Your university works faster. I forgot about that. Is that... Hmm. That's pretty good. But 15% off, that's like 30 wood. I mean, it's not its not anything crazy <laughs> for, for the university. Okay. I like that you're trying something here. It's going to force him to bring his knights back. And he can't fight you with just knights, I think. Oh, you need to pay attention, though. Oh, why are you in, like, why are you in split formation? Somebody was doing this earlier as well and, like, took a horrible fight with split, split formation. Oh, whoa, 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 dude. You know where you need to fight? You need to fight here. You're fight. What? Like, why are you fighting uphill? Oh man. Yeah. Like walking this way towards his monks in siege made no sense. You needed to go in, or you needed to go this way. But now you lose everything. Cause you fought a little bit uphill and then couldn't disengage because he's got mobility to kill the crossbowman. So that that was really bad. Your eco is still ahead, though, so you're not dead. There we go. We're taking the gold. Good. Not too late, either. Like, I, you probably could have gotten a little earlier, but that's that's still fine. We're not super, super late with this. Get rid of these, though. They're just going to be annoying when you want to place farms. But yeah, horrible fight. You need to find a choke that was away from his siege. Like, you know his siege is in the middle, so just go anywhere but the middle. And then you know that... Your entire army is here, whereas half his army is here. Half of his military investment, I should say, is here. So your full military investment will be able to take half of his. If you just take a hill and uh, you have camels. And yeah. So going here would have been way better. Like, what does he even have here? He just, he's not even walled properly. Like, this, you'd get through this instantly and you just come down. He's got to bring his siege back and then, then he's not really pressuring. Going imp. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I guess we can check his res. Nope. He's just idle. He's just not building any. He's, I guess he's building up units, but... Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. That that monk. K kill the Scorps and go out. Don't like don't don't fight his his main army. If you're gonna do anything here, kill the Scorps. This is gonna be a bad fight. You'll lose this fight. Yeah, at least just kill the Scorps and get out. 
Because he's not going to replace the Scorps. So at least you do something. Okay, yeah, you got the monks. There we go. Nice, these should die. Oh, I don't like how you did that, though. I think you shift queued them or something? I don't know. You, you should have split one off to just snipe this. It's fine. Yellow half the vills. Not half. What? We're the same. Uh, what are the upgrades like? Yeah, so you have plus two and he only has plus one, but he has camels, so... It's kind of tough. Oh, no. I guess he doesn't have hus... Wait, yeah. Does he have husbandry? It doesn't look like it, otherwise the camels would be cha... Or the camels would catch up. Yeah, he doesn't have husbandry, so that's actually saving your knights here. The fact that... Um... The fact that you have husbandry and he doesn't, you can actually get away. Just barely. The mo that, That's why if you go camels, it's really good to get husbandry if you're going up against knights. Because then you can actually just chase them down. Whereas now you actually... Sh well, you're probably not going to get them out. Nah, yeah, you just click them away. But you could have gotten them out. Okay. Uh, I don't think he wants to come in. If he, What you do now, you un-garrison one vill, you trap him in. He loses his whole army. Oh, he's just, he, this is such a, such a dumb play by him going in. Why? He's just going to lose everything. All right. I mean, you could have, no, no, that was a good fight. It's fine. That, that was such a, such a potato play right there. Um, so you, okay, so what do we know right now? We know he threw his entire army, or at least a good portion of it. So, and you didn't lose much. Now is the time to attack, because guess what? He doesn't really have much, because you just kill his whole army. You have 18 versus 7. Yet you're sitting here with the knights for no reason. You gotta send the knights forward. You, you have to go and attack him now. That's, like, when you do a big fight like this, and you kill his whole army, just just go and attack. You have mobile units. If if it turns out he spam more units, we'll just fall back. It's fine. Yeah, wall up. Just wall this up and, and go for a counter. Taking this out is fine, but I think getting, trying to, like, I would send one or two guys up here. I like that you're going, like, all in stable units, but I think you do need to have some camels. Take control of the hill, yeah, but you don't have stone for a castle, so there's only so much you can do. Just sitting here is not an effective use of your time. He's still, like, nine military, so you're, you're kind of missing your opportunity here. I think you're still in a really good spot, though. Like, it's the same fill count, but you you have the initiative now. You can take relics. Although, wait a sec. Oh, wait. Actually, there might be a relic in here. How many relics are in here? Just one. It's fine. Um, Forging is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're fighting, like, camels and knights, I like to get plus two attack. Like, I like to get iron casting before getting plus two armor. Plus two armor is great for versus ranged units, but I'm pretty sure that the extra attack will allow you to shred through camels faster with the knights, and that's gonna just pay off more. I'm pretty sure. Plus you can kill buildings faster. But plus two armor is gonna be way better when up against crossbowmen. Okay. Well, you took that out, so that's good. Forging is just cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna have... If you can only get two upgrades, just get 1-1. One, one. The extra attack is negligible to the bonus damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, like, when you have knights and you're versing enemy camels or enemy pikes, you want to have attack so that you can kill the enemy counter units faster. Whereas trying to tank through the enemy counter units aren't isn't going to be a good time. You want to kill them faster, so you want attack. Hmm... You, you kind of insist on attacking him from his most fortified area. Like, is, is he? Yeah, this would be a good spot. It's kind of in the back of his base, but still. This would have just been a very good spot to attack. Going down here is... Yeah, it's leaving your front open, isn't it? Oh, he's here. Oh, nice wall. Sick wall, actually. I doubt that you wanted to get a siege shot back here. Nice thinking, because you needed one anyways. In order... Oh, wait, no, you didn't need one to go up, because you have these two. Whatever. Nice wall. 
Uh, why are we adding pikes now? I don't know about that one. You need to go up to Imp. Not get pikemen. Because, uh, yeah. Getting the pikemen upgrade is kind of expensive. You didn't see the castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Oh, man, you're still adding pikes. That doesn't make any sense at this point. We're at 100, 101 bills and not up to ca um, not up to Imp. You're full boom and not up to Imp, so you have to get up to Imp at this point. Castle Age units, they're, they're at the end of their usefulness, really. Yeah, it could be workshop, monastery, or university, but then also, or just a single castle will count for both. You have a lot of options. Actually, Crepost works like a castle as well, by the way. Counts for the two prerequisites. They're playing Magyars versus Camel Civ, and they go camels to counter your knights. Our Cav Archers a good transition. Yeah! Yeah, Cav Archers are actually what Magyars probably should do. Cav Archers or Arb, because Magyars have fully upgraded Arb list as well. Arb won't die to, count, uh, to Camels, but... Cavalry archers are going to be more useful in the super post imp, or the, the post imp, I guess you can say, later on. Like, you want to get to cavalry archer Magyar Hussar as Magyars, and that will kill everything. What if you build two doubt castles on a monastery that goes down when your monks get zero conversions? I don't know. These two Palisades, it always sucks when the enemy has just random buildings near you. It's so annoying. Another castle. So he's up. You have a good positioning, but you're not up, so he's going to treb you down. Like, there's a pretty good chance that he's going to be able to push uphill. Unfortunately. Long swords. Long swords. I guess. Yeah, actually, Longswords is the play here. That's going to kill Trash Bows. That's going to kill Halves. He's already invested in it. Actually, and it's also going to kill Camels. Actually, yeah. Sick play. Going for these. All right, Xavier. Oyasumi. I'm so tired, too. After this one, I'm going to brush my teeth. and Actually, I might need to eat a little bit of dinner. <laughs> what elo? This is like 1900. 1900... 2k ish. Pretty high level stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see if you can make enough mass. It's all about how many champions you can mass, or even two handed swordsmen. Honestly, in this situation, you don't even go for champion. You just go for more two handed swordsmen. Champion upgrade is good, but, like, more two handed swordsmen is more important here. What's the time here? It is 9.43 p.m. But I have been streaming for almost 11 hours, so... It's not necessarily late. I'm just tired. <laughs> yeah, I like that you're using the knights here. He's so out of position with his halves, actually. Oh. What? what did you do? What did you do? Yellow jacket. Oh, now you have to dive back in. Are you even going to get it? You'll get it, but like... You could have gotten out of there with, like, four knights. Oh, you throw them all. Okay, whatever. Will I be streaming tomorrow? No. I'm definitely taking at least one day off. How do I take care of my eyes? Yeah, I've been, well, I've been taking a kind of kind of a little break in between. I have some eye drops, too. But, yeah. I will be on in two or three days after this. Yellow going, commander on. Yeah. Makes sense. At this stage, it... it it's actually, like, the Longswords will actually, well, not the Longswords, but the Two-Handed Swords will deal with the Commander on. Yeah, he needs HC, exactly. Yeah, that's what Persians get. Hand Cannons is the only way to fight this. Actually, Persian against Maulings is garbage for Persians. Like, they, they actually have nothing, really. I did hit 2.1k, just barely. Like, exactly 2.1k, and then I fell. Uh... Do you need to fight here? I don't I don't think I like this fight. 
Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Oh, don't kill the house, man. Aw. Oh. Mm, I don't like this. Yeah, just house walls. No, no, no. This is so bad. You don't have enough. You see hand cannon now? Oh, man. This is actually suck. Himalians get BBC, right? Yeah, we need some bombard cannons. Uh, I'm assuming you don't have chemistry, actually. Here, let's check it. No chemistry. But you have the 80% faster working um, university, so you can rush it out. Why did Pickle go halves? Uh, because he saw a bunch of camels and knights in Castle Age. It's... Uh, it kind of makes sense. Like, Persians, they go knights. But, yeah. Or, sorry. Sorry. No, no, no Sorry. Malians. They go camels. They go the... He was scared of the Farimba. It's getting late. <laughs> Why is Blue throwing his unit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, these things have seven or eight pierce armor because he's Malians. So, they're actually... They were tanking the castle fire pretty well. Actually, this worked out really well. But, like, look at this. Just the fact... Like, they had the same treb numbers... Yellow Jacket was like super slow to get them out, but the fact that he's shooting from uphill, it, it allowed him to just easily kill that with repairing his castle. And Puerco just couldn't repair. Well, he couldn't. He's is downhill. It's so hard. He had a few vills. He could he could have sent more vills, but like the hill advantage is so important in treb battles. Um, he only has like. Six hand. Oh no, he has like a million back here. Once you see this, wait, you do see this. There's no way you take this. You need to add. You need to add light cab. Yeah. Oh, you are. <laughs> well, obviously, yeah, you're a good player, <laughs> so you would know to do that. Um. Yeah, light cab. Yeah, I like that you're getting champions. So it's still worth it. You know what you need to do? These units need to like come over here or something, or they need to go down here. Cause they're gonna do. They're not gonna contribute much here. You already lost the castle. I don't like this. This is bad. Throwing champions against uh, commander on crossbows is garbage. Will bluff for food. The sub prime. Or prime sub. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, like have, well, like have don't take any bonus damage. They're, they're pretty, they're a lot better than champions. They can close the distance. No, like have are actually so good here. These are only scout cavalry and they don't have Farimba, but we'll get there eventually. Actually, do we have a castle? Ooh, no castle. So no Farimba. You know what? I bet there's stone back here somewhere. Wait. Oh, there's nothing. There's gold, though. But there's no stone. Wait, there's stone here. E. Oh, but you see it. Okay, you need to take that stone. That's pretty important. Oh, he's gonna start raiding, yeah. Oh, e. Losing control of this hill is a turning point. And the fact that you didn't take relics is also really bad. You only took one relic. I mean, it's kind of understandable. You didn't see the one that's back here, but, like, you should scout. These are free relics for you. You shouldn't scout. And there's free gold in the back. And there's really no reason not to scout the edges at this point. Because it can really be game-changing, finding that gold. Uh, he's just in chat. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Well, this is just a bomb. This is uh, a replay. Just on the VOD. In the middle of the game, Auto Scout hasn't completed the task. Make one, two, Scout Cow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, scouting is important. At high level, you can't really spend resources on it in the mid game, but in the late game, yeah. Each unit doesn't really matter. It's, it's about attacking with big armies at this point. So sending one unit to Scout actually won't really make a difference. Tech switch into light cap was not good. Well, I guess he already has halves, right? So it's kind of tough. What you needed to do was tech switch into light cap and hide them and then go and kill all of the tank cannons at once. That often makes one scout on his way up to Castle Age to get the explanation. Actually, that's kind of good because you can base your strategy around how the map is at that point. You need light cap with the champs of the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When. when you took that fight here. You need a light cab in front, and then the, the champions come from behind. Ooh. Okay, good. You're you're controlling these though. 
Your Vil count is still good. You just need to deal with this somehow. Like, Light Cap kill all this. You just don't have Light Cap. Oh, Camels? No, Camels is always a throw. Camels is always a throw. Never heavy Camel. Like, unless you had Faremba, then maybe, but... I don't know. Camels just are... Just, they feel so bad. Just... Light Cap are just gonna be better here. Camels in the mid game are good, but they really drop off hard in the late game because, especially once the opponent has has halberdiers out, really you're just gonna be throwing gold into it. No frim is the big throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Malians can get away with heavy camels if they have full upgrades. Same with Indians, but for most civs, it's just like kind of kind of bad. Like unless your opponent just blindly goes full paladin or something, it's just kind of bad. He's raiding with hand cannons. Feels bad, man. Yeah, you're finally you finally scouted this. It's too late though. He's got 99 military. Like, what are you what are you gonna do about 100 military? Oh man. He just won't stop. He's spending really well too. He accidentally queued some um, cab archers. Actually, unless he's gonna use them to raid. But he already has hand cannons to raid. GG. Yeah, it's over. You, you don't have enough, um, you don't have the military here. This late game's pretty insane. Yeah. You you really needed to group up an army. I, I think, like, when you threw the champs here, that was where it started to fall apart. Because then he just, then he pushed, and then you couldn't stop the push. Raiding was good, but you needed to raid with like just light caps. Don't don't send the champions to raid. Actually, yeah, uh, maybe you overmade champions because he did have the hand cannons, which was just big. It's kind of tricky. I, I think that if you had gotten Farimba and you had like eighty light cap, you would have killed all. Pike switch was the biggest mistake. E yeah, exactly. That made no sense. That's what I was pointing out. Is like, you went into pikes when you already had camels, and you need it was in the timing where you needed to click up to him. Yeah, upgrading 200 swordsman to champion, yeah, honestly, that's something that could have happened, or that, that's something that could have been, is instead of upgrading to champion, invest those resources elsewhere as well. Like, that's basically Farimba, and you'd really just rather have two-handed swordsman, but also have Farimba. But you didn't have a castle. So that was that was another big issue. No castle, no stone to get a castle. What did you even? You must have sold your stone. Like you, you didn't make castles, did you? Oh no, no. You know what you used it on? Oh yeah, no. You must have sold a bit, right? Maybe I don't know. You used it on repairing. You used like like over a k, over one k stone here. Yeah, that's where it all went. <laughs> And, and you know why you used 1k stone to repair the castle? Because you got pikemen upgrade in Castle Age, which made it so that you were up so slow, so you had to waste 1k stone repair. So yeah, that pikemen upgrade was the start of getting owned here. I'm still going. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm about to finish. We gotta, we gotta let the timer go to 11 hours, though. One more minute. <laughs> gotta find somebody to host now. Uh, you should get bomber can yeah, 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 bomber cannons are great. Building upgrade ever work with it? Yeah, yeah, building upgrades are very good, actually. Getting masonry and architecture in that situation are huge. Actually, did he have it? He must have had it. Yeah, yeah, he had, he had something. Masonry. Architecture is good, too. It's a bit more expensive, but, like, completely worth it in Treb Wars. Super useful. Have fun, dear. Thanks for joining yeah, you were ahead. You were ahead in economy. But just made some not so good decisions. You guys just hate relics. You guys needed to get relics earlier, but anyways. Yeah. You you were in a pretty good spot. I, I think it was fairly even throughout the game. Um 
when you took that fight in your base, he threw the units, you needed to counterattack him faster before he could build an army, or at least force him to build an army and not just go up to Imp. If you had attacked his base, he would have either lost a bunch of vills, had a bunch of idle time, or been forced to build an army in Castle Age and delay his imp time. But instead, you basically took out the siege shop and the monastery in the middle, and he was fine with that. His push was over, so it didn't really matter to him. So that, that was another th way that you could have gotten ahead, I guess. Champ Lightcap is definitely the late game composition for Mollions for Spurs. Yeah, I think that that makes so much sense. That's all you need. <laughs> Just melee units. <laughs> Mollions, yeah. That's that's just how they are. Okay. Uh, it's been 11 hours. We need to not stream anymore and go host someone. Uh, Baskets is on. He says, Cavalier is not a power spike. Okay. Sounds interesting. Oh, but he's playing TG. No way. Get out of here with the TG. Who else is even playing? It's kind of late. Uh, someone who I recognize. AR12. Did, didn't I host him recently? Maybe. Is he doing... He's He's got to be. He says one short stream... Wait, how long has he been on? Okay. Oh, oh, he's in the early game, too. Okay. Yeah, let's go over to him. Wait, Raiden? I don't know who Raiden is, though. Go over to AR12. He hosted me last time, too. We got some high-level 1v1s. But I'm going off. It's been a lot of fun, guys. It's been a long one. This stream will go to YouTube if you missed some of them. So, anyways, see you later. Bye-bye.